Hey everybody, can you hear me? Now let me know how I sound. We were having problems testing the microphone a bit earlier, so I just want to check. And uh, I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to check out both chats at the same time. But... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if I open and close this again. Because I did download something that's supposed to show me both chats at the same time, so I was hoping that uh, that would work, but I'm not sure if it's working. Alright, I see a message from Nessie on Twitch. It says, hey Allie, hey Nessie, how's it going? That is in this little chat window. Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Now I am seeing all the... Alright, I'm seeing the mix of YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so that's great. Sounds good. Twitch has a pop-out chat. Norin says, hey Allie and everyone. Hello. Yeah, we're trying streaming on both Twitch and on YouTube today. So, looks like the uh, dual chat is working. So I'm just going to take a look at that dual chat. And let me get my window up. I know we're a little bit early today. I just wanted to practice. You know, made sure everything looked okay. You guys said sounds good. So, let me move this chat over. Right, and I'll have YouTube in the background so I can see if YouTube goes out. Actually, let me switch these windows. Put YouTube there. All right. And then I'm not expecting any issues with Twitch, so that's cool. Twitch has less of a delay than YouTube. That's quite um, strange, but I don't know what to do about that one. But yeah, all right. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm actually going to leave up YouTube in the background, have Restream open in the tab, and have the chat on top of YouTube, but that way I can still see if YouTube goes out in the background. So that's cool. All right, so this is exciting. So we have four minutes till breaks begin. And uh, I hope everyone's doing well tonight. Let me catch up on these comments. Card Collective says no one flag her. Yes, please, uh, please no one flag me today. We'll see. I mean, this seems to be working fine. I'm not sure if uh, I was managed to get... Um, I tried to set up some notifications will pop up like right over over here for like Twitch and YouTube so I don't know if that actually works. I'm going to try and if it doesn't if I don't see anything pop up then I'll definitely play around with it. It seems like uh um I don't know, from what I was reading into it can be a bit difficult to get set up with both Twitch and YouTube. It'd be easier for like YouTube and Facebook and then Twitch and Facebook not Twitch and YouTube. So hopefully that gets good. Uh David asked, "Did you get Dio?" Yep, Dio is right over here. David, he's sitting on the shelf. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please turn cards upright when breaking. Um, do you mean like in the right direction? Because sometimes Panini will not let every other card is backwards. Um, so I do try. Eric P is here. How's it going, Alec? Good. How's it going? All right. Hello, everyone. This is Alexander Smith. All right. So let me just update the queue list. Instead of having a sheet of paper, I was at Target, all masked up, of course, for safety. But I was digging around the school supply section. I found this shark notebook. So I was like, all right, all right, shark notebook time. So I, I've, I bought it and I was like, I'm going to find a use for this. So that's what I'm keeping track of our queue in for the night. But let me just make sure we are up to 18 breaks for the night. Let me add Aaron O did get a booster box, of course, at 2021 and a pre-release kit of 2021. So I got to add those real quick. Set. All right, hey, hey, Roger, hey, Dan. Eric says, I need that notebook for my niece. It is super cute. <laughs> Chris says card shark. That's funny, isn't it? But yeah, it is super, super cool. They're like just having a good time. Dan says he wants a kit. We have lots of kit in stocks, kits in stock still. So if you guys can't do kits this week, if anyone out there is like, oh man, I want a kit, but I gotta wait till next week, we still have a lot in stock. So don't worry about missing out on anything. But uh, yeah, this notebook is super cool. Bounty Hunter says, hello all. And I got my drawing alley. It's amazing. Uh, I appreciate appreciate that because it was a struggle. Oh, Black Cat asks, how is the bunny? Uh, he had been missing for a little bit. We hadn't seen him in a while, but uh, my mom has these okra plants in the backyard and had like 20 of them, and they all got eaten. So we know that uh, 
he was still around. But my mom did send me a picture earlier. Since we're still chilling, pre pre gaming here before the stream, let me find these pictures and I'll show them to you. Show you at least one of them. He used to be super tiny. I, 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 I don't know if I showed you guys, on, uh, if you've seen it on my Instagram, there's a picture of him hiding behind some plants and he's about the size of my fist. Just super, super tiny. But here, he's like not scared of my mom at all. Like my mom will be like watering the garden and whatnot. He just comes out. But, um, and he was just chilling in the front yard today until like a dog, someone was walking their dog and uh, scared him. But here, here, here he is. He has grown. There's the Peter cam. This, hello, Titan cards, the stemmers hits. I remember you when you came in the store. I remember. How's the weather around there? Bounty Hunter asks. Uh, it's been uh, pretty... There's like a heat advisory warning this morning. But then it started raining, so it's cooled off a bit. But, you know, your typical Florida weather. The Robocop whooper is being framed, says Dan Wiseman. But yeah, he is... Peter is a big boy now. He is so cute. Oh, man. He was John. He was so cute. He's, he's big. He's like teenage, teenage rebellious Peter now. But, um, at least it's not Baby Shark. Hey, my shark notebook's cool, bounty hunter. Thank you. Mike McKay is from Colorado. Dan says that OG Star Trek box. Yeah, it's actually a 2020 Rittenhouse product. Uh, we only got three. Uh, and so we didn't open one up on the channel, but we do have one open for, uh, tonight for Christina S. Peter Rabbit, that's just what I named him. His name was Peter. Uh, what's the website to buy in the 2020 series, too? Actually, right up here, titancardsfl.com forward slash shop is where you can find all of our, all of our, uh, Bra uh, available um, products for breaks. Todd says hi. Hey Todd, how's it going? Crispy bacon got got some cute rabbit emojis. It's almost 115 degrees in Arizona. Ooh. Alexander Smith says Peter is very cute. Mad Max says the Charmander whooper you sent survived and did not smear. And that's good because I did try to make sure it dried before I put in the top loader. Mike G says hello, everyone and everyone. Last week was the first time on, but that didn't go so well, so I guess it's my first time. <laughs> that is true. Last week there were some weird issues. Hopefully they don't happen this week. Hopefully everything's okay. But uh, Patrick Carlson says that Peter is a cottontail rabbit. He does. He has, like, the little white tail. He's pretty cute. Uh, good afternoon, Ali, says Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Good afternoon. Hello, Ali. Can't wait to see all MTG breaks, but I have to admit sports cards are growing on me. Reminds me when I was 13 back in 89, I think, I was chasing Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. And that was from MTG Maestro from Twitch over. So if you guys are getting confused with the comments, I am streaming both on here on YouTube, which I think the majority of you are, and on twitch.tv forward slash Ali from Titan. So if anything goes down here... Like last week, how the stream went down. We can just keep going on Twitch. Uh, it is, I know some people, like me and myself, are not too familiar with Twitch, but um, it is another free streaming place like YouTube, and you can watch without having an account. So if you don't have an account and some weird stuff happens, you can still watch. And uh, I've heard from some people watching that Twitch had better video quality while live streaming last week, so I don't know if you guys are up to checking that out. But if something happens, do make sure to check that out. Uh, the link, the direct link, is in the community tab. I made a post earlier just in case. Oh, I saw an, a notification. I saw it, but I don't know what it was. I just saw it. I think there's a little, like, um, just the default thing. So I, I guess notifications work. A little zombie running or something. So that's cool. So I don't know if the YouTube ones work, but that's good that the Twitch ones work. Stemmer's asked if we're doing group breaks yet. Not yet. Uh, in the future, perhaps, but not yet. Feechin says, I'll be in and out watching tonight. Good luck. Thanks, Feechin. And uh, Dalsba says, hey, Ali, Twitch is better. Yeah, I know, we want to keep doing both, as long as things still keep going well. I know on Twitch, if you have affiliated status or, like, partner, that you can't stream on both Twitch and YouTube. So, I mean, might have to just do Twitch at some point, it depends. Because last week when we were live, um, we hit all the requirements for uh, <laughs> for affiliate, except for the streaming eight time, the seven times in a month, so I don't, I don't know. But yeah, little guy running, yeah, the zombie. Yeah, 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 little zombie dude. I didn't see, I just saw it fading out. I didn't catch it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, follow notification. So that is cool. Pop out chat for the win. We got both. Hey, Mad Max is on both Twitch and YouTube. Tools says Twitch quality is indeed much clearer. But all right, that's cool that everything seems to be working. Everything seems to be good. But um, why did I close my notebook? I need this open. But we do have some fun stuff tonight coming up, you guys. We're starting off with um, some boxes of 2018 update. We also have a Series 2 Jumbo, Chronicles Draft Picks. We have some White Swords, Magic Gathering Core Set 2021, the Star Trek box, some more Series 2, Finest, Pokemon, Legacy Football, Absolute Baseball, more Chronicles Draft Picks. A whole bunch of different stuff tonight. So definitely super cool. Chris says, get some Bowman Sapphire and do single break packs. Um, my boss did miss out on Bowman Sapphire, so... Yeah, we're not going to add that in, but we will get Bowman Chrome or whatever else is coming out next. 
Uh, first time at a live stream. Keep up the great vids. Oh, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully we get some good hits tonight. And before we get started, just want to mention, I know we've been here for like 15 minutes, but, you know, we're just getting started now. We do have a couple of specials tonight. We have a sale, ooh, $5 off on the brand new The Archives Retired. Uh, those are the one Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition, I think is the full name. They are $59.99 each, of course, free shipping on everything. And uh, we also have NT Basketball. We opened one up last week for John B. And we're, and we're seeing this week if we can get someone to get the other box, because it is our last one. We had one sale for $4,200. Wow, so cheap. But, you know, one way to maybe get multiple streams in is when you do weekly break videos, maybe just stream them on Twitch just to get the numbers up. Uh, not too keen on that idea, but eventually, Saix, we will be, um, when we get that other location, where it's just me and I can stream, we're going to be streaming multiple times a week. Like, maybe two or three days at least of live breaks a week, so... You know, because we have, and we'll have enough stuff to do it, but, um... Yeah, we'll see as it goes. Mad Max has the Star Trek box. These the three we talked about a few weeks back. You're still trying to get for the infle inflections. I thought it was inflections, but I guess it's not. This is what my boss had ordered from All Sports. So... That, that's what... I thought it was inflections, but apparently not. But you could still get... It's really cool. Even though it is 2020 and he passed away uh, several years ago, you could still get on-card Leonard Nimoy autographs, which is awesome. And it is just two autos per box. I was looking at the checklist real quick. I know there's sketches and some other stuff in there, but um, it is guaranteed one autograph and then one other autograph that has an inscription on it. The she opening collector's corset 2021. We do have a couple of collector boosters tonight for Corset 2021. If anyone here, I know a couple of you said this is your first time joining, down on YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube, in the description down below, there's the current queue list up through, I believe I was able to put in break number 18. for um, So if you're wondering, and I have this little number counter down here to start with uh, number one, and I'll change it as we go through the breaks, but um, to show, you know, if you guys are wondering what's what's coming up in the queue that is in the description of course i can't update it while we're running the stream but it is good through number 18 i believe hi ali how you doing today good mr j man thank you for asking but she's the post office they left the package notice in my mailbox and never even attempted to knock on the door I actually delivered the package oh man are they cut orders for lemon nimoy no they're actually on card so i don't know if they planned on maybe doing the set a couple of years ago and they just had them around but um, they have, from what I've seen, they are on card autos, not even cut autos. Tony Stella eighty nine on Twitch says, "Hi, Ali. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm hoping that um things are going well tonight, and hopefully your package comes in." Um, DBG Gel Tech, I think, which is Bounty Hunter, if I'm remembering correctly from the couple weeks. Black Hat says, "I remember going to a card show in eighty nine where someone pulled the three upper deck Griffey rookies out of one pack. The entire show went up in a roar. Two of them were stuck together, and the third in the back. Wow." I can't tell what that emoji is, Kevin. It is, oh, oh, it's uh, because the, the chat I'm using that combines both of them looks different. It's a hockey stick. I see it now. No hockey tonight. Um, no. Unfortunately, no hockey tonight for what it's in the queue now, but we still, we all we have left, we have a couple boxes of Series 2, one box of Series 1, and some Black Diamond is all we have in stock for hockey at the moment. Mike G sees the schedule. Cool, cool, cool. Patrick asks, do you break or collect Pokemon? You should do a hunt for a whooper. Uh, I do collect Pokemon. I, I Every time we open Pokemon, like for us, for the shop, I always get first dibs at everything. I do have a collection of PSA 10 whoopers. And um, I attempted to collect all the full art trainers at one point, but I've kind of given up on that dream. I still get the ones that I'm uh, interested in. Mad Max says, the Nimoy autos are on card from a card set a few years ago. They have extra sign because most inflections autos are left over from other series. Oh, okay. Guess the 2018 update jumped the shark. Uh, not understanding that one. <laughs> Sorry, Bounty Hunter. I, I got Nemer Nimoy all 8 by 10 Ooh, wow, that's cool. David Glass says he also has a Nimoy. What's the most expensive thing we're opening today? So far, the most expensive box we're opening up, we're opening up Update. We're opening up two boxes of Update. Keith says, hey, you. Hey. Oh, Stature comes out next week. That's cool. Whooper Army. Yes, Whooper Army. Let's let's have an army of whoopers. Yeah, it'd be cool if someone needs to buy the last NT basketball box so Ali can open it. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll get to open it. But, you know, if not, it will just continue to sit on the shelf behind us and just stare at us when we open breaks. But let's get started because it is already 7.53 p.m. First up, for Sean W., we do have a box of 2018 Update Series Baseball. Box number one of two of Update for the night. Got in a break, like you said. You are the best to keep it entertaining. Love the channel. Oh, thanks, Confirm Sick. 
appreciate that. Hopefully I get you some nice cards in your break. Mad Max, uh, Mad Max asks, are you guys going to get any Yu-Gi-Oh this year? We're trying to get the Megatons in. Um, hopefully we can get some. Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the league. MVP says don't open stuff until 8 p.m. Alley. Uh-oh, that sounds very ominous. I mean, I could talk for a little bit, just in case. You can let people uh, come on in here. I don't know. I can't see the numbers because of the screen I have up. Kevin says, Baby Yoda looks so sad and lonely at the bottom of the shelf. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's fine. Baby Yoda, you fine? Yep. Aaron says, Never mind. Did I miss a message from you, Aaron? The chat is going by cr pretty quickly for me. Let me sleep through. Aaron says, Ugin tonight, Allie. Use your magic, please. I'll try my best. Baby Yoda likes to be a bit hidden. He does. He does. He's just, he's like there. You don't, if you don't see him, he, he just, he's lurking and using the force and messing with stuff. And then Kenneth says, hi, Allie. Hey, Kenneth. How's it going? Urge Overload 2 says, 37 viewers on Twitch. And 134 on YouTube, says Kevin. Cool, 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 cool. But... Alright. Okay, oh, Aaron says I didn't miss a message. Sorry about that, Aaron. Yeah, is he wrink that wrinkly in the show? I haven't actually been able to watch The Mandalorian yet. I don't have Disney Plus because I'm lazy. Mad Mask asks, where's Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt is actually... I had him chilling up here with me. Because he was up here before, but then I put the sign up. So I had to move him. And yeah, there's a new Dio on the shelf as well. From David. But yeah, Thunderbug's over here. Thunderbug is chilling with me. Aaron says, that's why you're the best. Allie. Hashtag Titan cards. Thanks, Aaron. I'm, try I'm trying to keep up with everything. Hi, Mason. How's it going? But Lamar Jackson told us to wait till 8 p.m. Maybe chat for a little bit. Oh, we have a super chat here from Chris for $1.99. There's an open cardboard box with the word unboxing. <laughs> is that, did, that is, oh, oh, okay. It described the super sticker. Okay, cool. That is, it just said, <laughs> Chris, on the, the chat, I see it behind in the YouTube chat, but in the, uh, the thing that I'm looking at that combines the Twitch and the YouTube chat, it, it literally just described an open cardboard box with the word unboxing. I'm like, I don't understand what this means, but I see it now. That is cool. Thank you so much. I don't think that um, the YouTube notifications work. So we'll all have to check that out for next week. But that is good. I can still see YouTube here. So thank you so much, Chris, for that super chat. That is cool. There is there's a, a Twitch notification. Someone is following me, I believe. Or no, maybe that's... All right. That was tiny. Okay, so now... I, all right, so I know... Let me make some notes for next week. Twitch. So I have to fix YouTube notes, fix YT notes, enlarge notifications for Twitch. Because I can't see them. They're too small for me. <laughs> yeah, I just left it as the little default zombie because I thought it was cute. Todd says, Allie, I hope you have a jitterous night in Super Chats. Thanks, Todd. Roy asks, hi, Allie, what are you op ripping open? Oh, well, starting off with this box here of update for Sean W., but the rest of tonight's queue so far up through the 18th break is in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're on Twitch, um, haven't figured out how to put, like, a description on Twitch, so we'll see. But, yeah, funny when people comment on you saying a name wrong. If I open Star Wars or something I didn't personally PC, I'd probably mess up most names. No, I actually uh, asked for a lot of feedback on names. Kevin especially helped me quite frequently with different names. But most people, most often people are kind in correcting me on things like that. Tom Brady is the best quarterback, says Patrick. Dean says, I bought a Magic Pre-Release kit for my local game store. Good luck on that one, Dean. And Corwin on Twitch says, evening, Allie. Hey, good evening. But yeah, just in case anything goes awry here, again, we are streaming both on YouTube and Twitch. So, twitch.tv slash Allie from Titan. Oh, Chase just asked. Yep, Allie from Titan, just like my Instagram, A L L Y F R O M T I T A N. Hey, we have Macon is now following on Twitch. All right, so it looks like the thing I had set up for the YouTube alert box is just a duplicate of the Twitch one, and that's why it looks kind of blurry. Or I asked 2020 tops update. No, 2018 with Otani, Acuna, Glaber, and Soto. Why did I say Glaber's first name and not anyone else's first name? All right, Torres. And yeah, so some 18 update. We have some 2020 Series 2 as well. Got three minutes, got some soapbox stories or comments of the week. Uh, unfortunately not really, Mad Max. I had my Peter story, that's about it. 
Twitch has less of a delay running ahead of YouTube stream. Yeah, I don't know why it's a little bit faster. But yeah, I've heard that it's faster on Twitch. With I mean, as in less of a delay and the video quality is better. I think may perhaps that's because um, it's it's more of a like it's for streaming, whereas YouTube is mainly videos that branched out into streaming. There's a cat em emoji from Kanye Mari West. And then Chase says, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, Chase. And Kevin, I, I will help. Hope she doesn't think I'm being harsh. No, Kevin, I know that I know that you're helpful. I appreciate it. Yeah, there's a little the zombie over here. At least he's running away from me. It's like the zombie is scared of me. But um, what number is my break? Uh, was your break the... What was your, what was your break? Uh, what did you order confirmed? Then I can tell you. Because it might not be in the queue if it just popped up. I didn't see a little notification on my end, but perhaps. Yeah, I do. Did you order the uh, archives? Where Where is my chat? My chat went away. No, come back. Uh, confirmed, if you had the archives order, that is going to be break number 19. Let me add that to the... What's the over-under on the numbers of Acuna you pull? Say two? Uh, that's how everyone says it. Acuna, Soto, and Glaber. <laughs> I don't know, it just felt like weird when I said it. I was like, I said everyone else's last name. Except the Glaber. But let me add 19 here. We do have 19 breaks now. Box of 2020 archives. Alright, showtime, says David Glass. Swamp Yak says hi, and throw a dart at whatever it lands on near the baseball. Honestly, I think the quality of tops compared to Panini is way better with baseball. Panini for basketball is crazy expensive. That is true. Panini for basketball is super crazy expensive. Mad Max threw a shrimp emoji on Twitch. Yeah, I got Japita, uh, Peta, J Peta from Twitch says I got an upper deck retail box and a hobby box. Got a Nick Suzuki Young Guns from retail and a Kapokaka from the hobby. Hey, nice pulls there. All right, wish they would make hockey archives. That would be cool, Kevin. And Chris says, Aaron, Bowman is nice too. All right, well, it is 8.01. I want to get started on these breaks because so far we only have 19, but I still do think it could be a pretty long night. Uh, Armando says, hi, hello. Uh, Kevin, I don't know if you missed it, but we had a little Peter story earlier. I showed off a picture if you want to go. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of go back in time during the live videos, but definitely on the replay, I showed off a picture of him. He is much bigger. He's eating all my mom's plants. So, he, he's, he is thriving in our garden. Native Card Guy says, what's up, Allie? How's your day going? Going pretty good. We're about to get started here. This is the best thing happening on YouTube Saturday night, says Todd. Thank you. And Mike G says, love 2018 update. But let's get on into it. I am excited to see what we can get in here. We are running low on uh, update boxes. We've had someone come in and buy another two boxes for curbside. So, We've missed out on seeing two boxes open, or four boxes now total open, but we do have two tonight, so hopefully we can see some, something nice. Eric says, I have to start at 8.07, but no, we're going to get started now. And Bill says, basketball is just expensive all around, which is true, definitely, definitely true. Now, I did have to change up my hotkeys, so if I mess up when I'm snapping, it's because I forgot that I had to change my hotkeys on this new computer. But anyways, let's get on into it. For Sean W, this update box here from Topps 2018 Update Series Baseball with Otani on the cover. You can't even see the little... There we go. There, now you can see him down in the corner. Why did it type in the chat? I'm not... No. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started for Sean. Definitely let me know if it didn't snap. I know when I was playing with OBS earlier, OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS, it didn't... It didn't go. I had to press another button for it to go. No. Google, why? All right, all right. I see that it's there. Okay, okay. We're going to get started. But let's get on into it for Sean here. Hopefully, we can have an uninterrupted box of 2018 update this week. Dylan Roberts says, hi, just got on. Hey, Dylan. Kanye Omari West says, let's go on Twitch. Do you do match tax? No, I have never opened up for me personally match tax or have carried in the shop, I don't believe. But here we go. First box here. Mad Max is sending us a toilet paper roll emoji. I don't know if that's considered good luck or not, Mad Max. 
But here we go, pack number one for Sean. Let's see what we get today. Let me make sure I have my sleeves and top loaders. All right, now we are ready to go. Here we go, pack number one. I feel like the video looks a little bit weird. Nah, maybe it was just the one card was kind of washed out. But we will see. definitely let me know. Uh, sometimes it depends on what color I have for the background for the playmat. How the colors look on the cards. Didn't particularly change much. Alright, here we go. We have the Rookie Debut Torres here. Get that one all sleeved up. Very crisp and clear on Twitch stream. All right, cool. In stream, it's from it's good luck. Not gonna get backstory. All right, thanks, Mad Max. All right, good luck. Toilet paper rolls. Woo. -hoo. Not so much tonight. Maybe you'll get a little break. Maybe Andrew. We'll see. People do order throughout the stream. Dylan says calling it Acuna third pack. Any Chronicles draft? Absolute baseball or any sports? We have a lot of sports, Moskov. If you check in the description down below. It is nearly completely accurate to what we will be opening tonight. We do have a couple boxes of Absolute and a couple boxes of draft picks as well. Austin Meadows, insert. Alright, Dylan said Acuna third pack. Let's see. Silent Collector says hello. Looks like we have an Austin Meadows rookie in the back. International Affair, Miguel Cabrera. An Austin Meadows rookie. So no Acuna there, Dylan, unfortunately. Thirty fifth anniversary, Tory Hunter. Sharp Corners Williams says, hey, they're new to the channel. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. If I don't blink, Billy Hamilton, or Hamilton, excuse me. Yep, the Meadows is uh, sleeved up. Let me know if you think I should put it in a top loader. But we have an all-star game, Glaber Torres. So two Torreses, this box so far. Put that sleeved up after I finish with this pack here. We have a Sean Manea insert. Just want to verify, but you don't sell Panini Prison Baseball, do you? No, we actually sold out of our last two boxes, I think, earlier in last week, Victor, unfortunately. And we, we are not getting any more. Those are the last two that we had in stock. We are all out of Prison Baseball. Just got some Leaf Valiant, really nice looking cards. We don't really mess with too many Leaf products here. We do get, when it comes out, the um, Pop Century and Draft. Yep, Archives Retired. Yep, your break will be number 19, confirmed sake. Thank you for letting me open up a box for you. International Affair, Freddie Freeman. Then we have a Mother's Day pink, it looks like, Jose Bautista, number 40 out of 50. Found two, a Series 2 blasters at Target on the way home from work yesterday. I was surprised at how high-end they made the medallion card, says Bounty Hunter on Twitch. That's interesting. Jeffrey says, hi, Ali, just joined. You hit anything big yet? Not yet, but hopefully we will see. We just started not too long ago this box here, 2018 update. We have a silver foil Ross Stripling from the Dodgers. Leave Valiant comes with a graded auto card in the box. Hey, I just got on. How many breaks are in the queue for tonight? Just 19 so far in tonight's queue. Hey, you're welcome, Jeffrey.
We have a Tory Hunter. Is a parallel? No. Just a dark card here. Tory Hunter. Insert. A friend of mine bought a case of the Archive Signature Retired Edition. He got burned. Oh man. Come on, Pat. Yeah, with a product like that where it's just the one auto per box, it is very hit or miss. Yeah, just like Chris said. But yeah, you can definitely get some really cool stuff. Even got an SP of one of the T's Jr. Insert the Black Parallel 1 out of 106 packs, says Bounty Hunter over on Twitch. Jordan Hicks insert here. Ooh, we actually have an autograph here. Rookie auto of Isaiah Kinner Falefa for the Texas Rangers. Hey, Nuki's here. Welcome, Nuki. We actually have an auto in this box. Rookie auto. Insert. One of these breaks usually end in like 10 hours. Uh, typically, yes, but uh, Hansen, tonight we only have 19 breaks scheduled so far, so perhaps a bit earlier. But yeah, maybe tonight, maybe around seven hours. There's our hit of the box. We did get an auto, which is actually surprising. Autos are about one per case, I believe, so that is very cool to see. Every time I think to eat a chicken nugget, I think I can't beat Allie's record. I have eaten a lot of chicken nuggets in my lifetime. We have a gold parallel here of Charlie Blackman. 381 out of 2018. Hi, Allie. What's shaking, snappy peoples? Hey, not much, Paul. We're just opening some 2018 updates. Hey, we have our first Acuna rookie here. Very cool. As the regular rookie, number 250. Yeah, the band-aid's gone today. If it's uh, scaring you guys, I can put a band-aid back on. Here we go. Storybook endings insert of David Ortiz. Let me get this Acuna sleeved and top loaded. There we go. First Acuna rookie. We'll put that with our autograph, actually. Oh, we have an Otani rookie here as well. Very cool. The 35th anniversary insert here of 35th anniversary insert of Sean Manea for the Athletics. There's one, I say you pull one more for Acuna's. Those things down south, uh, very hot, unfortunately. Thirty-fifth anniversary Marcel Ozuna insert. Keith says, Hi Ali, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Don't blink, Kevin Kiermeyer. Nugi says I got a Babe Ruth in series two. Hey, yeah, they pull some fire for us, Kenny P and wife Leanne at number ten, Panini Legacy, my wife's first ever break. Oh well, hopefully I can get some cool stuff. Legacy has been pretty nice on the channel so far, so hopefully we get to see some cool things. Like I said, we still haven't seen that little Dare to Tear Rip Mini, so hopefully. Let's see one of those finally. Here we go. We have Tim Raines insert here. No Star Wars breaks today. Unfortunately, we're all out of Star Wars, John. We have a gold rookie here that's not Acuna, but it is Daniel Mangdon from the Oakland Athletics. That is number 1834 out of 2018. Storybook endings, Ted Williams.
Don't Blink, Andrew McCutcheon. Alex Acuna look close to mint. I mean, they are. The cards that come out of here are mostly really, really nice. Like, I feel like sometimes newer products, you know, when the card comes out of the pack, it can be a little not very mint. But update from what I've seen here on the channel, Bo Jackson insert, and a 35th Michael Soroka. Does seem very nice, actually. Storybook Endings, Andy Pettit. Don't Blink, D. Gordon. Reggie Jackson insert. Wood breaks are still available. Is there a link with prices and product as Battle Rats, Rap Battles? Yep, right up here. Actually, this is our website, TitanCardsFL.com slash shop. You can see everything that we have in stock for personal breaks and their prices. And everything does have free shipping. Jordan Hicks for the Cardinals insert, 35th anniversary. And we have a rookie debut, Acuna, here. That is number 252. All right, I'm in for three boxes paid, says Bink. What'd you get, Bink? Oh, Noogie with the $5 Super Chat says, hoping for some good hits tonight. Thank you so much, Noogie. I really do appreciate that. I'll have to figure out how to get YouTube notifications to work on screen. I managed to figure out how to get the Twitch ones to work. I saw them pop up earlier, but it doesn't look like the YouTube ones are coming through. But thank you so much for that $5, Noogie. Hayden says, good day, all. Nice. Welcome. Kevin says, Allie, I'm on day two of three of my three-day juice cleanse. I'm really missing food, and I want to eat. Tomorrow's my last day. I've never been on something like that. Is that just a, you're only having juice for, like, three days? We have International Fair, Albert Pujols. Vince asks, how many Acunas so far, too? Yep, one regular and one of the rookie debut Acunas in this box. See, not interested in personal break. Thought there would be spots and breaks purchase, i.e. division team player. Now, unfortunately, we don't have the setup for that quite yet, but in the future, that's something we're looking forward to perhaps doing. But we have a Juan Soto rookie here as well. True rookie, number 300. We have a silver foil, Paxton throws no-no. Storybook endings, Mariano Rivera. I know Twitch is better, but for me it's like Twitch is 180 at 60, while YouTube seems to be at 480 for me on both my phone and my computer. Yeah, I've heard the um, the video quality is different. I haven't been able to check it out for myself, obviously, because I'm here, but that's what people have, were saying last week. Okay, yeah, here we go. One Soto rookie card. Allie, when are you getting Topps Chrome? How much are boxes going to be? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully Boss in chat is somewhere. and He can help you out with that. But uh, Topps keeps moving around release dates on us. So, even if we have a date, doesn't mean it's going to stick to that date. We have Miles Nicholas insert. Thirty-fifth anniversary, Dylan Bundy for the Orioles. Ali, you pulled them all except Glaber, right? No, we did get a regular Glaber in one of the first couple packs, actually. So I think we actually have had them all. We've had a Soto, an Acuna, a Glaber, and an Otani. I think already. Ted Williams insert.
Yes, I get six deuces per day, drinking every two hours and lots of water, 18 bottle of juice in total. That's a lot. A lot of juice. Harper SP. Um, let me go back and check. Unfortunately, since they're uh, not backwards in this product, I'm not certain what's what, but there was a Harper in here somewhere. Where was it? Let me check the number. This is, ends in 90 and the rest ends in 90. Nope, not, not an SP here. International Fair, Jose Abreu. We have a gold Shane Green from the Tigers. That is 1063 out of 2018. Storybook endings, Derek Jeter. Mr. Scale says, hey. We have a rookies insert. Lords Guriel Jr. for the Blue Jays. Ryan asks, there's only 10 products for sale on your website. There should be more. Perhaps you're stuck in a category, Ryan, but we have all kinds of different things. We have magic, Pokemon, we have uh, non-sports, we have baseball, basketball, football, all on the website. Even soccer now, too. We've added that. So there should be more than 10 on there, Ryan. We have Danny Farquhar, silver foil for the White Sox. Do you consider the Albies a good card? Uh, I'm not certain. I haven't been told before to sleeve him up and keep them. But I can, if you guys think it's necessary. We have a rookie debut Otani here. That makes our second Otani of the box. 35th anniversary insert of Ichiro. And another Soto here, rookie debut Soto this time. Not sure if the ordering for card shops is there no more finest coming in the future, Brian. Uh, I don't think we're going to be restocking on finest, Brian. But Boss Man might be able to give you a more certain answer on that one. Last pack here. We do have a, another Glaber here. We do have International Fair insert of Jonas Cespedes for the Mets. And it looks like I did find some sort of short print here because the code does end in 30 instead of 90. We have Giancarlo Stanton for the Yankees. So somehow I managed to find a short print. That is cool. Giancarlo Stanton for the Yankees. Merfolk Bear is here. Howdy, everybody, says Merfolk Bear. That is cool. Well, I'm glad that I did manage to find the SP in here. And the last two cards for this box here for Sean. Nothing special. But let's do a recap of what we did get here. We did actually manage to get an autograph out of this box, so let's take a look at that, as well as our top-loaded rookies. For our autograph, our hit, one hit of the box, we did get an auto. Isaiah kinner Falefa from the Rangers, rookie auto. Non-numbered, but still cool. Want that SSP Keston from last year in your eBay store. But... You guys are gonna restock on Skywalker Series Two? Uh, not at. We're not. We don't have any plans for that, Mad Max. Unfortunately. But then we did get a rookie debut, Soto, and a regular Juan Soto in this box here for Sean. And we also got a rookie debut and a regular Acuna rookie card here. Very cool. And then for our assorted numbered cards, parallels, SPs, etc., we did get the SP here of Giancarlo Stanton. One Glaber rookie here. Rookie debut Otani. Silver foil. Gold. Silver foil. Gold. 
Otani Rookie, Gold, Silver Foil, Mother's Day Pink, Bautista, All-Star Game Torres, Austin Meadows, and a Rookie Debut Torres. So we did get actually one of each Torres, and one Austin Meadows in here as well. Chris says, I got your stream on my 51-inch kitchen TV. That is a fancy kitchen TV, Chris. Cool Bros says, hi. Hi, Cool Bros. On to Chrome Perspectives for Star Wars, says Bounty Hunter over on Twitch with a little cute robot emoji. That's cool. But yes, this is it here for this box for Sean. So, Sean, if you're out there watching, I hope you did enjoy this box. Did get some nice rookie cards, and it was cool to get the autograph in here as well. I hope you enjoyed the opening. And next up, we do have another box of update for, actually, John B. There are some other things in there as well, including a jumbo box of 2020 Series 2 baseball and a Chronicles Draft Picks football. So we got three boxes coming up next for John, starting off with that Update Series Baseball. So let me first, before you get into that, I have to clean everything up and unsnap myself. So let me start with that. Unsnapped here. All right. And let me get this cleaned off. And when I come back, I'll switch that current break number to two, and we'll get on into another box of 2018 Update. Let me take the base first, and I'll be right back, everybody. Hang tight. All right, everyone, I have returned. Let me check to see if we've had any new breaks come in while I was opening up that last box here. There's someone really annoying outside with loud bass at the light, so hopefully that is not bothering you guys too much. But we do actually have another break scheduled. So we're up to 20 breaks for the night, so let me get these added to our queue. And the picture's looking a bit dark. I'm actually gonna turn our second light on while I wait for this person to leave the light and then get these boxes and then I'll be back into breaking for John B. So just give me a moment everyone. 2x 2020 For Gary S. All right, so I've got that all updated. Let me bring the chat back up so I can see it again. Hello, everyone. No, that wasn't in your head, Secret Alliance. That was just really, really loud noises. Willie says, "Hello, beautiful Allie. How are you? Hope it all is well. Let's see some fire." Hey, Willie. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, that car is that car is super loud. Yeah, it was, but um. Boss, are we going to get Donruss Elite Football? When does that come out? Uh, good question on that one. Rudy says, cute head, Ben Alec. Thank you. A little, a little horse. All right, let me go grab those boxes for Gary and, when I come, and turn the second line on. And when I come back, we'll get into those breaks for John B. All right, I am back. It looks like that did help with the brightness, so that's good to know. Yep, three easy breaks, Bink. That is true. Those will be nice, quick rips for us later on in the evening. But let me grab this whole stack here of breaks for John B. First up is the update, then the Series 2 Jumbo, 
and we'll finish off his breaks with this Chronicles Giraffe pick. So that'll be exciting. I don't know if you guys saw the box that we opened up on um, yesterday on Friday of Giraffe Picks Chronicles Football, but that was a crazy box. So hopefully the rest of these boxes are just as insane or even better. You should open up a box of Decipher Star Wars CCG box. I think that's actually a pretty old product. I don't know where we would get some of that. Crispy Bacon says, no sirens yet. There were some earlier before the stream started, and that's Crispy Bacon over on Twitch. Jacob says, be back in an hour and a half. No problem, Jacob. Your break isn't until number 16, so you still got some time. But let's get some ASMR Dr. Pepper noises, and then I'll switch the break counter, and we'll get started. Q. Two. Done. Alright. Alright, hold on. Alright, alright, alright. Quick quick run through on that real quick. There's old and most of the sealed boxes are really expensive to size. Uh Bounty Hunter asks, no cozy cooler. No, I have the mini cans tonight. So they're too small to fit in the little the little holder. Yeah, the um, the Hawaii cooler is bigger. It's like a big one, and it's I mean, well, technically it fits. It does fit, even though it's a small can. That's interesting. All right, so I do have my cozy Hawaiian cooler from Dean. It fits. Ali used to be big in the Yu-Gi-Oh. Then you start when it came out. Uh, I think I was born when Yu-Gi-Oh came out, but um, no, I got into Yu-Gi-Oh actually when I was in high school. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh when I was younger, but um, I started playing the game when I was in high school, and I did that for a couple years, but I've fallen out of it. But I do on occasion play Duel Links. I haven't in a while, but I still I'm still drawn to it a little bit. Uh, let's smell some M&Ms. I don't have any tonight, unfortunately. Will <laughs> that should be a beer and we can party break? Uh, unfortunately, I don't drink uh, Chris, but uh, woo! If I if we can pretend it's a beer can in here. Sorry, Ali. What break number is it? Uh, confirmed. Yours is break number nineteen. No problem for asking. Way to date yourself with that comment. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, Madman. I'm just saying. So you have a mini fridge? Yeah, we do, because we, um, when the shop's open, we're not open right now, obviously, but um, we're having tournaments and whatnot. We did, uh, you know, we have fridge, we sell drinks. So mainly it's just our stuff in there now, but yeah. Chris says, two is going to outshine Burrow, just watch. Well, I keep pulling two a card, so hopefully, hopefully, he at least pans out. <laughs> But yeah, the Tua was great. Yeah, yesterday's boxes were so crazy. Not only did I get a Tua auto out of six, I got a printing plate out of Chronicles. I got a Super Fractor Air Jordan patch auto out of Chronicles. I got a Louis Robert patch auto redemption. I got two one on ones out of Archives. Like a lot of stuff came out yesterday. <laughs> Andrew, we have Allie representing Hawaii with her drink. Yeah, Andrew, uh, this was sent to me by Dean. I must have missed Andrew's comment, but um. Yeah, it looks like for the most part this little chat thing is working well, combining the YouTube and the Twitch comments, but I am missing a couple here and there. Because it does take a little bit longer to populate than when you guys probably do type them. But I'm trying my best to still keep up with everything. Kevin says, Ali, you are the best. You make me smile. Talking to you is the most interacting because I, I get because of isolation. Thanks for being a fantastic friend. Your videos keep me going. Aw, thanks, Kevin. I'm glad to hear that you do do enjoy them a lot and that it, it helps keep you happy. Todd says, two will more than pan out. I know, I'm just saying, I, I want to be able to pull people that are good. <laughs> you know, I don't want someone to, like, chase me who's, like, not, you know. But, like, I'm, I'm, it's crazy that I've pulled so many. I mean, I say so many, but I've pulled two, but, like, both out of score? It's crazy. Also, Twitch is still in slow mode from last week. Mad Max, I don't even know what that means. Boss did that last week. I didn't do it. Opened four prison boxes and hit a couple burrows, sold them. That's how little faith I have in them, says Chris. Are you getting Tops Museum this year? Rudy, if you mean museum, I know we're getting museum collection soccer. I'm sure we're getting, if they have a baseball one. We all, we, we ordered pretty much everything baseball. Chris says burrows just a Tebow. We'll see. Uh. Allie, you always do your best, says Crispy. Thank you. Central Valley asks, where's Allie? Oh, I had gotten up to get more boxes to their queue and turn the second light on. But hey, everybody. All right, so let's get on into it. I've changed the number, and we can get started here. Starting off with this next box of update. 
Next box of update. This one is for John B. John B. is actually the person who bought that box of National Treasures last week. So whenever John comes back, we have to tell him that they're now on sale. Ooh, a whole $200 off. Maybe we can get him to let me open up the other box. That'd be cool. But here we go. Let's get started for John B. With starting off this 2018 box of update series baseball by snapping ourselves into the corner and getting started. And Max is using both chats to confuse myself. <laughs> Todd says, you pull lots of great stuff. I I know, but it was just, you know, with how much we open, we're bound to get some good stuff. But, like, to get that much good stuff all in one day was crazy. Here we go. Let's pop this one on open. For John. And let's get started. Tebow's in the Topps debut box. Yeah, we actually did see a Tebow card out of the Pro debut. It's so weird seeing Tim Tebow cards in baseball. Here we go, pack number one. We have a gold, Garrett Cole here, all-star game. Oh, for the Astros. Number 476 out of 2018. Storybook endings, Jackie Robinson. Actually, here. We'll reorganize. We'll reorganize what's going on. Allie, there is a Zion in that box, NT says Todd. Well, Todd, you're going to have to convince John B., not me. Your shirt does weird things when it snaps to the corner. It's like an optical illusion. Yeah, I see it in the small. It looks like, um... Hey, Gen X size qua... Gen X qua is now following on Twitch. It's cool. I like the little zombie dude. Eventually, I'll, I'll have to figure out how to customize it. And I can put, like, a little whooper. That'd be great. We should have had some Tim Tebow autos. I would buy one. Like, it's just crazy to think how, like, Tim Tebow was such a phenomenon. And now he doesn't even play football anymore. 35th anniversary, Marcel Ozuna. Ooh, we have a black parallel of Mitch Hanniger here for the Seattle Mariners. It's number 65 out of 67. Don't blink, Ozzy Smith. We have a super chat from Michael. Here you go, Allie, because you're doing a great job. Hope you're staying safe out there. Can't wait for 2020 to end. Oh, thank you, Michael. I hope you're staying safe as well. Really appreciate the $5 super chat. Like I said, I'm going to have to figure out how to get YouTube notifications to pop up. I was hoping that they would work because I followed what people said to get them to work, but it looks like perhaps that was either old info or it's just not possible anymore. But uh, Twitch notifications do show up, Twitch donations and things like that. But unfortunately, YouTube does not at the moment. But that was from Michael. $5 with a nice message. Thank you so much. Appreciate it a lot. 35th anniversary, Dylan Bundy. Allie, you should try Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel. It's Duel Links, same rules, much quicker game, unlike regular Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I personally prefer it. Uh, I actually had my boss order the first two decks when they came out, and then I got one of each, and I just couldn't bring myself to go out and play it. I don't know why. We have a Kevin Kiermaier Don't Blink here. But, um, I don't know. It's just... I have a hard time actually convincing myself to go out and play play games. Ken Strike says, someone like me the Twitch channel. is twitch.tv slash... Okay. Alright. Syx and Boss are on top of it. Uh, thank you for being interested in that. Tebow didn't have the throwing mechanics to su succeed in the NFL and everyone knew it. I mean, people were super hyped on him. So... Mike oh, Mike says, hey, Allie, great show as always. Thank you so much. Is the Tua Auto going to be on the eBay store? Bill, that was actually for a personal break, which uh, the personal break person almost actually canceled their order. <laughs> but um, it was a personal break, so it wasn't for us. It's not in our possession. It has been shipped out to that person. It is now in his collection. So it won't be. It's not It's not ours. It's not ours to keep. YouTube tagging stinks sometimes, says Sykes. Ronald Acuna Jr.'s make-a-wish is to meet Juan Soto. We have a silver foil rookie here of Nick. I have to flip this card upside down the, re uh, the right way up to read it. Gardwin for the Rangers, silver foil. Getting a Whopper with cheese right now. I'm not a big hamburger person, me.
more of a chicken nugget kind of person. So don't worry, there's no record of how many burgers I've eaten that you ever have to, <laughs> to beat. We have an Andrew McCutcheon insert here. We have a rookie debut, Acuna Jr. here. Very nice. I admire Tebow's drive to succeed, which is impressive, like, to not succeed at football and then be like, you know what, well, I'm going to just go do baseball, whatever. Like that, that has to be very, very impressive. Allie, after watching tons of videos, I want to make a guess on how old you are. I pride myself in knowing people's ages. Anyways, my guess is you are 26. Am I right? No. Nope, too old. I've gotten, I've gotten, like, don't feel bad. I've, and I don't, one person has been able to guess my age correctly. But I've gotten people saying that I look anywhere from 16 to 31. So, we have Enraldus Chapman, International Affair insert here. And that was actually when I was 17 in college. And because uh, I, I left high school a year early, I went to university when I was 17. And um, people were asking me if I was back from my second degree. And I was like, how old do you think I am? And they're like, in your 30s? I'm like, no. So when I was 17, people thought I was 30. So anyway. We got 22, 23. Maggots, your backup guess was correct. Congratulations. But we have an Otani rookie debut here. I have a little hangnail that I just noticed and it's bothering me. So I'm actually I'm gonna bandage my that is my um my injury that I got from the Packers uploaders yesterday. I'm gonna bandage that up and take care of this thing after between this break and the next one. But we have Tim Raines insert. Juan Soto rookie debut as well. So this looks like the rookie debut box here. Allie, what's the fastest you've ever ran a mile? I've never actually timed myself, so I have no clue. Yep, 22 was the correct answer. Yo, fun fact about me, I have the same birthday as Seto Kaiba, so that automatically makes me cooler. Just tuning in, sweet breaking 2018 tops, let's get lots of Acunas. That would be nice. I think the most we've seen in a box is two. So don't cut your finger. I didn't cut it. I got it got scratched, Crispy. It wasn't even with the knife. It was um like where is it? They're too far away. But when you open up a pack of top loaders, you pull the plastic off like this. Like and somehow I it's somehow it just piece went missing. <laughs> somehow it just went and now there's a piece of my finger missing. Now YouTube knows Twitch is no longer special. Uh, I feel like I missed something. Oh, with the time delay. I'm turning 20 tomorrow. Oh, happy pre-birthday, Secret Alliance. Noogie's birthday is close to my birthday. Cool. Well, here we have Alex Colome. Colome, gold. 202 out of 2018. Storybook endings, Ted Williams. Where is storybook? Oh, here it is. Pendel's baseball card says, You have some of the best luck I have ever seen. Thank you. No, no. <laughs> Now all those hockey collectors are looking up Saku Koivu stats. No, Seto Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! The coolest man who ever lived. We have a Glaber rookie here. Very nice. A freak accident. It was! I don't... I. It's, like, happened to me before, but, like, sometimes... Like, if top loader's not cut 100% correct... Um... They could be a little, a, little, a little sharp. So I guess I just got a, a sharp one. Yeah, no problem, Bounty Hunter. We have JD Martinez foil here. Storybook Endings, Will Clark. Jacob says, mine's on the 19th. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yankees have to pay Juan Soto some of Garrett Cole's contract because Soto owns him. <laughs> Allie Midas Touch. Alright, let me sleeve up this... Uh, no, wait. We didn't top load Glaber's last time. Based on the three stars, I think you turned 172, Aaron. <laughs> Allie, you don't look older than 22, but you act much older, and that's a compliment. Oh, thank you. It also helps that I dress, like, relatively, like, nice for, like, the channel. Like, in my normal life, I'm just wearing, like, weird anime t-shirts. But, like, I, I look younger when I wear my my younger clothes. I mean, that makes sense. But thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Nailed it, Mad Max. Aaron's 172 confirmed. Runaway, Dinner at Span. 
We have 35th, Giancarlo Stanton. Yeah, blue eyes, white dragons. And he ripped the fourth one so no one can have it. That's so weird. Like, speaking from like a weird standpoint in Yu Gi Oh! anime, why would they make four blue eyes cards when you can only use three in a deck? Aside to like torture, torture Kaiba. We have Jordan Hicks, 35th anniversary. Ali's got a full closet of JoJo shirts. Uh, I have three. So, almost. <laughs> Ali, you look like a kid. At most, a college kid. I, 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 well, technically. Technically, if I was I didn't leave earlier, I would have graduated this year. But I'm glad that I graduated last year because, like, I appreciate online classes and things like that, and I understand that they're useful. But me, I don't have the like self. Like when I was younger, I did online classes all the time. But just throughout how much school that I've done, like especially my last year was really hard on me to be motivated. I was like, I know I'm almost done, but this can it just be over already? And I would not have been able to function having full online full online classes last semester. So I'm glad that I did get get out a year early. Hey, we have an Acuna rookie here. Very nice. And they do come out of the packs like really nice and crispy. Online classes are currently killing me, says Mad Max over on Twitch. Yeah, it's... I, when I was younger, it was fine, because I'd be like, oh, if I get ahead now, if I work ahead, then I won't have to worry about it closer to the due date. And then, like, eight years later, I'm like, well, it's 7 p.m. and my assignment's due in four hours. Let's get started. So, yeah. I would not... I, I did a couple in college here and there, online stuff, but they weren't, like, very involved, so they weren't that bad. We did have a Glaber insert there as well. Sleeve it, why not? Also ran track in high school. My best time for the mile is 5 minutes, 12 seconds. Oh, wow. That seems pretty fast. Al, you're going to watch the Lightning in the playoffs? Uh, yeah, if they're in the playoffs. I haven't... Uh, I heard the, the hockey season was going to start again, but then... But then, um... Players keep testing positive, so I don't know. <laughs> She's being modest. She graduated high school yesterday and has two BA slash BS degrees already. Uh, that's kind of 50% correct. <laughs> Bounty Hunter's 50% correct. We have a Glaber All-Star Game rookie here. Isn't this an online class and breaking? Yeah, but Mike, I'm more so teaching this class. I'm not I'm not participating. So it's easier on me. Hey, Noogie did track too. Wait, you can graduate high school? No, I never heard of high school. What's that? We have another black parallel here, Andrew McCutcheon, 35th anniversary insert. Out of 299. I can't even see what that's at. A 181. Out of 299. There. Now y'all can see it. Thirty-fifth anniversary in Longoria. We have a silver foil of Manny Machado. Central Valley says 24. New. No, we already we already got it earlier. You missed it. You missed it. The secret the secret has been kept now. Ali, you're one of my inspirations for starting my channel. Oh, thanks, Willie. Good luck with your channel, Willie. It looks uh, trust me, it looks much easier than it actually is. But um if you keep working at it. Willie, I'm sure it'll be good for you. Yeah, the Sean Rodriguez silver foil here. August 1st is when the play in, playoff round will start. Uh, I'm very excited for hockey to start again. Okay, cool. Thank you for that information. Did you miss an Albies? Are the Albies worth pulling out? Please let me know. I, I was only pulling out the Acunas, Sotos, Otanis, and Glabers. But I can start pulling out Albies. I mean, we do ship all base. So, even if I miss anything, like if I miss a SP or a random advanced stat parallel or a rookie like if I'm just I blink and I miss a rookie that's that I should be pulling out we do ship all base and everything is double boxed so like you know everything but um here here is an Albies I mean I can pull out the Albies I'll have to pull out an Albies vote everyone tell me yes Albies no Albies Didi Gregorius International Affair
Michael's waiting for basketball. Albies are okay, so we have one vote yes for Albie. Well, all right, we got two vote. Not really from the series because he had a true RC in series one. All right, all right. Maybe Albies. We'll be talking about that. Uh, the Albies RC's cards, the All Star Game ones. Since I have this one out, I'll sleeve it. But otherwise, I'm not going to be actively searching for him unless you guys mention it. I think that's a good middle ground for us here. 35th anniversary, Sean Manea. Alright, so we've come to the conclusion. Series 1 Albies, yes. This one, eh. But I already did it. International Fair, Aaron Judge. Hello, Ali. How are you? Never done a break here, but is there enough space for tonight? Yep, Daniel. We still are only at break number 20 for the night. So, yeah, there's no Juan Soto here. Usually they come after the Ichiros. But yeah, there's definitely room tonight. I actually have finally put in a real thing to be able to show that orders are closed for the night. Like, woo. But, um, yeah, so I'll be able to close that off when it's ready. But for now, yeah, orders are still open for the night. So, yeah, if you're interested. Feel free on adding a break to our queue. We'd love to have you. Andrew McCutcheon, don't blink. If you are watching on YouTube, take an inspiration from Willie here. Make sure you all smack that like button. If you're enjoying what you're seeing. Jacob says Allie's very careful with shipping. I am. I try my best. You know, not only do you guys let me open the box for you, but then I also have to be able to get the stuff to you properly. So I want to make sure everything arrives exactly as I left it. So I do make sure everything is as safe as possible. We have Ted Williams insert. All right, that Abreu looked kind of weird, so I was like, hmm. But nope, not an SP. Mad Max says, if you're on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow button. A cute little zombie will show up. Bonsoir de Montreal. Hello from Montreal. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank you for joining us, Patrick. Welcome. Storybook ending is David Ortiz. Adam says, Brace Fan President got 490 chipper autos to prove it. That's a lot of chipper autos. We have an Otani rookie here. Austin Meadows, rookie insert. Do major leaguers in any sports collect non sports cards? Um, that's a good question. I'm sure someone out there has to. Interestingly enough, I know um, of some non-sports people that collect their own cards. Like, I'm um, not remembering the name of the act, the voice actor, but the voice actor for Orca from Star Wars Resistance, the little, little pig dude, um, we had a canvas auto of his out of 25 from last year's Masterwork, and he actually bought it from us himself, which was very, very cool to see. I mean, if I if I was a Star Wars person as well, I would be like, cool, I want my own cards. Hey, we have a one subtle rookie here right on the top. Dean has smashed that like button. Thanks, Dean. Appreciate it. Miles McCullis, insert. Bobby Moynihan, that is correct. That is right. Yeah, I think there's an eye in there somewhere. Oh, we've run out of sleeves. Let me grab my backup sleeve pack. I need sleeves. Yo, this is feeling a little danger. Okay, all right, I survived. Some really good stuff in the eBay store. Yeah, we got some good stuff in there. Giannis buys his own, or Giannis buys his own cards. That's cool too. I have to correct myself because I'm so used to saying Giannis, which is wrong, but it's actually Giannis. Give me some time, everybody. I'll get to it. Thirty-fifth anniversary, Glaber Torres insert. Should I sleeve this one up too? Why not? Penny sleeves. Hey, we have a rookie debut, Torres here as well. 
By the way, the Kunyan is box is top right or corner ding disease. Uh oh. I didn't see it. When I pulled it. When I pulled it, I thought it looked nice. Let's take another look at it. Come. You sure, Chris? It looked pretty nice. I don't know. Zachary says he pulled the bat down Acuna the other day. Wow, that is awesome. The show Otani, you just pulled a $125 card PSA 10. That card could jump up in value since his Tommy John surgery. Yeah, Acuna, uh, uh, or, um, I think Otani's pretty cool. I think I missed the time if I wanted to start collecting Otani when his stuff was cheap. I feel like it's just going to go up from now on, so I kind of missed out. But we have you, Darvish, International Fair Insert. Player for the Jaguars collects magic, Cassius Marsh. That's cool. We have a gold parallel, Manny Machado here. 1806 out of 2018. It's just a white in the photo, looks like a ding from the distance, says Boss Man. Yeah, it looked pretty clean when I took it out of the pack. Joey says, keeping Twitch strong on this end. Thanks, Joey. I know, I know some of you are over on Twitch. Most of you are on YouTube. But I appreciate all of you out there on Twitch as well. We have a Dwight Gooden insert here. Angoth asks, why don't you just buy the cards you want individually? Well, sometimes people like to make sets as well. But, um... It's also fun to open packs. In general, it's usually, hey, we have another auto. We have a black rookie auto of Mike Soroka. I thought autos were one per case, but this is 20 out of 99 Mike Soroka from the Braves. Black rookie auto. On card. Very cool. Wow. Oh, I missed the zombies. Uh-oh. I keep missing the Twitch notifications. I apologize, everybody. There's several people that followed recently. Jeff McCain, Michael Magor, Chuito, 1978, Des the Chan Man, 1993, Twin Planet Bros, and then Jin Kwa was there. All right. Very cool. Is this a case of buying stuff you don't want to get a chance to eat stuff you might want? Um, well, I don't know what the motivation between buying this one is in particular, but there are a lot of actually really expensive cards that people might want from 2018. But this is cool, though. I mean, every time you buy is a gamble. But this is cool here. Black Auto, Mike Soroka on card. I'm surprised that we got two autos back-to-back -back boxes, because they are all from the same case. Storybook Endings, Cal Ripken. Austin Meadows rookie here. And last pack here for John. Thirty fifth anniversary Mike Trout insert. And that'll do it for this box here. So let's take a look at what we got. I think we just had one Acuna. Take a double double check that. Oh, we did get two, actually. We got the regular one and the rookie debut. But let's take a look at our hits. We had Mike Soroka Black Auto on card for the Braves, numbered out of 99. We had just one Soto in this box, a rookie debut Soto. And then for the Acunas, we had one base Acuna and a rookie debut. Pam MK just subscribed. Thank you, Pam MK. Er, Pam MK. Wait, subscribed? Wait... I don't have Twitch subscription. So do the YouTube ones actually work? Alright, YouTube notifications might half work. I don't know if it's just not Super Chat showing up. But I don't have Twitch subscriptions. So I think it said subscribed. I don't know, maybe it said followed. I'm just losing my mind. But um, thank you, PacMK. Uh, Ali, you and Phil have something in common. 
both lightning fans. Subscribing is Twitch. Allie was able to be added as Dan. Uh, I might we might have had some orders go through, but I haven't checked through this one. I can check real quick before we continue with our recap. We got a couple of new breaks that popped up. Yeah, we got a couple of breaks I have to add to the queue afterwards. See, Ali, you did again. Pulled some great stuff. All right, let's continue with the recap here. Willie's opening score, Legacy, 94, Fleer, NFL, chasing all things Redskins. Let's do a recap of the rest of our hits here from this box. We did have an Austin Meadows rookie. Gold, Manny Machado. Glaber Torres, rookie debut. Glaber Torres, 35th insert. Oh, we did get a Juan Soto. Well, I messed up on this one. This one gets top loaded. All right, so we had two Sotos as well. Cool, cool, cool. Otani rookie. Meadows insert rookie. This Albies. Silver foil, Sean Rodriguez. Foil Machado. Black insert McCutcheon, 35th anniversary. Torres, all-star game rookie. Couple of super chats and a couple subs from YouTube showed on the stream. I'm gonna go find my brand since I lost it, obviously. I didn't see the super chats pop up on uh, the. Maybe I'm just missing them. I'll have to rewatch this for sure. Candace says, let's go. We have insert here, Glaber Torres. Regular Glaber Torres rookie. Foil Martinez. Gold Colome. Rookie debut Otani. Gold Guard One. Or Guard Wine. Mitch Hanniger, Black Parallel out of 67. And Gold Garrett Cole in the first pack. That'll do it here for this box of 2018 update for John B. Next up, we do have John B's box of 2020 Series 2 Baseball, and that is a jumbo box. So next up is that. Let me move this out of the way here. I won't unsnap myself. They were the tiny, tiny ones. Okay. Oh. I'll have. To, I'll definitely, like I said, this, uh, this is actually, not only is it my first time streaming to both YouTube and Twitch, it's also first time using this new computer, and also the first time using Streamlabs OBS instead of regular OBS, so things are new for me. I'm glad everything seems to be working fine so far, though, so that's cool. Resident Idiot says, hello, everyone. Hello. But let me, like I said, let me get this stuff moved out of the way, and then we will get into that jumbo box for John B. Dean says, I thought I saw Star Trek on the list. Yep, Dean, there is. We do have a box of uh, Star Trek up tonight. I forgot there was something I wanted to take care of real quick, everyone. So hold on just one second. We have a super chat here from Kenneth Tran. Says, have a snack and Dr. Pepper. Thank you so much, Kevin or Kenneth, for that $4.99 super chat. Appreciate a lot. And if you are not all, if you guys were not aware, my boss does let me keep all super chats as like my own personal tip jar. Oh, there it is. So they do show up. Awesome. Okay, so I did get it to work. That's great. But I do have to make that a lot bigger. So good to know for next week. So I don't need to fix the YouTube ones. Let me cross out my note that said fix it. So now I'm just underline enlarge. Phil, I started to work from home today using a new laptop. Yeah, when it's getting used to new stuff is a bit a bit scary, but thankfully everything has been working well so far. Crispy Bacon said on Twitch, says Allie, my youngest nephew opened Donruss Baseball and yelled out he got a Boba Fett card. He came in and showed me, of course it's a Boba Fett card. He's been watching your live video playbacks. Oh, that is adorable. Aaron O says, I absolutely love this group or should have say my stream team. That does sound pretty cool as well. <laughs> the old man Aaron has awoken. Yeah, 172 year old Aaron, everybody. But actually, we did also have some new break orders, so let me queue these up. So I want to go check for Daniels, and I noticed we actually had three waiting for me to add. So before we get into that jumbo box, let me just do some. Oh, look, you guys can see our microphone as I move it out of the way. We have it archives.
four, Ryan A. All right, break number 22. We have Daniel's pre-release kits. And in break number 23, we have, hey, a box of score football. Cool. For Jonathan B. Wonder if I can pull not but two, but three two autos from the same case of score football. Crazy stuff, you guys. But all right, I am back. Let me make sure my tabs are correct. All right. All right. Chris says, tip your server, ladies. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Glad to see you back on Twitch. Allie says, be loading 13. Hey, it's going pretty good. Thank you for hanging out with us. BF Golf says, hey, Allie, hey. Dean says, Allie and Team Titans. Do, do you guys have little card stands for sale? People ask us actually about a lot, uh, Chris, on this, and then my boss always tells them. I only move the microphone back over here. Maybe it's, I hope it's not, wasn't too quiet there. But, um. They, may, they sell them at, like, Michael's. Like, little tiny stands that are much cheaper than, like, the official Ultra Pro ones, but they do the same thing. They're, like, 99 cents or something. So, we don't carry them. We always tell people just to go down the street and go look at Michael's. Alright. Alright. Aaron Ellis says, Mad Max, how old do you think I am? If you guess right, I'll tell you. I mean, Aaron, you already confirmed to be 172. All right, next up we do have this jumbo box here for John B. So let's get into it, because jumbo boxes do take forever. By the nature of packs having, what, like 42 cards in it or something? 46 cards per pack in a jumbo. Now, jumbos do guarantee one autograph, two relic cards. So even though we saw two autos in those boxes of 2018 update, that is usually not the norm. Usually in a hobby box, you get one or the other. You get an autograph or a relic. Most often you're going to get a relic card. We just looked out getting those two autos back to back. But you do get guaranteed an auto and two relic cards in this jumbo box here. So let's get started for John B. on this up uh, Series 2 box right here. All right. Windy City Hockey says, hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. This one is like the only box that doesn't want to cooperate with like the insertion. I don't know why, but anyways, let's get started here. Now with the jumbo boxes, you do get the yeah. I put on a I put on a bandaid. I have a Squirtle bandaid now. That was my in between maintenance. <laughs> we do have the two silver packs and the bonus to a decade's best chrome pack. No, it didn't open. It was just um, some people had mentioned it earlier, and I felt bad that you guys could see it, so I rebandaided it. I just, I hate it, so you you guys don't have to look at my gross, gross chunk. <laughs> yep, Squirtle. A little Squirtle band-aid. Here we go. Chris says, I'm so old, you could be my daughter. I feel like I could be the daughter of most of the people in this chat, but, you know. Hey, Charlie's here. Charlie says, good luck. Hey, Charlie, welcome. Yeah, let's see if we can finally get an auto out of one of these silver packs. No. Alright, so pack number one was a No. Let's see, silver pack number two. Can we get color at least? Alright, no color in these silver packs here. What about the Decade's Best packs? We have Justin Verlander, 2010s, and Albert Pujol, 2000s. So no color in these silver packs, unfortunately. But all right, let's see if we can do better in this box, starting with pack number one. Todd says, if you think about it, Allie's a gold mine. She has knowledge and is very good with people interaction. She also admitted she isn't afraid to study up on sports she doesn't know about. Yeah, we got in, 
soccer better than uh, or earlier than we expected. So I, I felt bad that I was floundering so badly the other day in that soccer. Well, I say the other day, but it was literally yesterday in the soccer videos. The bandage is the wrong Pokemon for Allie. Yeah, they don't. To my knowledge, they don't have Whooper band aids. Bill is calling a Roberts SSP, which would be crazy. All right, the Wandering Bard. Pretty sure it can't be your. I can't be your dog. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying in general. I feel like probably the average age of chat, I could be the child of. Got a Charmander band aid next. I might. I had the Bulbasaur one yesterday. The really only the rookie cards so far at the moment we're looking for is a Roberts rookie. So I'll just go through the base. Pretty quickly. Looks like we do have a black parallel here coming up. This is of Ivan Nova for the Tigers. That is 56 out of 69. And we have a silver foil, Reese Hoskins. Significant statistics insert of Joey Gallo. 35th anniversary, Pete Alonzo. And a Roberts 23rd insert. My daughter is one year older and has her own family. Makes me feel really old. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to create a lizard family. Yo, I'm upset. I did not know about this. You know, instead of the state of Florida government figuring out how to make it happen so that schools can open safely, because if they're going to open anyways, they, you'd think they'd spend time figuring out how to do it safely. They decided, you know, you know what's more important? Let's make an executive order that says you're not allowed to own tegus. Like, that's what you're focused on right now? Like, don't y'all have something better to do? So, no, I am... Unless I get one, like, this weekend, I'm gonna try and find one and just be like, yo, mom, dad, I showed up with a Tegu, he is our family now. But, um... Which is a really... You get the... You gotta get the Argentine black and white Tegu. He is the, they are, like, little puppy dogs. Yes, they're big lizards, they're awesome, but, um... State of Florida says, nope, you can't have them anymore. Or, and if you already have one, you have to have a permit. But the people who sell tegus were given like 90 days to get rid of all their tegus in the state of Florida. So it's like, well, you know, if I go find one real quick, I guess I can get one. But it's like, come on. Come on. I just want a tegu. Why Why are you like this? Hey, we have a Robert rookie here. So there's my little mini soapbox. I just want to collect a bunch of lizards. I'm that weird lizard chick. You know what are really cute? Day geckos are really cute. Remember if you go to Home Depot, you can go to school. The governor's office refused to keep them safe. Uh, I don't. Oh, I, went, I, I was scrolling too far and I missed a bunch of stuff. But here we have a Wilson Contreras SP here, number 115. Look, he's just exercising. Get regular SP here. And then we have a gold foil Justin Dunn. 2010's Decades Best insert. I have a pile of stuff to sleeve up from this pack. We have a Barry Larkin 35th anniversary insert and a Cody Bellinger Tops 2030. Uh, nice box so far pulling that. Yeah, it was nice to get the one Robert already pretty early. We've seen boxes that have had zero. We've seen boxes that have had three. So, who knows how many we will get here. Allie, do you play Animal Crossing? I have never actually played Animal Crossing before. It seems like it'd be something that I like. I've just never played it. Why is there an upside down pack here? Weird. Oh, yeah. Well... DeSantis is interesting. Anyways, enough, enough political talk. I'm just saying, I'm just complaining. You know, it's like, I think the state of Florida should have other priorities than deciding to put out executive orders on what kinds of reptiles people can own in the state. That's just me. Get a license, Allie. Me and my father looked into it because we want a fox and they're either cheap or free. I know, but it's just, it has to be done like right now. Like I was hoping in maybe like a year. Maybe like a year I would, you know, get one. But now it's like now or never. Hey, we have a gold auto of Tuki Toussaint here for the Braves on card. Number 35 out of 50. Yeah, Chris got zero, unfortunately. We have a Nick Castellanos gold parallel here out of 2020. Sam. Tui Vailala, Silver Foil. Just got the game Carnival on Switch and playing the battling game, says Dean. We have Player of the Decade insert Mike Trout. 35th Anniversary, Dale Strawberry. I'm running out of files. No, no, I have one. Never mind. And Christian Yelich, 2030 insert. 
Joe Kim says, what's up? Just ripping some jumbo packs. Todd says, don't talk politics ever. Yeah, I don't typically like to either. Because I feel like, no matter what, you know, someone's going to get upset. But, yeah, I just feel like, why is there two piles of 33 in here? That would explain why I don't have room for anything. I just feel like there's other things they could be doing with their time. Take your run wild in South Florida. They're very territorial and attack everything. Yeah, the thing is, though, it's like, you could say that about any animal. People just release anything into the Everglades. Because they're like, oh, it's natural. They can live there. But, you know, it's like, why are you messing with this right now? That's how I feel about it. But anyways, Mark says, I wish more people were on Twitch. I like that platform better, but all the action's here on YouTube. Yeah, we're just trying to have both because um, there were the issues last week with YouTube. Hey, we have another Robert rookie here. So we're trying out both, seeing how it's going. Looks like it's going pretty good. Oh, we have another SP here. We have Noah Syndergaard. It's a regular SP here. Remember the python that ate the gator in the Everglades? Yeah, I remember that story. That was crazy. Howie Kendrick, gold foil. 1980s, decades best, Jack Morris, Austin Riley, and Bryce Harper. No politics or soccer, someone will be offended. We've had so many people call in the shop asking for soccer that we're like, I guess we have to carry soccer now. I have a green iguana, a Chinese water dragon, an anoli, and a bunch of leopard geckos. Ooh, says Ziggy Bugito on Twitch. Yeah, they also, the state of Florida, said no to green iguanas. Although I've heard green iguanas can be nasty unless you handle them from they're like super, super, super young. But. But um, they're still really cool looking. I mean, something like that probably, and the same thing with tegus, should probably be left to people with more like expertise in handling reptiles. But still, I want one. <laughs> Fun fact, people bring their goldfish to local ponds all the time. Goldfish never stop growing. Big problem for the ecosystem of the pond. I did not know that about goldfish. Tony asks, asks what time is Chronicles break? After we're done with this jumbo box, we're going to have a Chronicles box. And then later on as well, we will have another box of Chronicles draft picks. So come up soon, Tony, if you want to hang out for that. We have a gold foil, Jose Abreu here. Albert Pujols, Decades Best. DJ LeMayhew, 35th. And a Mookie Betts, 2030. Allie, what if you pull an SSSSP? That would be crazy, because uh, that would be one more S than that triple rookie SSSP that we got. That was crazy. Uh, Mad Max's leopard geckos are best geckos. They are super cute. At first I didn't like them because their tails were too chunky. And then, I don't know, they keep growing on me. I know someone that had a wild iguana almost land on top of them. That sounds crazy. That sounds like a crazy, scary experience, actually. Just an, igu an iguana falling on you. Tails are fat just to keep them alive. I know, but at first I thought it was weird, but the more I look at them, the cuter they get. We have Paul Goldschmidt, home run challenge insert. Tegas are pretty... Uh, from what I've seen, the more lots the chill pets. From what I've seen, a lot so than other lizards. Yeah, I've been watching like videos on them and whatnot. That's how I first found out about them, and that's why I was like, "Ooh, I want one." We have Max Fried Silver Foil. Uh, don't know this man's first name. Namar Mazara. Significant statistics insert. Thirty-fifth anniversary. Tom Glavine and Chris Bryant, twenty thirty. The Blank Robert. Yeah, I've seen those too as well. South Florida, when it gets cold, iguanas fall out of trees. That does sound scary. Oh, why did I sleeve that up? Actually, let me move the base out of the way. Because the base is going to get too humongous. So I'll put the home run challenge insert there. Chris wants the Louis Robert Astate. Saw one pulled already. Ooh. Yeah, Chris, you did get a rookie Astate, but it was not Robert last week. I think it was someone for the Rays, if I remember correctly. It's just still cool to get an Astate. And to get a rookie Astate, but it would have been even cooler if it was a Robert rookie.
Oh, we have our second hit of the box here. We have the draft, the draft emblem. Dansby Swanson for the Braves from 2015. Oh, it's out of 10. Uh, don't know how I would have seen that it was out of 10. I feel like there's no indication on the front. Glavine says Noogie. Thanks, Noogie. But 2 out of 10. Dansby Swanson. Draft Day Medallion card. Uh, not sure that this would go in a magnetic, but that definitely goes in a nice chunker sleeve. Chunk sleeve. I'm back. Did I call the third pack Acuna? Unfortunately not. Dylan did not get that one. What site do I use to purchase spots or teams? Phil, we only do personal breaks here at the moment on the channel, but the website is up here, titancardsfl.com shop. This is 130 points. Brian O'Brady has potential, so not bad. Chalk sleeve. Yeah, because they make two different sizes of sleeves. Todd Richardson says big. Not sure if you mean big as in big sleeve or like big as in big hit. Yeah, that's who actually I watched, Ziggy. Uh, I watched Clint's Reptiles. That's that's how I, I first saw the the uh, the Tegu. Did I not top load the auto for some reason? I didn't. I forgot. Oh, last week we we're also top loading the Roberts. Let me top load this as well. We had two so far. Yeah, Ziggy, that's who I watch on uh, YouTube. Really, it's Clint's Reptiles. Hey, you're welcome, Phil. Yeah, unfortunately we don't do like team breaks or things like that at the moment, but. Maybe in the future. We need Southern Hobby to up our allocations. Even though we pay. We don't have a running debt. We pay on everything as it ships. We don't have terms. We don't have anything like that. They're like, no, you can't get more. No, we want to give to someone who has $100,000 in debt. We can't give you any more. But all right, let's continue with this pack. We do have a blue parallel 35th anniversary of Chris Bryant. A gold Pittsburgh Pirates. Silver Foil, Ronnie Rodriguez. Dwight Gooden, Warriors of the Diamond insert. 35th Anniversary, Max Scherzer. And Nolan Arenado, 2030 insert. Sykes, I don't understand what you mean. Southern Hobby, what's that? I thought the cards came from Soviet Russia. <laughs> you know, Southern Hobby is our main distributor. They're too busy giving it all the blood. They're too busy giving it to, like, anybody except us. It's quite frustrating. They always pay their debts. Uh, these people, like, there's no guarantee that they're going to pay. There's people that have several hundred thousand dollars worth of debt. And, you know, we have a clean bill and they still won't give us, like, even, like, we're not even asking for, like, a million cases of everything. We're just like, please, can we have, like, a full case? And they say no. <laughs> or, like, can we have, like, a box? And they say no. Like, you can't even get one box of some products from Southern. It's ridiculous. Oh, we have our third hit of the box. So we're all hitted out for this box. We have JT Real Muto Relic Card. Yeah, I know in business debt is good, but it's just, you know, you know. But anyways, we have Wars of the Diamond, Rod Carew. You know, it's good for the person working with the debt. It's not so good for the person who owes, you know, for the place that owes the money. A lot of distributors are being greedy past couple past few months, yeah. Guess you need to order more cases of all tops or panini products. We do. We do. And you know what? They still cut us on everything. It doesn't matter what we order. We get cut on it. They've even started trying to cut us on magic, which we have an agreement that they can't cut us on magic, but they they still try to cut us on magic. Like, we ordered, we ordered like, always a ton of magic. We ordered, like, ten cases minimum to start with on, uh, on course at 2021. And they tried to, they tried to give us two. They tried to give us two cases of magic. It's ridiculous. Allie, the longer you guys are around, that will change. But we've been ordering from Southern for five years, and they give us less and less every single year. I think they're holding it and sell it for way more a little time later to Breakers. That is true, because they couldn't give us any national treasures. They said, we don't have any for you but of, of basketball. But of course, like a week and a half ago, they're like, we have basketball if you want it, but it's $4,000 a box. We're like, no. <laughs> We're not going to buy NT for four grand. How much are we going to have to sell it for if we bought it for four grand? You know, that's what they do. They hold it. 
And then they do it. You gotta buy some of their crap in order to get the good stuff. We do buy the junk. How do you think we went through so many boxes of Big League? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Anyways. Have you found any more SSSP? The one you pulled a few back was awesome. No, we haven't found any more. We found just regular um, SPs, but not any more SSSPs. But you know, that's a big reason why we can't do team breaks or like case breaks because they won't give us a full case. You can't just put together like a case and then be like, oh, this was a case we got, but it's not, you know. So for the time right now, we can't do case breaks. But that's the thing, they'll always be like, oh, like a week later, oh, we found some more, but the price is like three times what it was supposed to cost you. Tops now insert of David Price and Mookie Betts. Gold. Bellino the Shields. Decade's Best, Barry Zito. 35th Anniversary, Robinson Cano. And a Juan Soto 2030. Jonathan B says, hi, hello. I do get to hear Boss on the phone, that is true. Because we have to fight for every product that we have. Last pack here in this jumbo box for John. We have another tops now insert. This one is Juan Soto. Then we have Rich Hill, gold foil. Expos, Decades Best, Mike Yastrzemski, 35th Anniversary Insert, and Javier Baez, 2030 Insert. And that'll do for this box here. Yep, next up is a box of Chronicles Draft Football. All right, but let's do a recap of what we did get here in this jumbo box before we get into that Chronicles box. I know some of you are really excited for it, but we got to take a recap first. Our first, our, well, our three hits, we did get... Two, one, one jersey relic, a commemorative medallion, and a gold auto. So this first one here is a non-numbered relic of JT Real Mudo for the Phillies. We have Dansby Swanson, draft day medallion, numbered out of 10. Two of 10. And then gold auto of Tuki Toussaint here for the Braves, numbered 35 out of 50. Then we did also get two Robert rookie cards in this box as well. Ali, it's a shame how it works. Big dogs get the majority and they treat the smaller and upcoming shots like trash. That, that is pretty accurate. Card store in my area said the same thing about what you're preaching when it comes to Panini. Keep doing what you do. A pleasure to watch. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate it. Um, here, let's take a look at our other assorted foils, hits, SPs, etc. SP here on the Syndergaard. An SP here on the Contreras as well. They get a black parallel, Ivan Nova for the Tigers. And the one Robert 2030 insert as well. Boss is a card shop here in Fort Lauderdale, and the owner is well connected and gets everything. Hopefully, you get a lot uh, of the next Star Wars release. We tend to get a lot of Star Wars. There's not that many people, um, I guess, that order as much Star Wars from Southern, so we tend to get a lot of Southern. It's mostly on sports products. I mean, eventually I'm sure they'll try starting to cut us on Star Wars, but, you know, we'll see. Sound like manufacturers lose out on a lot due to demand. I don't know. I mean, they do print a lot of this stuff. Ali, send them an email with a photo of you with a different face expression every day till they give in. Make sure you send one of you pointing at the camera. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I don't think they'll fall for it. I feel like that might just get them to, like, completely cut us completely and get rid of us, but um, that does sound just like an interesting idea. Boss, buy from another vendor if you have to. That Chrome will sell like crazy. Uh, we're trying to get more from all sports as well, but of course it's difficult. But anyways, that is it for this box. Jumbo box here of Series 2 for John B. Next up is that Chronicles Draft Picks football. So let me get this cleared off, and we'll move on over to some football. We're still in break number two, everyone. This break did have three boxes in it. All right. All right, I'll take stack one, and then I will be back for the base cards. So hang tight, everybody. I'll be right back. Mm
Cardinals draft football. I'll use those magical hands to pull some magic. I'm trying. The last box we opened, I don't know if we can live up to that. But that was a crazy box. Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback in the league. MVP asks, how many breaks are there? Let me see if we've had any new breaks come in. Last I checked, we were at 23. But let's see if anything new I've missed. Do, do, do. All right, nothing new from what I can see here. So we are at 23 live breaks for tonight so far. All right, never seen a Series 1 with so much hype around it before. You guys talk about 2020 Series 1? The LCS has to stay strong. Don't want Walmart and Target being the only place to get cards. We're trying our best to survive. I mean, we've been doing pretty good. It's just the problem is to have product, you know. You know, we need to be able to get in product to be able to sell product. Of course, it'd be no problem for us to sell the stuff, especially with all of you guys out here who let me do personal breaks for you online. We no longer just only have the reach here in Pinellas County, but online as well. So, you know, we just need to be able to have the product to sell it. But... Chris says I should hold a spot for the last break. I've done well in both my last spot breaks. Hey, Restream.io is letting me know that we've received a thousand messages today with the Restream chat. That's cool. Aaron says I'm hoping tonight is my night to do well, Chris. Uh, Bounty Hunter says maybe another gold vinyl or plate. Lamar Jackson says Ali, you're probably going to have to stay up till 5.30 a.m. Can people still buy stuff? Yeah, people can still buy stuff. We're only at 23. Uh, once it gets to around 30, I'll consider cutting it off. But we do have quite a few shorter breaks in that uh, later those later on breaks, so those should go fast. Uh, Noogie says stepping out for a little bit, be back later. Hey, Lu hey Noogie, take care, we'll see you back later. For you to open it today on stream. Yeah, people can still buy stuff for me to open, but anyways, we're gonna get into this Chronicles draft picks, and we can get moving along, because it's already 9.30, and let's see what we can get here. Hopefully we can get some more crazy stuff. Before I get started, let me grab a new pack of top loaders, because these are running a little short. I'll try not to hurt myself on these this time. Guys gonna do pre-orders for Masterwork? Um, I don't know. It's hard to pr to do pre-orders for something that comes out so far away. Aaron, I've only done two boxes so far. Both were last ones. Nothing spectacular, but good value boxes. Yeah, Chris, you've done. You've had some pretty cool stuff. I mean, Allie, I'm sure Boss is glad to have you. I would sure hope so. I would sure hope so. Wax to the future says, "Look and fly." Thanks, Wax. But anyways, let's get into this box here. Last box of the night so far for John B. So let's see what we can get here. Find three autographs per box on average. Six cards per pack, eight packs per box. Let's get on into it. Alright, pack number one. We have a downtown insert of DeAndre Swift. That's got to be pretty good. Downtown inserts are usually super hard to get. DeAndre Swift, let me get this one. Sleeved up. I'm actually going to top load it as well. That is cool. Ooh, I see a Star Trek break in the description. Interesting. Yeah, we got a box of Star Trek tonight. Yeah, DeAndre Swift downtown. One touch. Oh, Bounty Hunter is yelling at me to put this in a one touch. Um, okay. All right, I'm going. I got all caps demand of one touch. So, one touch the DeAndre Swift. All right, it's cool. All right, so we have a DeAndre Swift downtown insert in a one touch. Oh, Michael A says it's a case hit. Those are cool, that's cool, 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 cool. All right, so first pack, we're already doing pretty good. <laughs> And we have our Crown Royale card. Select. And Phoenix. I've seen many cases uh, busted, and this is the first downtown I've ever seen out of this product. Ooh. Setting records here at Titan Cards and Games. Last week we did get a downtown out of the... Finally we got a downtown out of... Um, oh, we have a playoff Tua here. Out of Diamond Kings. And here we go. First pack here out of uh, Chronicles. We get Diamond Kings as well. Now Chronicles, as I'm sure you all are aware, drives me insane by the sheer amount of piles I have to have. So don't mind me as I frustratedly shift everything over. Sleeve up that Tua. Certified. 
We have another Tua here. We have a Clyde Edwards Alaire here. Oh, rated rookie auto. That's cool. From the LSU Tigers. Andrew says, back for some more Saturday Night Live with Allie over on Twitch. Hey, welcome back, Andrew. Happy to have you with us. Yeah, I know, only 14 piles. That's still way too many piles. For the rest of this pack, we have an Optic Graded Rookie and a Spectra. Right, next pack. Uh, if I get a new game, can you put it in a fancy case, you know, so I can feel special too? Sure, Aaron, why not? It's a nightmare for organizing. Yeah, it is, but especially if you go to, like, list everything on eBay, and then you gotta put, like, all these different names on it, it's pretty annoying. But yeah, they're easy to identify. It's just for, like, sorting and listing that it's a pain in the butt. Prestige. Regular Chronicles. You're not a Tua. I'm guessing this is, like, a Tua box. But from Limited. Absolute Justin Jefferson. Joe Reed, Crown Royale. Looks like we have another hit here. Jordan Love. What is this? This is a relic piece. 225 out of 229. So we have a bonus hit. Chronicles, Jordan Love, Alma Matter jersey. That should be 100 point. Leave up this two while I'm down here. We have another rated rookie here, Jake Breland this time, and Spectra Gabriel Davis. Take a look at the back of that card. Thought it was an auto. Why is this blacked out here? I think they blacked out and autograph. Oh, that is cool. Interesting that they did that. I guess they meant autograph and then uh, Panini screwed up. That is interesting. Hubers says, hey, Allie. Hey, Hubers. Glad I could join live. Love watching your ribs. Thanks, Tim. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Looks like we have another chunky thing here. Colby Parkinson. Rated rookie, Jerry Judy. Playoff, Jake Lutton. Wrong pile. XR, Kendrick Rogers. Edwards Alaire, Phenoms. Jared Pinkney, numbered out of 75. I don't have a regular limited pile. All right, so that's our last pile then. Jared Pinkney, that is 28 out of 75. Ooh, that is cool. We have a blue sparkle patch auto from Vanderbilt. That looks really cool. Spectra Patch Auto. So either they're supposed to be autographed or they weren't in Texas copy and pastes from the RPA cards. Ran out of stickers, says Michael. <laughs> this no, this needs a thick slate, but that is a really cool looking blue sparkle. Yeah, really cool with the anchors. It does it has a really nice piece there. Open five hanger boxes series two today, not a single Robert. Uh oh. Yeah, we've noticed, Mark, that even boxes sometimes don't even have Roberts in them. We've seen boxes have between one and three. So that is our second autograph of the box. We're still waiting on one more auto, at least. Select Lynn Bowden Jr. and a Phoenix DeAndre Swift. Prestige, Bryson Hopkins certified. We have a Joe Burrow elite here. Let's leave that one out. And Antonio Gandy Golden, Phoenix Silver. Is it say Prism anywhere? All right, it doesn't say Prism. So we have a Silver Refractor Auto here. Antonio Gandy Golden is our third auto. <laughs> it matches your band aid, the sparkle. It does. It does. The card is Squirtle themed. <laughs> Let me get a sleeve for this one. Ooh, I could put it in a 
55 points. We finally have 55 points back in stock, which is awesome. The OCD is awesome. I think most card collectors are. Yeah, I just like having everything in the right piles. This is non-numbered. That is cool. Memass asks, what part of the uni uniform has anchors? I have no idea, but it looks cool. Tyler Huntley, select. And Patrick Taylor Jr., Phoenix. Last pack here for John. McDonald's should sponsor this channel. Allie's definitely got me thinking about McDonald's breakfasts. You know, I, I'm craving an Egg McMuffin already. It's only 9.40 p.m., but I'm ready for some Egg McMuffins. Oh, it looks like we have some kind of cracked ice back there. Chronicles Cole Comet. Darrington Evans, Absolute. Anthony Gordon, Certified. And Justin Jefferson, Blue Cracked Ice Spectra Draft Picks. That is 12 of 15. Cracked Ice Prism. Definitely cool looking. Also matches the bandit. It was Steven Montez, Optic Rated Rookie. And Jerry Judy Spectra Draft Picks in the last pack. Oh, I already had a select pile. Oh, okay. All right, I see where I messed up. So this is cool. Let me top load this one as well, because it is numbered out of 15. Roger says, sorry about your finger, but nice band-aid. Hey, thanks, Roger. It is a cool Pokemon band-aid. So this overall seems like a pretty nice box. Some very beautiful looking cards, a nice downtown insert, a couple of Tua's, and one just Joe Burrow here. But let's take a quick, quick look at what we did get here Wayman live on Twitch says, Wendy's breakfast, Baconator's pretty awesome. Sorry I got on late and this may have already been addressed. Is your finger injury or related to opening cards? Get well soon. It is, Andrew. Dumb story. Yesterday I was opening up a new pack of top loaders and I somehow cut myself on a top loader. There's, sometimes they're sharp. Sometimes they're sharp. But Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> These cards are nice looking. Great concept of pain to sort. Totally agree, Tim. That is my only complaint I have about Chronicles. It's a pain to sort in the list. But let's do a recap here of what we got. Out of our Joe Burrows and Tua's, we got three Tua's. We got an Elite. We got a Playoff. And a Phenoms Limited. And then for Joe Burrow, just an Elite here. And then for cool assorted cards that don't aren't technically hits, we did get a Downtown Insert of DeAndre Swift. And a Blue Cracked Ice Prism of Justin Jefferson. From Spectra, number 12 of 15. And then for a bonus hit from the box, we did get this jersey piece here, Alma Mater Chronicles Jordan Love out of 299. And for our three autos, we got two base autos here, Clyde Edwards Alaire, rated rookie, and then a Phoenix Antonio Gandy Golden. And then we did get a Spectra RPA rookie patch auto of Jared Pinkney from Vanderbilt, Blue Sparkle Prism numbered out of 75. It is 28 of 75 to be exact. Caden asks, where in Florida are you? We are located in Pinellas Park. Kenny says, my wife is baking shortbread cookies later. Ooh, that sounds good. Cards and Kicks says, hey, Allie. Hey, how's it going? Cards and Kicks is over watching us over on Twitch. If you were not aware, if you're just hearing me say random people's names that you're not seeing in chat, we are streaming both on YouTube and Twitch because last week we did have some weird stuff. I saw, oh, I see... I just saw, I just saw, I don't, I guess I missed it when it popped up, but I, I just looked over and it says I had a donation from Laborn98 has donated $10 from the Egg McMuffins. Thank you so much, Laborn98. That is super awesome. Oh man, I must have missed it. I hope you guys got to see it, but um, my little zombie notification is a bit too small. I'm not catching it pop up in the corner of my eye, but yeah, thank you so much, Laborn98. Really appreciate it. Charlie says I got a $10 notion. I know, I just saw it, Charlie. I missed it, unfortunately. But thank you so much, Lawborn. Really do appreciate it. All right, you guys saw it pop up. I did not. All right, I definitely need to make it bigger. It is way too small. But then next week, that's on my that's on my uh, list here. I wrote enlarged Twitch notifications. So thank you so much. Dean says, I'm still curious about the Star Trek. We will get to it, Dean. Soon. Soon we will have it. But congrats to John on his boxes here. He had that, first, that second update box that we saw the jumbo box of series two we just opened and this one here so definitely some nice hits in all of those so hopefully you enjoyed your openings john thank you so much for ordering from us once again uh some people are asking how delayed is the stream on youtube i think it's about 10 seconds and then youtube uh twitch is about three seconds or so i think we found out last week so twitch is a little bit ahead of youtube but anyways let me get this cleaned up here and next up 
We do have a box of white swords. We have no game, no life booster box for Jorge R. So we'll get into that one next. So when I come back, we'll be switching off from sports for a little bit. We have the Weiss box, then we have a pre-release kit, then we have that Star Trek opening, and then we'll be back to Series 2 baseball with break number 6 for Chris. So it's going to be a little bit of time, not too long before we get back to sports, but a little, little non-sport tour coming up. Let me get this moved out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and unsnap myself now. And then when I, whoop, as I drop the Phoenix cards, and then when I come back, we'll be getting into some non-sports. No, no, Bounty Hunter, these are okay. These are okay. The other ones are a little questionable, but the other ones are still fine. But these, these white Schwartz cards are okay. Most of them, anyways. <laughs> but all right, I'll be back, everyone. Give me just a moment, and we'll be going into break number three. Lawborn98 is asking, what's the other break that's rated R? Uh, no, uh, Bounty Hunter is just joking because we opened a box of um, Fujimi Fantasia Bunko on the channel for Weiss, which has some very suggestive art in it that, oh, this is not appropriate. I mean, it's, you know. Look, there's another Bunko set from Weiss that's crazy, but that one, there was like one card that I was like, ah. But otherwise, that set's fine. What, uh, the No Game, No Life, they actually censored a lot of the pictures. So the US release of. Uh, uh, no game, no life is better. And Max says, still want to know how the other box of Weiss is YouTube friendly. I've seen some of those shows and Max Curious has YouTube friendly. I mean, Mad Max, have you watched any rap music videos recently on YouTube? Like, most of the stuff I feel like on YouTube isn't like super kid friendly anyways. So, you know. Chris M says, just ordered a box of Chronicles. Ooh, cool. Eric P says, holy crap, let me break number three tonight. Uh, three, tonight's going to be a long one. Well, we had three boxes. We've done four boxes so far. And one of which was a jumbo box, which always takes a while. <laughs> Mad Max asks, what's rap? Razor's Edge 808 says, good afternoon, Alley and Room. Hey, thank you. Now let me uh, make sure I get my queue updated for Chris. Get that box of Chronicles. All right, next time I get up, there's a lot of boxes I have to add to our queue, so someone make sure that I remember to grab those. But, uh, my friend just pulled a burrow out of 50 and a 25 out of one box of Legacy. That's crazy. Should we alert you if we see Baby Yoda moving in on the jelly beans? Yeah, definitely let me know if you see Baby Yoda moving. That would be quite concerning. Crispy Bacon says I'm going back and forth to each stream. Appreciate it, Crispy. But let me go ahead and change... Our queue number, we are going to be on break number two. Yeah, done. Cool. So that's all updated. All right. If you've seen JoJo, No Game, No Life is almost as bad, if not worse, than one of the aspects. Can't say here because family friendly content. I mean, JoJo is nuts. JoJo's a different kind of nuts, but. <laughs> well, I went to eat pizza and you're on break number three. Yeah, Kevin, break number two was quite a long one. We had three boxes in there. But, anyways, let me grab this box of No Game, No Life. And, and I also need the scissors. Where are the scissors? Here they are. Left them out because I knew that we need we had a Weiss opening tonight. Dean says, just got a Spark Hunter Mask or pre-release card. Dean's opening his pre-release kit. He got it at his local shop. But anyways, let's get started on this one here for Jorge R. By snapping ourselves into the corner and getting started. Now Weiss is uh, non-sports. It is completely not even a collectible thing. It, well, people collect it. But it is a trading card game, so people can play with these cards. Jojo sometimes hurts my head, but it hurts your heads in the best way, Mad Max. If it hurts your, it hurts your brain in a good way. Moxter sixty says, just says, just pulled a Burrow Auto out of seventy five. Nice. All right, I completely destroyed the thing on this box. Oops. All right, well you know what? I'm gonna just take these cards out. No game hurts my soul. It's not a show for me. It's not something I'm interested in at all. But Wise cards are super cool. So I'm excited to be opening it. For our promo here, we did get Elkia's Backbone Steph. Uh, 
Um, that was interesting. There's screeching tires outside. <laughs> Kevin says, I thought you got lost in chat convos. Is that true? That That is that is also true, Kevin. But yeah, there was quite a long break, number two. But anyways, let's get started here with pack number one. Let's see if we can get an SSP. If Weiss made cards of Food Wars, I'd be broke. There's a lot of shows that Weiss could make cards of that I'd be like, oh no. I'd be like, yes, but oh no. Like, Weiss should make a Bleach set when, when uh, the Thousand Year Blood War gets animated. <laughs> I would go insane for that. We have a Climax Rare here. Welcome, gamer. Lots of packs here. Yeah, I think there's um, 20 packs per box on Weiss products. Just another rare here. Cold Reading, Sora. Climax Common, Blood Destruction. Miss when bleach was good and not 99% filler. Yo, all bleach is good, Mad Max. You're you're speaking some treason over there. I just read the novel. I read it in like two hours because I was super into it. And it was crazy. I can't wait till part two comes out. Ugh. I hate that when it's like, I just want the second book now. We have Phil Nivalen, double R. Promise Between the Two, Climax Common. The dude, the, the new antagonist from the Bleach novel, Tsukina Shino or whatever his name is, oh my god, he's the worst. I hate him. It's just one of those characters you read and you're like, oh my god, you're horrible. I can't wait for you to get beat up. But you're also too smart, so I'm concerned. So yeah, that was an interesting experience. But we have another R here. Final piece. Tantrum, Karami, rare. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what card you're referring to, Crispy Bacon. That might have been from the other, the other Y set. <laughs> Rebirth, World, Shiro. Another climax rare here. Yeah, that was the other set. <laughs> we have a double R here. Blank subordinate Jabril. Wicked says how to switch to Twitch. Hey, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Prodigy of Ingenuity, Shiro. Ooh, Mad Max is selling. Trying to sell some sets to Crispy Bacon, saying, why don't you put an order for it if you want to see it open? Got him. Hey, we have our first Siren of the Night on stream, I think. Ooh, we have an SR here, Prodigy of Ingenuity, Shiro foil here. Dean's finished with his kit and says best card was Azusa. Definitely not a bad card to get, Dean. Oh, and we have a triple R here as well. The Promise Long Ago. So that'll probably be it for our foils for this box. Because we did get an SR and a triple R. Checkmate. Remember when the Bleach manga first came out in the US, this girl I had a crush on would ask to borrow the books as soon as I was done with each one, she would write. What would she write, Eric? I need to know. That is crucial to the story. Uh, we live on a... Uh, what we live, but the shop uh, is located on a busy intersection in Belfort, so there's always some weirdness going on outside. Materialization World Chain for our next rare. Promise long ago, Climax rare. Give me a little letter on the inside of the back cover we ended up dating soon after. Ooh. Eric being all smooth with his bleach books. I have double R, blank, Sora, and Shiro.
commonsensical hard worker, Steph. Black Lagoon, best manga. Haven't uh, heard that one. Haven't actually read that one, Mad Max. What game is this, Rabbit Kittens asked. This is a game called Weiss Schwartz. It's uh, based off like anime and different games. Uh, it originates from Japan. And each set is like its own series. And you can make decks within that series. You can't combine, like, they have, um, they have, like, uh, Fate Stay Night, and they'll have Attack on Titan and other things. But you can't mix, like, your No Game No Life cards with your Attack on Titan cards. you got to keep them within their own realm. But, um, it is also popular with collectors because you get to see, like, you know, pictures from, like, your favorite scenes or your favorite characters. And they also make a lot of different foil cards and rare cards. So, I don't know how to play the game, but I have collected a couple sets of Weiss Schwartz from, by now. Just because I've liked the series. Bought a mask with the Game Store mascot, pre-release kit, and two Marvel Champions decks. Huh. What is Marvel Champions, Dean? I don't, I don't think I've heard of that one. Kevin asked, what kind of snacks do you have tonight? Uh, I just have some Gatorade protein packs. And I have the regular macadamia nuts that Dean sent. I ate the popcorn and the chocolate-covered ones already. We have a double R here, Inheritor of Will, Steph. And I do have some jelly beans left, but they're all the ones that I don't want, so I don't know that I'm ever going to eat them. We have a double R, Blank's Victory Condition, Sora. When I was growing up in the 90s and collecting sports cards, Upper Deck was the hottest thing for a while. Is there a clear leader these days? Um, it depends on what you like, Andrew, I think. Upper Deck really just does hockey now. Panini you go to for football and basketball, and Topps does baseball. Black Lagoon as well. Not sure if you'd like it since you watched JoJo. All right. Are you telling me Black Lagoon's too normal? That's what I'm hearing, Mad Max. We have a rare here, Rebirth World Sora. True Power of Flugels. Looks like we're just two packs left here. Pride of Power, Jibril. Maybe if you mix them, they'll taste better. Nah, Eric, that sounds super bad. We have a rare here, Inoue Hatsuse. And that is it for this box. We have a climate comment, all of the trust in humanity. And that'll do it for this box here for Jorge. Let's do a quick recap of what we got. We did get two foils. We got one SR and one triple R. Promise long ago. And a Prodigy of Ingenuity Shiro. So some two very pretty cards here. For our promo, we did get Elkis Backbone Steph. For our Dolars, we did get five. Let's go through these real quick. And for our rares, I'm just going to shuffle through them. Alright, so, so definitely some nice cards here. Not sure on the value, but definitely some very pretty foils. But thank you, Jorge, for letting me open this up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening if you're watching now, or if you're watching on the replay, that was worth the wait for you. But thank you so much for letting me open up a personal break for you. And up next, we do have a Corset 2021 pre-release kit for John M. So hang tight, everybody. I'm going to clean this up, and when I come back, we'll be getting into some magic. Let's unsnap myself here. All right. Native Card Guy asks, any big hits yet in baseball and hockey? Uh, we haven't, we're not opening up any hockey today, I don't think, unfortunately. We didn't have any orders for it so far. Upper Deck also does Marvel cards, and uh, someday might release the Bond set. Yeah, the the Bond set, when we order it, when it comes out, we have, we want it on order. We want, we have it on order, we want it to come out. It's just, it keeps getting delayed, so I don't know when that's coming out. Allie, are opening any Bang Dream Y shorts? Uh, not today, Kevin, but uh, we do have an opening on the channel. All right, let me move this out of the way. When I come back, I'll switch that break counter to four, and we'll get into that pre-release kit for John M.
Eric predicts Joriel as the promo for John's blocks here. Let me actually, I, I said I needed to go get them. There's some boxes I need to put in the queue so that way we're all updated. So let me go grab those fake archives, two kits, score, and chronicles. I'll be right back, everyone. We're just going to open up, uh, update the Q shelf real quick. All right, I am back, everybody. Just give me one quick second to update our inventory, and then we will get into break number. Move these out of the way. Break number four. All right, looks like inventory is already updated, so I can get right back on into it. All right. Crispy Bacon says, "Turn that shark book." Yeah, if you're all not guys weren't aware, my my new notebook is a shark. It's super cute. All right, let me update the queue. Four. Done. All right. So let's get started. This one is for John M. I know Eric predicted that we're going to have a jor promo in here, so we'll see. Let's get on into it. I'm excited to see what we get. We have not seen a stamped Ugin yet so far, so maybe we can get one tonight. I know I know that Aaron would be pretty salty if uh, this kit had the stamp Ugin, because he is looking for an Ugin. But hopefully we get some pull, good pulls here. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it. Ken says, let's see some Teferis. That would also be a good choice of cards to see here. But we do have a blue die with the M21 set symbol, so nothing weird here yet on the dice. And for our promo, not the Teferi, but still a Teferi card. We have Teferi's Ageless Insight. Let me grab our six packs and get started. Primal Might is our first rare. Oh, we have a showcase Liliana Waker of the Dead mythic. Very nice. Yep, Eric, you weren't even close on that one. We have a foil here, Snare Spinner, and Liliana Standard Bearer for our next rare. Eric P says, wait, just notice top donation of the stream isn't posted. I had changed it because I was trying to figure out how to get a notification setting for that to work, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get that figured out next uh, this week. Hopefully by next week I can get that figured out so that way it just automatically updates and shows it on the screen for me but I didn't have time to figure that out this week unfortunately but um just open two collector boxes of court 2021 they were super spicy ooh Ziggy what'd you get spore web weaver for this rare here oh, we have Teferi's protege uncommon or er, common showcase
We have Thieves Guild Enforcer. Last pack here for John. We have a Foil Celestial Enforcer and a Grooks Harbinger Showcase Rare. So two showcase cards, two foils, and one mythic in this box here for John. Let's take a look at what we did get showcase wise. Oh, well, technically three showcases. We had Protege Common, and then Mythic Liliana and Rare Grooks Harbinger. We get two foils, Celestial Enforcer and Snare Spinner. For our regular rares, got just four Primal Might, Standard Bear, Spore Web Weaver, and Guild Enforcer. And for our promo, we did get Fairy's Ageless Insight. And that'll do it here for this box for John. John, I hope I was able to add some nice cards to your collection. The Showcase Lily is definitely pretty nice. Some nice rares here as well. I know this card, uh, we've sold out of it very quickly, so I'm not sure if it's starting to get play or people are expecting it to do well, but it does seem like a very interesting card. Hope you're happy with your pulls, and thank you so much for letting me open up this personal break for you. But let me get this cleaned up. When I come back, we'll be getting into break number five for Christina S. We have that box of Rittenhouse Star Trek Archive. So let's see original series archives and inscriptions. So we'll see. we'll see if we can get some really cool cards out of there. Uh, 21 total mythics, 4 teferis, 4 ogans, 2 grim tutors, full art foil azusa. That is definitely spicy, Ziggy. You were correct. 100% spicy. Uh, Ali, remember the guy saying 2k for you pulling him a Zion last week? I was rooting for you big time on the replay. Hey, thanks, Todd. Yeah, me too. I was hoping that I would pull a Zion. So that would have been crazy. But unfortunately, no Zion in that last box. But uh, that box of NT apparently was pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't, I'm not as familiar with basketball, except for the top, like, top names of current times. So I wasn't sure on those... Um, it's, but apparently it was a pretty decent box. But like I said, let me unsnap myself. When I come back, we'll be getting into that Star Trek box. So not quite sports, but back into the realm of non-sports trading cards. So when I come back, like I said, archives, Star Trek, original series, and inscription. So hopefully we get some cool autos here. But let me move this out of the way, and I'll be right back, everybody. Alright, let me update the queue. Number five. Done. Cool. Alright, everybody, I am back. We're going to get into this 2020 Rittenhouse Star Trek, the original series, archives, and inscriptions for Christina S. I have not opened this product before. I have seen what some of the autos look like. I know you can get on card Leonard Nimoy autos, so that'd be super cool. I know there's also beautiful sketch cards in this product. The sticker here does say this is box 1280 out of 7500, so I guess they only made 7500 of these boxes total. But I'm excited to get on into it. It's been a long time since I've opened any, any Rittenhouse product. So let's quickly, yep, I changed it to five. Let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started. Yeah, Bounty Hunter says over on Twitch, break five after two and a half hours. Look, break number two was pretty long, and I've been chatting with you guys a lot. But here, let's get into it. Cut that seal. And let's see, for Christina S, what we can get. 24 packs, one inscription autograph card inside, two autos per box. Ooh. It'd be nice to see a sketch card. But I'm excited to see what we get in here. So here are the base cards. Okay, so it looks like the numbered quotes, and then the numbers are on the back. All right. Okay, at first I was confused, because this one said 21 of 26, and then this was like 20, 19 out of 24. Is this the product that Kevin Graham did sketches for? He did some amazing sketches of the product. Yep, there are Kevin Graham sketches in here. I think there's some Carlos Caballero sketches as well. Any relics? I don't think so, Andrew. But yeah, there's sketches in here as well. It can be. I'm sure they're probably super rare, though. So the part of the base cards look pretty cool. Uh, 
Mad Max is be gentle, Ali, especially if it's got a Nimoy. I'm always, I'm always pretty careful with Mad Max. I'm always trying to be careful as possible. Yeah, I think I saw Carlos on the checklist. Like I said, I briefly looked at the checklist for this product when I was listing it because I wanted to see. I always check cardboard connection, so that way I can put the correct. Um, because I put what the amount of hits you get per box on the listing on the website. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Like if you guys actually have clicked to read that part. But, you know, I always check to see how many hits are per box. So I was scrolling through real quick. Yeah, and we only got three boxes in. Well, it looks like we might have a hit here because I see a different back. Let's see what it is. Oh, looks like it's just an insert. All right, the city on the edge of forever. Cool picture with Spock there. Whatever this is, it is number 21. Always careful except that time you threw one of my packs. Sometimes the packs fly away, but I'm saying when I open it, I'm careful of the card corners. Todd says, not for me, but nice looking cards. Yeah, non-sport product are not for everybody. But yeah, definitely looks, definitely is looking cool. Oh, no, I think there is an, there is an auto there because of the written house printing on the background. All right, let's see what do we got here. It looks like this is our inscription here. It is uh, Finnegan on card auto. Bruce Mars is Finnegan, and Shore Leave is our first autograph of the box. I'm not familiar with this character, but it's a nice inscription. Boss says, I think we're at 26. Uh, we're at 24, unless someone ordered something since the last time I checked. But Finnegan auto here. Get this top loaded. Bounty Hunter says Finnegan goes crazy. That is our first auto here of the box. I wonder if you can make a full base set off of one box. I think at five cards per pack is 24 packs per box. You'd be able to get there. But it depends on the collation. We have another insert here. We have Reina Capek Heroes. Number 118 here. MX on Twitch says, I still want Worf to explain what happened to the Klingons. He never did that in that Deep, Deep Space Nine episode. Ooh, we got something red here. Ooh, we have villains. Maya 3. That is card number 106. Villains insert. Bounty Hunter says, maybe you can pull a triple relic. Uh, I don't know if they have relics. I don't. I didn't think they had relics, but maybe they do. Can you get a William Shatner or Patrick Stewart autograph? I wouldn't think you could get a Patrick Stewart in this one because it's original series, but most likely you could probably get a William Shatner auto. Like I said, I know there's Leonard Nimoy autos in this product. Um, I would double check on cardboard connection for the auto checklist though. Joey says, anyone else feel like they put no effort in this product? I mean, I think it looks cool, but I don't know. We have another insert here, City on the Edge of Forever with Spock once again. We have card number 36.
It's a bit low-key, almost 70s-ish. Yeah, I feel like it's very retro, which I think kind of matches the, um, the theme here. The big white text box is killing me. I mean, it, some of the quotes are bigger than others. Like, this one kind of doesn't fill the space well, but this one looks not bad. Looks like the old Donruss baseball set, says Sonic Pebble 24. We're getting close to the end of the box here. Just two packs left. Still waiting on one more autograph. Looks like the auto is not in this pack. All right, and last pack here for Christina. Oh, we got something here. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's see who our auto is. Here's the Gorn. We have Enterprise Nurse on card autograph. Judy Shervin as Enterprise Nurse and Wolf in the Fold. So that is our second auto here in the last pack. Wicked asks, who makes these? These are made by Rittenhouse. They're the company that made the Game of Thrones sets. Um, they also made the Twin Peaks. They make more of like pop culture sets. So that's our second auto here, both on card as guaranteed. And that'll do it for this box here for Christina. So let me finish up these base cards, and then we'll do a quick recap. Rick and Morty is Cryptozoic, Bounty Hunter. So these cards need more pixels. Uh, fuzzy. Yeah, I mean, they gotta work with their source material, I guess. Especially if they're getting a background character. Everything's fine, nothing happened. But let's take a recap here. Our two autos. An inscription of Bruce Mars as Finnegan. And... Judy Shervin as Enterprise Nurse. And we did get one Villains insert here, Maya 3. Heroes insert of Reina Kapek. And then the two City on the Edge of Forevers. Little spot cards there. And then our big stack of base. So that'll do it for Christina's break here. So it was a pretty quick one. So next we're going off to break number six, back to baseball, series two, 2020, with Chris C's hobby box. Let me just check. Hey, Ali, I've got a question. Just being curious. Do you use dating apps? If yes, do you have any advice for someone using it? I'm not trying to hit on you. Just curious. No, I've never used it before. Um, it's not really my thing. But, um, yeah, so I have no advice to offer you, unfortunately. But uh, I was really thinking this was inflections. Me too. I thought that we had inflections on order, but this is what came in. And it still looks pretty cool. I still, I did enjoy it. I think the autos, we didn't hit too well on the autos for Christina, but definitely some really pretty looking cards in my opinion. I know some of you are disagreeing with me, but that's fine. But hopefully Christina enjoys it. That's the main thing here. But again, thank you, Christina, for letting me open this one up for you. Next up, let me unstep myself. Next up, we do have opening number six for Chris, Series 2 Baseball. So when I move this out of the way, I will be back with some baseball. So let me move this out of the way, and I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Pat's Rad Cards says, Classic Saturday, Alley in the background while I sketch Batman after Batman. What's up, chat? Any big hits yet? Hey, Pat, that's cool. Welcome. Always nice to see new breaks and not the same stuff all the time. Says, Lawborn98 over on Twitch. But, um, 
Yeah, I was wondering, guys, are you, do you mind if I take a quick snack break before we get into break number six? I'm just a little bit hungry. I know I said when I come back we'll be getting in break number six for Chris, but let me know if uh, y'all don't mind if I take a quick break. While I grab this box for the queue and double check, see if there's any new orders. We have Siren again. Oh, we got two new orders. So we are now actually up to 26. Looks like we have a box of Star Trek for Andrew. I'm guessing by the price. And Scott L, I'm guessing a pre release kit. Let me make sure they are live breaks before I write them down. Yep, we have break number 25 for Andrew. Get more Star Trek. Alright, I have updated the queue. Next time I get up, I will grab those two boxes. Alright, I was saying go for it, take your time, go eat. Alright, alright. Alright, so I'm just, um... Alright, I don't I, I'm, I don't have any weird noises, so I'm not going to mute the microphone. But uh, Andrew says for the giggles, just really want to spike Carlos. That would be super cool. But yeah, let me actually make sure our inventory adjusted after that. Because we do have, when we have up for live and recorded, gotta make sure to take them off as they sell so that way we don't oversell on accident. We just have, alright, they're off for online anyways, cool. Alright, cool. Can we eat? Alright, so let me take my quick snack break from my protein pack. Mm -hmm. So what is everyone else snacking on tonight? Figured while I'm taking a break, also mention it. If you're enjoying the stream so far and you have not yet already, I would appreciate it if you all would hit that like button. Sykes over on Twitch says he's got some pistachios. Corwin has a six ounce sirloin from Applebee's. Secret Alliance snacking on some soda, Todd on some cliff bars. Anthony ordered some pizzas, Pat has a chicken burrito, Aaron has some super pretzels with jalapeno cheese dips, Chris has an apple and dry life cereal, Lawborn98 over on Twitch has a half-eaten apple he stole from a raccoon. That sounds like an interesting story. <laughs> Hummus and olive oil says Merfolk Bear, Tostitos Scoops, ooh I love scoops, Monocle's Pizza, Beef Jerky, what's your favorite cookie? Um, I mean chocolate chip's always a good go-to. Oh yeah, Kevin's still on his juice cleanse. He can't eat. Sorry, Kevin. Look away. Look away. Noogie's having some Culver's. I have never had Culver's. One actually opened like a block of down or so from the shop. And uh, first like first week it opened, Boss Man was super hyped to go get some. So he sent me to go get some for him. And then he got food poisoning. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not eating there either. So I've never had it. Even though some of their milkshakes look really cool. Cremant on Twitch says, I'm eating a Costco-sized bag of regret of popcorn. Ooh. That sounds good, too, though. Tim 
Todd says peanut butter is the cookie. Peanut butter cookies are good too. I'm also one of those weird people that likes the oatmeal raisin cookies. Well, actually, I love just plain oatmeal, but oatmeal raisin is good too. Crispy Bacon says eating tacos at the moment. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> I just triggered Boss Man. Sorry. Noogie says get some chicken. Chicken nuggets sound good too. After the stream, though, I'll probably just have my customary morning McDonald's, though. Chicken tenders from Hardee's. I've never actually had Hardee's either. I dropped my toothpick. Here it is. It landed in the chair. Allie's trying to kill Boss Man to inherit the store to be the boss. I am the captain now. Wicked says Popeye's chicken sandwich are amazing. Still haven't had one of those yet either. Oh, Merfolk Bear says oatmeal raisin is second best cookie after chocolate chip. Mad Max has never been to a Popeyes. Me neither. Not only have I never had the sandwich, I've never actually been to one either. Anthony asks, so do you guys know if you'll be getting the 2020 Yu-Gi-Oh tins? Uh, we're trying to get the Mega tins in. We're trying. It depends if Southern will let us or not. But um, as of right now, we don't have any on order, but we're trying to get. So we'll see. Allie, favorite candy bar? Um, that's a hard question. I like Kit Kats. Noogie says, I see you got a deal. Yes, I, there's a deal on the shelf now. It just keeps growing. Ziggy on Twitch says, I'm partial to sugar and shortbread cookies, personally. Oh, those are good, too. I like the little crappy holiday ones you can make. Like the ones I make for Easter, the little, um... What's the dude? The Pillsbury Doughboy ones? With the little, like, the bunnies and the eggs on them for Easter and for Christmas. They have the Christmas tree ones. I like those, too. Like, they're not very good, good, like, good. But, like, I just, I don't know. They have a certain taste that I enjoy. Reese's Cups are good, too. When I was younger, I wasn't crazy about them. But as I get older, I do like them more. Eric says you can store your cookies in the tin once you open your packs. I mean, I'm pretty sure you probably want to wash it first, but I mean, you could, I guess. Out of the three main card games, why is Magic the only one that doesn't make tins? It's like Pokemon has tins, Yu-Gi-Oh has tins. Why doesn't Magic have tins? I've never thought about it before. Manugi says, that's it. I'm sending you some cookies. Aw, thanks, Noogie. I don't know if you're being serious or not, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> My drink here was finished. I don't know why I didn't bring a new one. But um, let me go grab another drink. Todd says, I'd eat Chick-fil-A every day if I wouldn't gain 40 pounds. Yeah, I, well, actually, the nuggets, the nuggets are like 270 calories for eight nuggets. So you could technically... Like, if you had, like, enough vitamins, and you can inject, like, your, your vegetables into, like, directly into your body, you can probably live off of Chick-fil-A. Allie, what's your favorite place to get chicken nuggets? It depends. It's, like, sometimes in the mood, typically Chick-fil-A, because it's, like, lower calorie and I can eat a lot and not feel bad. But sometimes you just want some McDonald's, or sometimes you just want some steak and shake. 
I used to like the Burger King ones when they were the crown shape, but then they changed them and they made the fake McDonald's nuggets and those were bad. Then they tried to go back to their original recipe and they don't taste good anymore. Uh, Checkers is not bad as well. Mega Branch says, hey, Allie, just pass the shop, watching while driving, Army Dave. Hey, Army Dave, take care, be safe. <laughs> That's true, they make Series 1 and Series 2 tins. I hadn't seen them until this year, but I've seen, I saw Series 1 tins. Crispy Bacon says, the world may never know. Fat Packs, I guess. That's true. The Fat Packs are kind of, like, tin. Well... I mean, Pokemon is the Elite Trainer Boxes, which is basically a fat pack. Magic does have tins, says Tapo. When, when has Magic made tins, Tapo? I know a former college student, you lived off there at the Chick-fil-A Student Center. I lived off, actually, Starbucks. I turned into one of those girls when I grew up. Wendy's Spicy Nuggets. I'm not a spicy person, but Wendy's Nuggets are good, too. Dean says Raisin Cane's is good for chicken fingers. Yeah, I don't know what that is, Dean. But I'm assuming there aren't any over here. But let me go get my drink, and then we'll get into Chris's box, because I'm sure Chris is uh, excited. Vince asks, what breaks up next? Uh, up next is going to be break number six, a Series 2 baseball hobby box for Chris C. So I'm just going to go grab another tiny tin of a uh, tiny tin can of Diet Dr. Pepper, and when I come back, we'll get into this box right here. Got an old tournament tin. Huh. I've never seen that before, Tapu. But anyways, let me go with my drink, and I'll be right back for Chris. find it. Just Tapa. We'll try and find it. Appreciate that, Tapa. I'd like to see that. That's cool. Alright, let me crack this one on open. Alright, so let me update this queue. We're now on break number six. Alright, so Chris, are you ready? Chris, I hope you're still with us. I know you were floating around earlier. Chris, leave comments. I'm pretty sure Chris told us what he was snacking on, so he better still be here. But anyways, I'm going to get to this box of Series 2 by quickly snapping ourselves into the corner grabbing my tiny knife and just going for it. So let's see what we can get here. We've seen a lot of cool cards out of Series 2. We've seen an SSSSP, we've seen an Acetate Rookie, we've seen some low-numbered medallions and medallion autos. So I wonder what we will get tonight out of Hobby Boxes. Starting off with our one silver pack here. Chris is looking for a Robert Gold Foil. That would be nice. Here we go. Let's take a look at the silver pack cards. Can we get color or an auto? No color, no auto. Wah, wah, wah. J-Man asks if I got any tattoos. No, but I've thought about maybe getting like a little tiny whooper, like right here. I don't I like, because I, I admire tattoos. I think they look cool, but I'm worried about like as I age. Well, I'm worried about like I would want it to be amazing. So then I know it would be super expensive. But you know what I could also spend a lot of money on? Star Wars sketch cards. And then I don't have to worry about me get like, if I get fat and it stretches out, or if, like, I end up losing more weight and it shrinks, like, <laughs> like the hamburger. No. Um, I'm about to educate you on Wooper Lawborn. The yeah, Wooper is the best, best Pokemon. Amy also asked, what's my Twitch ID? So I'm going to just put it all together. But this is the Wooper. 
It is a Gen 2 Pokemon. It doesn't have arms. And then... And then the Twitch is just the same as my Instagram, Allie from Titan. But this is best Pokemon Whooper. It evolves into Quagsire, and we don't talk about Quagsire. Quagsire is... I give my Whoopers ever stones, and I don't let them evolve. But that is that is it. Here, you know what, Chris? You got a bonus hit. Here, I'll throw it in with your package, unless you don't want it. But yeah, quick action sketch card. The Whoopers are the greatest Pokemon ever. I won't take I won't take no for an answer. There we go. Fact number one for Chris. We have a gold Edwin Rios. Wrong rookie. <laughs> it's not the rookie Chris is searching for. The silver pack autographs are apparently very hard to get. It seems like we've been um not doing on the uh, not doing well on getting color out of the silver packs as well. Ali, uh, the info has been updated yet, right? Uh, Dan, are you talking about the description? Because I don't like I don't want to mess with the description while we're live and then it ruins something. Anthony says actually Gengar is the best Pokemon. Sorry, Anthony, you're no longer welcome here. <laughs> I found it. it's called Deckmaster's Garfield versus Finkel. That is an interesting tap. I've never seen a tin. I've never seen a tin uh, before. Kevin says Haunter is the best Pokemon. Uh oh, Noogie's getting storms. Oh, we're getting some emojis over on Twitch. Oh, we have a blue parallel. Decade's best Dodgers. Allie putting out one on ones on those filler cards. I do, I keep, I like the skinny. I like the skinny ones. I like these for actual, like, storage. And then I like these for writing notes or whatever. Allie, I'm with you. That's why I never got any. I'm older than you, but my thoughts were, what are the tattoos going to look like when I'm 50? Yeah, I mean, I figured if it's something small enough, it'll probably be fine. Or you can always cover it up like a bracelet or something. But, you know, I don't know. Charmander, best. Fight me if you dare. Haunter is not the best Pokemon, says Corwin on Twitch. Tappa says the tin was made in 2001. So I wonder, I guess Magic did used to make tins back in the day. But it's weird that they don't make now. A home Run Challenge Yordan. And a Kevin Kiermaier Silver Foil. Charmander switched the uh, Mad Max switched over to Twitch to also say Charmander is the best over there. Like Mad Max, you have the same name. I know it's both you. You're not gonna skew the Charmander vote. I'm smarter than that. Aaron Judge, 35th anniversary. Kevin asks if I have Pokemon Go on my new phone. I don't, but that is a good point. I should get Pokemon Go because you can get Whoopers. So I, I need. I should probably download Pokemon Go. Mappa says it has 12 pre-made decks in it. Huh. Ziggy says Golem. You gotta vote for Golem. We have a Robert base card here. You got one, Chris. You got it. We have an Independence Day, AJ Pollock. He's numbered out of 76. Mad Max just wants his senpai to notice him. Todd says my favorite tattoos are the ones on the neck. I mean, people can get tattoos and they look really cool. I'm just... I don't know. Agumon was the best Pokemon. Is that a, is that a Digimon? Or is that just a, a new Pokemon that I don't know what that is? Cremate. I don't know if you're memeing on me. But, um, I know not. I haven't played Sword and Shield. Pokemon Snap is coming for the Switch. I heard about that. I feel bad you need to open tops, says Dario. We are opening tops. Or do you mean you feel bad that people are having me open tops? We have Carlos Santana, 35th anniversary. I must admit, I don't like opening jumbos. It is a Digimon. Ah! Alright, I thought it was... I was like, I've, I feel like I've heard Agumon as best Pokemon before. So I was like, I think this might be a meme. Alright, I'm good. I'm still I'm still up enough on my pop culture. But, um... Just because they take forever, I'm not into opening jumbos. But I don't mind opening up hobby boxes. Secret Alliance votes for Pikachu. 
Will the new snap work on the Switch Lite? Did you get any of the Project 2020 art cards as DubM81 on Twitch? I didn't personally. I remember I had thought about it. I saw like an Ichiro I thought was cute, which apparently I should have bought because now it's expensive or it was expensive. I don't know. But I never ordered it because I'm not a super baseball person. So I saw it and I thought the art was cool and I'm like, I don't need it. But my boss did get a couple of them. Oh, Dean, you did comment about the Marvel Champions earlier and I saw it and then I didn't get to read it. But Dean commented again, Champions game is a game of five heroes and three villains, but you can buy other heroes as decks, one to four player game. That sounds pretty cool. One of my friends is like super into an older Naruto deck builder game. But I don't know how that plays, but that might be something kind of similar. We have a 2030 Alex Bregman. Ichiro's number one in the set. Yeah, it was some kind of like fancy looking Ichiro. With like hollow, like different like hollow foil things over it. And I was like, that looks cool. But um, I was like, I don't collect baseball. Why am I, why would I buy this? So I didn't buy it. 35th anniversary Javier Baez. Sonic Pebble 24 says I've ordered over 40 Project 2020 cards. I love it. Like I know when it first came out, people were like, the art's bad. But, um, I don't know. I thought some of them looked pretty cool. Oh, Naruto TCG was so good. A lot of good artists working on it for the 2020. Yeah, the 2020 is an interesting idea. I have one through 20 and a couple others I like. That sounds like big money there. Wicked. We have a player of the decade, Mike Trout. You have to like one of the artists to like it. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Mandate back. Yeah, huge margin offer. Um, I felt bad that, I mean, it's not bleeding or anything, but I just felt bad that you guys had to look at it, so I went and I put a band-aid on it earlier. My, my fingers were free during the first two breaks of the night. Or first two boxes. I switched over to a band-aid in the middle of break number two. But we have a hit of the box here. We have a Reese Hoskins Major League Material Relic from the Phillies. I have Pokemon Sword for Switch. Is Ali's Pokemon in this game? Uh, I'm not sure if Wooper is in Sword and Shield. Alta C asks, is that game worn? Um, the memory really contained on this card is not from any specific game event or season. So it says game used memorabilia. So it was used during a game, but it doesn't say exactly what it's from. So I'm not sure if it they wore it or like I don't know game used what it would be weird I don't know what the difference would be yeah I didn't even notice as a huge margin offer yeah I just I put it on it was just I had a little I had an incident opening up a pack of new top loaders yesterday and I somehow took a chunk off my finger dub m81 asks what do you PC I PC Star Wars mainly prequel stuff like uh, Padme Anakin and battle droids also agent Callus from Star Wars Rebels but um I also PC the Tampa Bay Lightning for hockey and Ben Bishop. Besides the Robert, this box isn't that good, says Noogie. Hey, Noogie, we still got like half a box left. Pretty sure Wooper is. I don't know what's in the new new series. We have a gold, TJ, TJ Zooch. So two gold rookies, neither of them are Roberts. I love them when people call them Rice Hoskins. I mean, that would be a weird name to name your kid. Like, Reese is kind of weird. But like rice, like you're not gonna name your your kid rice. <laughs> Hope they come out with that game used jockstrap relic. I mean, they've done game like um, WWE relics. I like the the shorts. <laughs> I'm the worst. I know absolutely nothing about Star Wars. Never seen any. And I mean, that's fine. Star Wars isn't for everybody, but I do recommend it. Andrew says, "Do you see the uh, Padme I posted from High Tech?" Um, I don't look at Facebook that much anymore since I have the app. It just I don't know. It's, I feel like it's hard to look at. So I haven't looked. Unless people... I, I don't look that much unless people tag me in something. But I'll go look for it, Andrew, later after the stream. We have Joey Gallo. Significant stats insert. Goku named his kid Rice. Yeah, but that's anime, though. Like, anime, anime names are not gonna... gonna make sense sometimes. <laughs> No, someone's n whose name was Moonbeam. Parents did that to him. Ugh. Um, my mom has a story from when she was younger. The, all right, not in advanced stats or anything. No, okay. The uh, in Canada, I guess you have to get your names approved. 
by like the in Quebec at least or something. I don't know, but um, the neighbor when she was younger tried to name their kid Spatool, and the government said no, you can't name your kid Spatula. What's wrong with you? They literally tried to name their kid Spatool. Oh, for all of people from Quebec out here watching, like how dumb is that that someone would try to name their kid Spatula? But um, yeah, so there's crazy name stories. So thankfully, the Quebec government said no, you can't do that. But uh, Hunter14 says, have you done Chronicles yet? We did one box of Chronicles. There's another one coming up later. Or there might be two coming up later. Yep, there's two more Chronicles box coming up later tonight. So, missed the first one, but there is a couple more coming up. DubM81 says, Undisputed Wrestling is a good product. Ali, people say his name wrong and pronounce it Rice. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but like, why would they think his name is Rice? Siren time. We have a short print here of Daryl Strawberry. Right, regular short print ends in 15. Dub M81 says, that's amazing. I want to be named Spatula. <laughs> Lorenzo Kane, Silver Foil. Donald says, did my comment go through? I see uh, that comment, Donald. I might have missed your other one. Sometimes just keep posting comments till I see it. Uh, it's I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but since it's moving a bit faster because there's more people in here, I do miss stuff. Alta C is suggesting you change your name, Dub. <laughs> we have a Giolito All-Star 35th Anniversary insert here. Uzumaki, that is one of my friend's kid's name. Ah, oh, man. Do you, do you, Noogie, every time you see that friend, do you call them a weeb? I mean, I'm sure they already know. They named their kid Uzumaki. But uh, here we go. 2030 insert Francisco Lindor. Patrick says, do a great job multitasking. Thanks, Patrick. I know. I feel bad. I, ha I don't know if that's just the back of an insert or like that's something else. Maybe it's a War of the Diamond insert. Oh, look. There's a little, little ding card there. Hopefully it's not a Robert. But, um... I try, to best to, I try my best to respond to chat and things like that. I've been having a hard time about responding to comments. Oh, it's probably the back of the... It's probably the back of... Yeah. It's been harder to respond to comments. I've gotten behind very much so on responding to comments. There's just so many now. Where is the Diamond Lou Gehrig? But, um... Yeah, I should name my firstborn Otaku. No, someone who named their newborn Nani. Dreaming you could achieve. I dream spatula. <laughs> Saw someone who named their kid's middle name Danger. Interesting. Oh, we have 132 likes on YouTube. That's cool. 178 watching. On Twitch, um, let me switch over and see. On Twitch, it says 41. Twitch is a bit lower tonight because we have YouTube up and running. So that's to be expected. But I uh, just wanted to say hi to you and everyone. I'm from Staples, Minnesota. This is Donald. Hey, Donald. Welcome. B. Henderson's from Winnipeg. Love your breaks, Allie. Oh, thank you. Allie, do you think Bowman Sapphire will run out? We don't have any, so... If we, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty sold out. Prices are just going to keep going up, I think. Pete Alonzo, 2030 insert. Hunter says, is it weird that I don't watch anime? I mean, a lot of people do and a lot of people don't. But, um... It's never too late to start, Hunter. We have a Louis Robert rookie here, so Chris, now you have two. Decades best, Max Scherzer. Watch Food Wars, says Mad Max. Mad Max, I gotta finish JoJo first. Oh wait, we're supposed to be sleeving the Roberts. Oops. Kevin's still watching. Hey, Kevin's still here. Woo. Usain Bolt named his daughter Olympia Lightning Bolt. I saw that and I didn't actually hate it. Like, I think it sounds nice. Like, at least Lightning is her middle name. But I like Olympia. Olympia Bolt sounds cool. It does sound like a superhero. I agree with all to see there. Like, I don't mind that name. You'll never finish JoJo, though. It will never end. I mean, if they never animate the rest of JoJo, it will end at some point. Anime, what is it? Uh, it's Japanese animation. It's what anime is. Um, so it's like, and a lot of people consider it cartoons, but really, you can have anime for kind of any target audience from like young kids to like adults, like adult content. So to say cartoon is kind of, you know, hard to, uh, 
lump it in there. But, you know, there's a lot of different categories. Just like regular TV, but just animated. There's lots of different things that you can find that, um, you know, that, like, might appeal to you. Uh, there's a lot of variety out there. Bounty Hunter says, should have been Olympus Lightning Bolt. Yeah, but it was a girl, though. I feel like if you name a girl Olympus, it would sound kind of weird. If it was a dude, Olympus would be cool. But, um, yeah. Yeah, distributors were trying to get us to buy Sapphire for three eighty five, and then it sold out. You yeah. know, have you made a stream official crack in a cold diet, Dr Pepper? I've actually done it twice, Kevin. Remember, species at a premium in Japan, so it's cheaper to have an anime studio than a film studio. You know, I never thought about it, Mad Max, but that actually probably probably might have to do with it. Speaking of um. Uh, anime studios. I actually have ordered. I have. I ordered some film cells. I found on eBay. So when those come in, hopefully Boss Man doesn't open the package on accident because it's going to the PO box. Uh, I'll try and do an opening video of that product. So. So that'd be cool. Well, not product, but that stuff for me. I should have two opening. A uh, three. I should have three openings. Um, one that no one really would care for, but I make them anyways. Some of my K-pop albums are finally coming in, so I'll open those up. No one will watch it, but that's fine. And then I'll have my my film set, my anime cells, and then I also have a, a a nice big sketch card coming in. Yeah, I pulled the trigger on a sketch card uh, yesterday. So uh, try watching Cowboy Bebop. It's a classic. I've gotten a lot of people recommend to me to watch Cowboy Bebop. It's just I have I have very little free time, and um, you know. It, it, uh, yeah, I've been working like 53 hours a week now for the past, what, four weeks? So I have very, very little free time. Have you guys ever pulled a good Zion? Uh, actually, we pulled it and it actually just sold actually yesterday. We had the contenders, the original paper contenders. We had the variation auto. We sold that yesterday. I watched it just to support you, Ali, even though Eric made me hate, hate K-pop. Well, Mad Max, I'm going to change you back to liking K-pop. Watch that K-pop get 50k views. It's just an album unboxing. Sometimes I'll get like I get super happy when I get comments on like my some of my old K-pop. Oh, actually, this should be four. I have a signed album coming in too. So weird, weird videos coming up. But um, yeah. Sorry, Chris. I, you're probably waiting for your recap here, and uh, you know, I've been talking the whole time. But let's do a quick recap of what we got here. Um, Chris got this bonus sketch that he didn't ask for and probably doesn't even want. But hey, it's your token of Titan. If this channel ever gets to like big big status, then um maybe it'll be worth something. I don't know. But we have this this whooper here. Woo. <laughs> then we also have this Reese Hoskins is our material relic hit of the box. And then we have two Robert Base cards. And for our other assorted foils, insert parallels and whatnot, we have Daryl Strawberry short print, foil, gold. Independence Day, foil, blue parallel, and another gold here. So that is it for uh, Chris's box here. Michael Doss, did you sell the Herbert 101 yet? Uh, I have not listed it um, yet. I was super busy yesterday, especially setting up the new computer. I had to come in, I had to do something, and I had to come back. So I was here from 11 to 7.30, and then I had to leave, and then I came back at 10.30, and I was here till 12.30 last night working on setting up the new computer. But I haven't, I haven't been able to list it. Erica says Vix is one of my favorite. Erica, I have a signed Ken album coming in. I've opened the signed um, Hyuk album on the channel. My signed Ken album's coming in. I also have a signed Ravi album. I went to a Ravi concert in Atlanta last year. It was lit. I have fan cams. They're included in that video of the uh, the Hyuk album. It's great. Stan Vix. Okay, anyways. All right, Daryl Strawberry was insanely good. Used to get some Marvel in the shop. We do get Marvel sets when we come out. Next, the one that we have on order, I think, is the Marvel anime set. Should be cool. Pick and May switch to tw stick to Twitch instead of YouTube for these streams. The interface is really nice. I thought it was nice last time when I was there, Alta C. So I'm glad people are enjoying it as well. But uh, Pete Pete says, just want to say, Ali, you're the best. Aaron O says, K-pop is no bueno. Aaron is no bueno. How about that? Got him. <laughs> uh, Carl says, hi from Toronto. But anyways, let me get this cleaned up here. But thanks, Chris, for let me open up this box for you. We got another one for you coming up later, Chris. So hopefully we get some more Roberts and maybe an even a Robert SSP for the, from YouTube for you. Or from that opening for you, maybe even, maybe we can get you even a foil 
Robert or a gold Robert. That'd be cool. But anyways, next up we do have another Series 2 box. This one will be for William H. So let me unsnap myself. That didn't work. Let me unsnap myself. And when I come back, we will get into that box for William. So let me clean this up. Aaron feels scandalized right now. <laughs> Brent's card breaks. Says, hi, great channel, Ellie. Thanks, Brent. But I'll be right back with that box for William. While I was gone, I missed a super chat from Daniel. Thank you so much, Daniel, for that $1 super chat. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Aaron says, I need to go buy some aloe because you legit burned me. <laughs> but, um... Looks like the chair would hurt my butt after 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, I'm just, I guess I'm just used to this, sitting in these chairs for so long. People are always like, get out of your new chair. And I'm like, it's fine. But, um, Crispy Bacon says, don't unsnap. You might get banned from YouTube. <laughs> That's an adorable little zombie. Yeah, it's the default emote. They're super small, so I keep missing them. But, um, but uh, yeah, it is cute. I left it. I had the opportunity to, to change it, but, um, but I left it. I might try and figure out how to do a, a whooper in there. Bounty Hunter says, is that a new sub or a Twitch tip? Uh, I know that uh, Daniel gave me a $1 super chat. It might have been for that. Um, there are some... Says Shannon Hoon 74 has followed three minutes ago. I guess I missed that one. It could have been that one. I don't know. All right, all right. Guys, quit arguing. But anyways, let's get into this box here for William. First, I have to change the Q number. And this corresponds to the link or, or the list in the YouTube description. The YouTube description is good through number 18. We are up to, well, let me actually double check, see if we've had any more orders. We're up to, as of last updated, it was up to 26. Check orders. Anything new? You got anything new? All right, nothing else new right now. So we're still at 26. So if anyone's feeling feeling like having some more stuff, then uh, you can add it for tonight. But, uh, do, do, do. Mark Adams says, am I a bad Korean for not liking K-pop? No, I wouldn't say that, Mark. I mean, just like, it's not like I'm a bad American if I don't like American pop music. It's just pop music's not for everybody. Is Boss a store owner? Yep, Nashville director. Boss is the owner, and he's my boss. I mean, there's just two of us. So, Superfly RV guy says, Hey, Allie. Hey, Superfly RV guy. How you doing? Oh, we're guessing Noogie's age now. Um, Aaron says 23. Um, maybe 26. I only say that because of the second half of your username, and I know someone who's in that age range that's like super into it. So like, I don't know. That's my guess. I would say guess for Noogie might be 26. Kappa says crack the whip. Don't crack the whip on me though. Oh, you're not using Hawaiian Cozy. My Hawaiian Cozy is on my old can of Dr. Pepper. But um, anyways, anyways. Boss says, is it fun to work at a card shop? Um, well, you know, haha, <laughs> boss would work, haha, <laughs> got you. No, but it, it, it's tiring, but it is enjoyable. Anyways, here we go. Break number seven for William H. Let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it. Superfly RV guy. Uh, what did you get, Superfly RV guy? What was your break? Or if you want to say your name in the last initial, first name, last initial, I can tell you when it's coming up. The uh, YouTube description does have a list up to break number 18 in order, so perhaps that would help you faster than I would get to tell you, but if you let me know either what you ordered or first name, last initial, I can tell you. 
Maybe if Florida's ever a thing again, I'll check out your store. Hey, Nate, we appreciate it. That'd be cool. Alrighty. And let's check out the silver pack here from William. Wish there was a way to merge both chats and bouncing between the two of them to read comments. See, Eric, I have a thing that lets me see both chats. I don't know if it's possible for you guys to see both chats, but I, I, I get to cheat and see both chats. Mike F. No, Mike, yours is actually coming up uh, break number 11, so not too far away from now. But yeah, if you look down in the description on YouTube, I do have the list up through the most uh, current for like up to like right before I started the stream. The stuff that have been ordered through the stream throughout the stream is not there, but the stuff that was ordered before the stream is there. But um, here, let's check out the silver pack. Alright, nothing crazy in the silver pack. But here we go. Let me grab pack number one here for William and get started. Hunter says, I like your Pokemon bandage. Hey, Hunter. Yeah, I have, I'm that person that always has the cool bandage. We have a silver Emmanuel Clace and a Dom Nunez gold rookie. Sitting on 20 Bowman Mega Boxes trying to make as long make them last as long as possible, so opening one a week. That sounds pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I make boss deal with like the phone and stuff like that. Yeah, boss man is the phone man and like sports customers. We have a gold Louis Urius here. Oh, and we have another auto here, Matt Beatty, 35th anniversary on card autograph. That's cool. So our one hit for the box is an auto. This is the third auto we've seen out of a hobby box tonight. Matt Beatty for the Dodgers. Not really feeling the series too. How about you, Allie? Um, it's weird because right now the only chase really out of this product is uh, Robert. But, I mean, obviously any of these rookies could just come up out of nowhere. With the season starting soon, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of these people haven't had really a chance to start uh, a chance to shine yet. So, um, so I don't know. I feel like for the future it has good potential, but right now what you're really just looking with looking for is the uh, Robert, which is weird that you're like only looking for one card out of this product. Have you been to any sporting events? Uh, I have been to, hey, we have another Robert base card here. First one of this box. I've been to a couple hockey games before, but otherwise I'm not a big sporting person. Like for events. Like I, I just don't like being in crowds, really. Brent's card break says, nice auto Dodgers fan here. It's, it is pretty cool. It's cool to see all these autos out of series two boxes. Uh. How's it going tonight? Are you streaming on both platforms? Says Mr. Elo007. Yep, Mr. Elo, we got both Twitch and YouTube going, so you can pick which one you prefer. We checklist with the SBs are a nice chase. That is true, Mark. And with the, I mean, I'm also biased towards, positively, towards Series 2, because we did hit that triple SP with Robert and Jordan and Bobachette. So, you know, for us it's been good, but I'm sure for other people, probably tired of it. Donald says, gotta run. Have a great night, Allie, and everyone stay safe. Hey, Donald, thanks for hanging out with us. Take care. This is just a base sensor. What am I doing? Take care, and thank you for spending time with us. Hope to see you next week. Seems like most the autos are mostly duds, but I guess prospecting can be fun, too. That is, yeah, people like that as well. Hockey game is the only sport I haven't seen live, says Bounty Hunter. Well, you just gotta get that the Seattle Kraken going, and then you can take a road trip over there. 35th anniversary, Carl Yastrzemski. Allie, it's SSSP time, huh? Perhaps. You know you weren't a fan of my name on Twitch, so I came back here. Uh, Mr. Elo, if you're the person I think it was, I just didn't want to say it because I didn't want to, I didn't know if we'd get flagged or not for demonetization. So, 
But we have a gold of Brian O'Grady here out of 2020. Is last year's Roberts and Bowman his rookie? Uh, that is a good question. Boss man, we need your assistance. Well, Mark got it before Boss Man. So 2018 is Roberts first Bowman. All right, so he's got you. Billy. Oh, we have another Robert base card here. And a blue Cal Ripken Jr. No, sir, it's a prospect card. Mm. Yeah, that's what always weirds me out. Like, between, like, rookies and first Bowmans and prospect. Mr. I constantly get called by other streamers. I just wasn't sure, like, if YouTube would get mad, Mr. Elo. But I appreciate you coming back. Sorry for making you come back here. But, um, Hunter says, bye guys, good luck on the cards and have a good night. Hey, thanks Hunter for joining us. Appreciate you having us here. Missed that one, sorry. Ain't no problem, boss. I've seen the Red Sox, Celtics, Seahawks, Blazers, Sonics, Fire, Storm, and Shock live. Cal Ripken, what number? Uh, it's not numbered, but it is the, uh, All-Star 35th Anniversary Insert number four. The blue parallels aren't numbered. We have another siren in the background. Decades best, Corey Kluber. Fire and Storm were women's NBA. That's cool. And the shock was arena football. Thanks for explaining. I was going to ask, but I was like, I didn't want to sound dumb. But yeah, I was wondering what those teams were. We have a Tops Now, Garrett Cole. And that's cool. We have a 35th anniversary, Louis Robert. First Bowman was 2018 Bowman, same set as Otani's first card, too. We have a silver foil, Tyler Chatwood. Tools says I work for the LA Kings and Toronto Blue Jays in sales and tickets. That's cool. Saw the Storm win their first championship. Nice card. And that 35th anniversary insert, I'm assuming. And Bounty Hunter was a season ticket holder for the Shock. Roberto Alomar, 35th anniversary insert. Just got here, the outfit's messing with my eyes. Yeah, it is, and when it's small, when it's big, it looks fine. When it's small, it's kind of crazy. How many more boxes are there tonight? Asked Mozgov Goat. Um, this is break number seven, and we have 26 breaks scheduled so far. So I don't know exactly how many boxes off the top of my head, but 19 more breaks to go. We have a silver foil, Kyle Freeland. In a 2030 Fernando Tatis Jr. insert. Yep, we have just a regular SB here, a Bruce Dar Gratterall for the Dodgers rookie short print photo variation here. That's cool. Tampa used to have an arena football team. What was it? The Tampa Bay Storm or something like that? I don't know if that was the football. Hi, Allie. Just checked in. Hope to see some hits tonight. Hey, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Yeah, okay, cool. Tampa Bay Storm. Now they have like an XFL team, right? What's up with XFL? I've seen Gretzky with Oilers Live and Bootham lots. <laughs> What'd you do to get the Squirtle bandage? Uh, Mr. Elo, yesterday, in between the... This is a vintage stock here. I felt it. Cole Tucker, vintage stock. The Pirates, 2 of 99. XFL's dead again. Oh, rip. XFL. But, um, I was opening up a new pack of 55-point top loaders, and I guess one of them was kind of sharp. And the way when I took off the plastic, like, you know, just ripped it off, I somehow also ripped off a piece of, uh, my... my, um, my finger. So... We have Will Clark, 35th anniversary. So, like, it's not, like, anything bleeding, but it was it was still kind of red and not the best to look at. So I, I did uh, put a Band-Aid on it earlier. 
out. I prefer YouTube because I checked out Twitch last week. I saw a woman dressed inappropriate. I think they do it for views and money. YouTube for life. The Twitch does have, I feel like, a better streaming interface. And some people do dress more scandalous on Twitch, but I feel like they probably could find those on YouTube too. I mean, you can get a lot of money in donations on Twitch and whatnot, so I don't really blame them. Not my thing, but more power to them. Bo Bichette, 2030 insert. No more XFL. Oh man. It was like super hyped up like when it started too. They even make like top cards. You know, the top loaders fought back, and yeah, pretty much. Player of the decade, Mike Trout. You know, I noticed earlier when I saw one, but there's um text here, I guess, for the title of the card. Yeah, I never saw it. Um, but yeah, I guess those inserts those they have text on them. I mean, I knew all the different pictures of my trout on the front were different, but, um, you know, Mark says, flaunt it if you got it. I mean, I do try to dress nice, but not too, like, I don't know. I mean, this is just a style that I enjoy, personally. Sometimes I'll get comments that are like, you know, I dress too inappropriately on YouTube, which I'm like, they're like, you need to put those away. Get out of here with those. I'm like, bro, you'd know if they were out. Like, y'all would know. Like, I'm barely wearing a v-neck. Calm down. <laughs> Why am I sleeving up? I keep trying to sleeve inserts on accident. It's just because they're in the pile where I put down the, um, the inserts, or the parallels and the colored things that I sleeve up, so the inserts keep wanting to get sleeved. Doesn't feel like a legit stream without Allie ragging on Mike's Trout's haircut. Well, we need to open up a box of Big League for us to see it. But yeah, that, that picture, that one picture of Big League with Mike Trout with no helmet, like, oh man, dude. Mike Trout with no brim is not a good look. 35th anniversary Jack Flaherty insert. Went to Yankees spring training and met Jeter. Whoa, he was so tall. That's cool. Uh, we need John to sneak in and purchase the other box of NT. That would be cool. Retro fan says I'm shallow. That's the only reason I watch. Hey, retro fan, I'm still happy that you're here. As long as I'm entertaining, that's all that matters. And if whatever your reason for finding me entertaining, that's I appreciate it. I'm Ron Burgundy12 says new Mike Trout before you was Mike Trout. That's cool. If you have the knowledge and skills to be good at what you're doing, I don't really care what you wear. Thanks, Mr. Elo. Decades best, Orlando Cepeda. Or Cepeda. Excuse me. Hi, Ali. Just found your channel a couple weeks ago, and it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks a pack a day. Appreciate it. That always makes me happy when people say that they found the channel and they really like it so much. Data Ghost says, I hope you pull a hollow Charizard. Uh, I'm not sure that there's any Charizards in the box of Pokemon we have coming up. But hollow Charizards are always nice. <laughs> Bossman's jumped in on the anti Mike Trout haircut train, saying, multi million dollar man, five dollar haircut. <laughs> Dean says he went to a Yankees versus Angels game. That sounds cool. Last pack here for William. We have a 35th anniversary Francisco Lindor. And that'll do it here for this box. So let's take a quick look at what we got. Yeah, I know. It was probably not $5, but it just it looks like a $5 haircut. Like the picture, I, I don't know if you've seen it, Todd, the one that we're talking about in particular. But there's a big league card. Like, I don't know if it's like the award winners card for Mike Trout or whatever, but oof. Dude, I joke that that's why um, the stream got taken down last week for hate speech. <laughs> I don't know what it was flagged for. YouTube doesn't tell me. But um, main things out of the box here. We did get that Matt Beattie on-card autograph and two Robert base cards. Matt Beattie slid away, but that's why it's top-loaded. It was fine. I must say, it looks weird. It is, it is a really funky-looking haircut. Like, I understand why it's like that. It's so... <laughs> Sonic Bebel on Twitch just said it looks like a dead squirrel on top of his head. But um I understand why it's like it has that design to it because, you know, for the helmet. But um uh, I guess it just doesn't fit his head shape. Allie, I found the channel and really like it, even though you might know that already, says Dean. Aaron says it's a great channel, Allie. I'm to great uh, to be honest, I'm grateful to have found Titan Coins. Oh, you guys are so nice to me. I love live streams. The people in the live streams chat are always so nice. Todd says it has the card is rough for sure. <laughs> yeah. But um let's take a look at our other things we got out of this box. This was a vintage stock out of 99. 
This was our photo variation. Foil, foil, put the Robert in the sleeve, why not? Blue Ripken, gold, gold, foil, and gold. Now I'll do it for this box here for William. Next up, we do have a box of finest for Charlie H. Charlie, I'm not sure if you're still hanging around with us, but your box is up next. What card is she talking? Uh, the, the Mike Trout award winner's card from Big League. We, we try to be nice from time to time. Oh, sorry, from time to tome, says Mad Max. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this cleaned up. When I come back, we'll be getting in that box of Charlie H. So let me unsnap myself. Move this all out of the way. I'll take two trips, and we'll be into some finest. At least he wasn't wearing a Frozone costume. What a short print was that? Who who did that for a, an SP card? I remember seeing that. When you're as good as Trout is, you can have any haircut you want. That is true, Todd. Charlie with the $5 Super Chat says, I'm still here. Aw, thank you so much, Charlie. I really do appreciate that. I really... <laughs> don't pick on my spelling mistakes, Allie. I'm not picking on you, Mad Max. I'm just saying, earlier you said you had a hard time typing. I'm just, just letting everyone know you still are having a hard time typing. But hey, Charlie, thank you so much for that um, the super chat. Uh, Mr. Elo asks, which Korean group is it you like and you're trying to catch the concert for that one time? Oh, I haven't checked. It, it was taking forever for the replay to be up because they were editing like and then publishing it as like a viewable concert. So I haven't checked to see if it was up, but it is Super Junior, which I have also gotten boss to like Super Junior a lot. So there's the tiny, 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 tiny zombie. I need to make him bigger. That is definitely on my list to fix for next week. But yeah, a Super Junior concert. Hi, Ali. Great show. Hope your night is well. I wish you could still guys did still singles like some of the others. Can't afford a box. Yeah, we, eventually we'll try and we'll do like group breaks as long as it's a product where we can make sure everyone who gets in on the break can get something. So Cole Tucker had the costume. Thanks, Todd. Haircut he did himself. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get for Charlie. Charlie, you said you like that one zombie card on that one magic video, right? Baby Yoda has yeeted himself. Alright, baby, back up there. Yeah, I've converted Boss Man to K-pop as well. Baby Metal is legit and straight fire. I was never a big Baby Metal person, but I remember they were super popular, like, in the U.S. They even made, like, Funko Pops of Baby Metal. Really. But, um, let me change the Q number. Noogie says Rush, so I'm actually, I don't know if we figured out what Noogie's age was, but I'm wondering if he's actually closer to my dad's age, because my dad also really likes Rush. I don't know if we ever determined... Noogie's age or not. Mr. Yellow asked, where'd Carrie go? Did you guys sell it? No, I just wanted to put up this cool this cool poster. It's lenticular. So I just wanted to put that there. But um We just moved her out of the way. Because if I put her somewhere else, she couldn't see her, so I wanted to make sure she was in a spot that was still safe. And now watch Charlie pulls a super fractor. But um Yeah, Charlie, I think I, I remember you said you liked this uh, zombie card from one of the collector boosters, and I was like, let me go find one, so I found one for you. I found one for you. Yeah, yeah, I got the zombie card for you, Charlie. I swiped one. Not from anybody. I swiped it from Boss Man. Can I get a shout out from Baby Yoda Alley? Hi, Tappa! That is a very bad voice that I do. But, um... Oh, Charlie says he has a card for me! Ooh. Awesome. Anyways, next up we have break number eight for Charlie H. We have this box of finest. It's actually our last box in stock. We had someone actually come in, well not in, but you know, curbside, saying they had saw, seen the channel and saw me open up finest last week, and they had gotten, um, I think, three boxes. So this is our last one that we had. But um, 
Yeah, so this was our last box of finest, which is so cool. We have more and more people saying, hey, we saw you on the line. What do y'all got? And it's like, ooh, people are finding our shop. Because even though we've been here for five years, we still frequently have people come in saying, we have a super chat. I'll finish that thought in a second. We have a super chat from a pack a day of nine ninety nine. You deserve a little extra cash for constantly doing 10 plus hour live breaks. I love it. Thank you so much, pack a day. appreciate it. The, uh, the super chat, really. Thank you so much. Noogie says that was cute. <laughs> I try. But, um, but uh, yeah, so it's so, even though the shop has been here for five years, I've been here for three now. My third year work anniversary, boss. What's my gift for my third year work anniversary? But, <laughs> but um, you know, people still be like, I didn't know you're here. It's like, but if you look up card shop in Pinellas, it shows up on Google. But like, yeah, whatever. But um, boss, you can do a case break and divide the whole pack instead of team or player break. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. Crispy Bacon with college memes saying rush, someone pledging. <laughs> we have this box here for finest, our last box in stock for Charlie H. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it as the super shiny zombie card. You can go, let me put it over there. All right. The zombie matches our running zombie when that pops up, up, up here. Super tiny zombie. All right, let's get into this box. A new chair. <laughs> a, new, a new box of bandages. No, I'm actually loaded up on band-aids. I'm good. A chair. I was looking in. I was curious because I've always known that like gamer chairs, like real gamer chairs, are expensive. Like gamer chairs can be like over six hundred dollars. It's crazy. Daniel says, "I mean, the amazing drawings are worth the wait. Love it. Oh, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that for the five dollar super chat. This is awesome. This is cool, and I'm, I'm I'm happy that I managed to get all the notifications to work. I just can't see them because they're so small. But thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone." If you pull something amazing for me tonight, I will give you a Bonefish or Longhorns gift card. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mike. That'd be cool. B. Henderson says, you're a blessing to the hobby. Oh, thank you. No pillow for the chair. No, I keep forgetting to um do it. Todd Richardson asks, boss, you got chat update, rookies in the store. Fun fact, before the card spiked like several months ago, we actually had a cognac rookie from chat from update. But, um, yeah. Razor's Edge 808 says, Allie, you're looking cute tonight. Thank you. I try my best. What's the Ugin in base Ugin in baseball card of that box? Um, it depends. I mean, there's a lot of expensive cards I think you can get out of here, like different rookie autos, super fractors, things like that. But um, must be the headband. Yeah, it's cute. It's I just got it the other day. It's cool. Don't cheap out on. Just got a GT racing chair from Amazon. The seat cushion could use some work. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I was looking at some uh like gaming chair uh website. Like for like one of the like more expensive brands, just to like laugh at these prices. And there was an advertisement for the sh a new chair coming in July. I have to check back and see if it's up. I don't even remember what company it was, but I want to see what the price is. But the chair was bedazzled with Swarovski crystals. I'm like, bruh, why, why? What do you need crystals on your chair for? Like whatever. But anyways, let's get into mini box number one for Charlie. Rob Walker says, just found your YouTube now. Found my old Marvel cards from my parents' house. I have binders full of Marvel masterpieces from 1992 to 96. Are they worth anything? Boss Man can help you with that. I think they may be. Maybe. But I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Pack number one for Charlie. This should be the auto, I believe, of mini box number one. Maybe I am confused. No, the first one insert, second pack is auto. All right, we have finest duels of the athletics of AJ Puck and Seth Brown. All right, next pack, we have just a refractor auto of Jake Rogers for the Detroit Tigers. And then a Jorge Polanco base refractor. And Nico Horner base rookie. Jake Rogers auto, auto number one. What's the new anime Marvel cards? I'm so down for that. Um, I don't know that there's that much details out on the set yet, but it does seem to be pretty cool. But uh, I would check out Cardboard Connection for more more details. Perhaps they've updated that. But we have Gavin Lux, the man insert. And a Boba Shett rookie card. I'll sleeve that one up as well. 
On Twitch, Dean says Ali is the number one breaker 2020. Eric P says that's his cousin. Boss would be a good place to go see if they're worth anything. Rob, you can always check eBay. Completed sales, yeah. New here, but do you do any Pokemon breaks? Yeah, we actually do have uh, this from Killjoy over on Twitch. We actually have a Pokemon break scheduled up coming in uh, next, actually. We have a box of Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash opening up. But we do have a couple of uh, Pokemon breaks on the channel. They're some of our least popular videos, believe it or not. But they are there. We have Adrian Morjon, numbered out of 250, Purple Refractor. Oh, you did remember that was me. Yeah, Dean, I remember. Also, Dean, you're the only one that goes around saying, Ali Best Breaker, which I appreciated. But, um, I know it's you. Yes, yeah, so we actually got a box of Pokemon coming up next. The Refractor, James Paxton for the Yankees. Last pack of mini box number one, we have an Aquino Finest Firsts insert. And Lindor, the man. All right, next mini box. Here we go, pack number one. That ran away. Noogie says, Allie, you rock. Hey, thanks, Noogie. I'm so unpredictable. Allie doesn't know my username anyway. Who is Mad Max? I've never heard of this man before. We have Finest Duels, Mike Trout, and Shohei Otani, the Angels. We have the man insert auto here of Dustin May. We have an insert autograph. Oh, anywhere. I read it as anywhere, but I guess I said it wrong. Now, is this numbered? Oh, it is numbered. Excuse me one second, everybody. My throat is getting a bit dry. I need to start drinking more water and not just soda during these streams. But uh, on that Frank Thomas auto, I think it was, er, uh, no, Tim Anderson for a bounty hunter earlier in the week. We did on Monday a personal break. It was numbered, but I didn't see it. But it is right there. These are numbered. The, the man autos are numbered. 88 of 99 on this Dustin May rookie auto right here. Acetates are out of 10. Yep, 1.0. The acetates are out of 10. All right, I need to open up another 55-point uh, top loader. Give me one second, everybody. Hopefully it won't hurt me. So this is what I did. And then I grabbed the, um, this way. I grabbed it like this. And, um, that's how I hurt myself. <laughs> but, yeah, I was careful. I was demonstrating to you guys how it went down. But, yeah. So this is Charlie's second auto here. Let's continue with this pack. We have a foil or a refractor, Dylan Cease. Really cool card. It is a really cool looking card. I do really like the way Finest looks. We have a the man insert of Pete Alonso. We have a blue refractor here, Yuli Guriel for the Houston Astros, 16 out of 150. We have a Yordan rookie here as well. Sleeve that one up too. Ethan H says, hey. Confirm sick ass. Did I miss my break? Not yet. Confirm sick. We're on break number eight. About to get into break number nine in just a little bit here. Finest careers insert of Ichiro. Anthony Rendon. Refractor. And last pack here for Charlie. Hey, you're welcome, Charlie. I'm glad I was able to get you some cards. Hopefully that you do like for your collection. We have a The Man, Vlad Jr. And that'll do it for Charlie's two mini boxes here. 
So let me do a quick recap here. Our two autos, we did get a refractor, a base refractor, Jake Rogers, and a The Man, Dustin May, rookie auto out of 99. And then for our assorted refractors and good rookies, we did get blue, Gurriel, Alvarez base, Aquino insert, purple, Morjan, Lux base, and Bichette base as well. So thank you so much, Shadi, for letting me open these up for you. I'm glad that you did enjoy this opening. So next up, we do have, for John M, we have a box of Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. So our Pokemon opening of the night. And then after that, we will have Panini Legacy Football for Kenny P and his wife, whose name I didn't write down. I should have wrote it down. Kenny, if you're still here, let me know and I can add her to the description. <laughs> Any Chronicles draft left? Yep, El Hoxo. I think we have three boxes. But alrighty, let me get this moved out of the way. First, I will unsnap myself. And when I come back, we'll be getting into that box of Pokemon for John M. John, we have three boxes left of draft picks, because don't forget there's the one on the shelf, too. Just need that card dealer who sells out of the trunk to hook you up with all the more products. Yeah, but instead of, you know, doing his job as a sub-distributor, he just chooses to sell everything on DealerNet. Okay, can you ask price on the Chronicles 204, I believe? But, um, catch you next batch. Hey, Todd. Uh, Thank you for sticking around. But, um, you have Pokemon. Woo! Noogie's lab watching the Pokemon's gonna be Noogie's last box tonight. Thank you for hanging out with us, Noogie. Or unless you're referring to the Legacy. But, um, appreciate you coming back. It's sad that we missed you last week, but we're happy that you're back and hope you're doing all right. You have time to open them tonight? Yep, El Hoxa, we're only at break. We only have 26 breaks scheduled for tonight. So I usually cap it at like 30 or 32. So yeah, if you wanted me to open them up for you, it will take quite some time to get to it, but I will be able to get to that tonight for you. Like I said, we do have three, so let me make sure inventory is correct on the site, that it shows three. Chronicles Football. Yep, three. Cool, so that's all correct. Alrighty. Alright. Confirm sick asked, did I miss my break? No, confirm sick. You had break number 19, if I remember. So we're going into 9, not number 19. Don't worry. How much is the Pokemon box? Um, I think we're out of Rebel... I think we're, I might be out of Pokemon on the site. But this was... Because it, it does cost a lot to ship. And uh, we did have it, I think, for one hundred nine ninety nine. Because we do have free shipping on everything. But sometimes, if it's a little heavier of a box, the shipping's kind of built in. But uh, Mad Max says this box only worth it if there's a Charmander in it. You gotta do the Pokemon card trick. I do. I, I have to... Yeah... The last Pokemon box we opened was weird. The code was like in the front. I gotta be careful with these. But anyways, let me actually just adjust this Q shelf real quick. Then I will change the break number, and then we'll get into this box of Pokemon. Can't reach this one pre release kit. <laughs> uh, Alex W11 asks Have you done any soccer? And if so, what if you pull? We did open one box on the channel yesterday. Uh, we can't remember the names. I know we got a Mason Mount rookie ticket. Uh, I can't remember the autos, though, but they were pretty cool looking. But no soccer openings tonight. We do have two boxes available. None planned for tonight yet. Yeah, there's a, it's cut out right here. Um, all right, but let me change the queue number. I'm going to be going into queue number nine, box number nine. 
for John M. Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. So, Alright, let's get on into it by quickly snapping ourselves into the corner and getting on into it. So hopefully we can get some nice pulls here. I am calling it a night. I will finish with the replay. Excellent job as always. Flat out love this channel. Hey, thanks Tom for watching. Or Todd, sorry. Thank you, Todd, for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next week. Joe asks, hey, Allie, how was your week? It was pretty good. Pretty busy for sure, but definitely not a bad week. Yeah, the shirt does look crazy in the small mode. It looks normal. I don't understand why it looks fine on the, the big, big screen, but small looks weird. Now let me check how the code is positioned. All right. So I do have to do the codes like this, and we don't spoil any codes. Because the codes do get you one free pack on the online Pokemon card game, and they are just one-time use only. We have a Foil Growlithe and a Luxray Hollow Foil. And Energy. Hey boss, can you go check out what's going on on Twitch? On Twitch, please. We have a skunk tank, tool scrapper, and Dan. Yep, Pokemon boxes have thirty-six packs in them. We have a Durant, Capture Energy, we have a Lombre, and a Duraludon, Hollow Foil. We have a Morgrim Hollow and a Rillaboom V Max. That's cool. We have a Shinx. Chris asks, any more magic openings coming up? We do have some magic coming up. The, we have, in a couple breaks, we have a collector booster box and a regular booster box of corset. We have another collector booster coming up throughout the night, as well as some more pre-release kits. So we got some more corset 2021 openings coming. Heracross foil and Galarian surfetched. We have a Turfield Stadium, hollow. Capture Energy. Uh, Mad Max says, Boss, Allie, want to tell people the chat rules? I mean, just don't be mean, essentially. Or, you know, spreading purposely false information, I guess. I mean, I feel like it should just be like common sense rules. Like the buzz foil and a phalanx V. It's like pieces of the pack dust. Pokemon also has a lot of pack dust. We have a Hawlucha foil. Scoop up net. Mm. 
Noogie says, I was so happy to buy some cards yesterday. And what'd you get, Noogie? Volibee foil. Galarian wheezing hollow foil. That's cool. We have a Shuckle. Oops. There was a Cinderace attached to that Shuckle. Cinderace V. It's cool. Oh, you bought a Babe Ruth in Series 2. Oh, yeah, Noogie, you were talking about that earlier. That is cool. We have an Alchemy Hollow and Glarian Cursula. That's cool. So Cursula evolves into a ghost Cursula. That is cool. Yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't uh, played Sword and Shield. So whenever I see these new Pokemon, it's cool. We have a Beware foil. Far out from my break. It's still far out from your break, confirmed. Don't worry. Dean says he has a Cinderace in Pokemon Sword. We have a Full Art Double V. I think I might have missed a hollow there. Let me go back and check. Horror Energy. Yep, we had a Foil Metapod here. Straighten up these piles real quick. We have a Magmar. We have a foil trubbish. A nugget. Dublade foil. And on to the left half of this box of Pokemon. So even there's a lot of poke uh, packs in a Pokemon box, they do pretty, they go pretty quickly. Paleoptile foil, and a Pokeball. Whoops, almost forgot to get that code. We have Galarian Corsola. Noogie says next week I get the dog sit. What kind of a uh, dog are you watching over, Noogie? I'm not really a dog person, but I think uh, Shebas are pretty cute, and also Malamutes and Huskies. Otherwise, I'm not a big dog person. We have a Grub and Foil, and a Grim Snarl, Hollow Rare. We have a Pelipper foil and an Inteleon V. Burning Scarf, Oleana. Mill asks, what cards you guys should have sent out to get graded? Uh, I think my boss has some old hollow Pokemons, Pokemon cards to send, send off to get graded. Not sure if he's sending it to PSA or the new CGC grading, though. But I think there's some Pokemons. We have a Natu foil.
Just a curiosity question. Will Stature Hockey be up on the site Monday for pre-order? Uh, boss man, we need assistance. Are you a cat person? Um, my one of my friends has a super cool cat. So I like that cat, but I don't know if that translates to me liking all cats. Because otherwise I haven't had much interaction with cats, but they, they do look cute. White code cards being good cards always. Uh, white card, the white codes is, uh, indicates there's like a hit in the pack. So whether that's like a hollow, hollow rare or a, like a Pokemon V or like an EX or a GX or older sets. We have a Heat More and a Rillaboom Max Secret Rare. Rillaboom V Max. have a turf field stadium. Bounty Hunter says that's a crazy looking card. Yeah, the uh, secret rares for Pokemon are super, like super rainbow. They are crazy. I prefer mostly full arts, but uh, the secrets are cool too. Applin, Royal. El Hoxo asks, can you ship boxes sealed? Uh, we don't ship on the website, but um, for personal breaks, everything includes free shipping, but we don't, we don't sell sealed boxes on our website. We have Boss's Orders, Hollow, or Reverse Hollow. Another white code here. Toxel foil and Clefable, hollow rare. Runaway water energy. Capacious buckets. We're getting close to the end of this box here for John. Hat trim and a Pinchurch and V. Yeah, the card's called Boss's Orders. Butterfree. Horror Energy. We have a Metacham foil. Hector asks, any open spots for tonight? Yeah, go ahead, Hector, if you're still interested in having a personal break with us. Last time I checked, we were at only 26 for the night. So usually I cap it when we get close to, or like just after 30. So I'm still taking orders for a little while here. Training court foil and a Rillaboom V full art. This seems to be a Rillaboom themed box. Toothless Beast over on Twitch says, Oh no, what happened to Allie's finger? Them sharp edge cards, I tell you. Actually, Toothless Beast, uh, I hurt myself opening a pack of top loaders somehow. I got scratched. I got scratched by the top loader. And, um, yeah. Hector says, Okay, thanks. I'll go check out the site. Yep, the site right up here, titancardsfl.com slash shop, does have everything we have available listed for personal breaks. Carcoal foil. And the last pack here for John. We have cursed shovel foil. And that'll do it for this box here. 
So some nice cards here, lots of hits in this box. Let's do a quick recap. Let me get this out of the way. Let's do a quick recap of what we got for John. Let me just do a quick sort here. These full arts. All right, let's take a look here. We did get one secret. We got Rillaboom VMAX. A full art Rillaboom VMAX. Full art, regular Rillaboom V. Double V full art, Pinchurchin, Cinderace, Phalanx, and Intellion. So I think the only Rillaboom we didn't get was the base Rillaboom V and a secret Rillaboom V. So that seems like a lot of Rillabooms for this box regardless. Dean asked if Thunderbug bit my finger. No, Thunderbug would never do that to me. <laughs> for our assorted Hollow Rares, we had a Clefable, Grimmsnarl, Galarian Cursula, Galarian Weezing, Galarian Surfetched, Duradlodon, and Luxray. So not bad here. Lots of hits. Lots of nice shiny cards here out of this box of Pokemon. So I hope, John, that you did enjoy this opening. And uh, next up, we do have football for Kenny P and his wife. So thanks, John, for letting me open up this box for you. I appreciate you letting me do all these personal breaks for you on the channel. And like I said, next up, we do have that box of Legacy Football, our last box of Legacy Football for Kenny P and the Mrs. Kenny P. Is that a good box? Don't know. Pokemon asks El Hoxo one um, there were certainly a lot of hits in here, but I'm not too familiar with the cards from this set, but for me personally as a collector, I would be happy with this because there's just so many nice shiny cards in here. But to be honest, I don't know on the value of these. John says, thanks for the nice break. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it. But let me get this cleaned up here. I've managed to keep all the codes secret. And we will get into that football right up next. So let me unsnap myself here. And I'll be back with some Legacy Football. Brian says, gonna call it. Good night. Great job, Allie. Hey. Thanks for hanging out with us, Brian. Take care. Hope to see you next week. Toothless Beast asks, Allie, did you open the $4,200 box? Nope, we opened one up last week, actually. But this week we do have one left, just that is on sale, NT Basketball for $4,200. Uh, you can get a $75,000 card out of it, uh, malnutrition. The Zion Patch Auto is $75,000, which is crazy. So, big, high risk, high reward though, if you get the right things. Right, let me finish cleaning this off and I'll be back with some football. Oh, this box all hers. Her name is Leanne. She's gotten sucked into the hobby. All right, let me put, let me scratch out, scratch out Kenny P. Then, and I'll put Leanne P. Cool. No, actually, um, last week they were the person who purchased the box said that it was a break-even box. So I don't know about that. Because we did get a rookie patch auto numbered out of 25, which was pretty cool. But otherwise, I'm not familiar with the prices on those cards that were in that box. But the person who purchased the box was very pleased with it, so that makes me happy. <laughs> Alright, I finished my two little mini cans of Diet Dr. Pepper, and now I have some water. Oh, we have a notification here. Slowhand Zen has started following me, and it looks like I've missed a couple. A double, 22 one 1990 has followed. S. Cortez, 3511 has followed. Sonic Pebble has followed. Jana Nomura. And Enorma Stitz, double zero has followed. I think those are ones I have missed. Yeah, more zombies. I like the little zombies that pop up. When I see them popping up. Most of the time I feel like I don't see them. All right, Noogie says he's heading out. All right, see you later, Noogie. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
appreciate you sticking around so long, and uh, it's glad to see you back. But let me grab this next box here. Got to move Baby Yoda out of the way. We have this legacy. Oh, I have a five dollar super chat from Bill Bastion. It says, "Troll free, knock on wood. Great job." Oh, thank you, Bill. Really appreciate that. Next up, I really, I really do appreciate all your guys' super chats. But thank you so much. Yeah, so far we've been pretty much troll free, except for just a little bit, a little while ago. But in general. No problems tonight, which is very, very nice so far. Let me knock on wood. Oh, we have a new zombie. Oh, that's just the... the I think that's the delayed zombie from um, Bill's Super Chat. Thank you so much. But, um... It yeah, broke even. They can buy the last 4200 bucks. It'd be cool if they did, but, um... Yeah. Uh, Keeners says, I can watch Ali all night long. And El Hoxa one says, you're really good with names. I'm impressed. Thank you. I try my best to keep, uh... To pronounce people's names right, but sometimes with usernames especially, it's very hard if I'm not sure what they want. But yeah, Super Chat Zombie, probably just a little bit of a delay. But we got some fire emojis from Kenny here. But next up, we do have I have to change the number. I've been good about keeping up with the numbers. 10. For Leanne, we have a box of our last box of Legacy Football. So let's see what we can get here. Perhaps I can finally pull a Tua Auto out of Legacy, or maybe even a Joe Burrow. But to get into it, let's quickly step ourselves into the corner and get started for Leanne. So this, like I said, last box of Legacy here. Maybe we can finally see one of those little Dare to Terror minis. Let's get started. We have a red Aaron Rodgers, number 173 out of 299. Legends are two rookies. We have a spacer. Fan favorites insert of Richard Sherman. Legends Emmett Smith. Daniel says, the Marvel anime sketch cards are insane. I want them all. Yeah, I think that set's going to be super cool when it comes out. We have a mini here. We have a gold. Terry McLaurin from the Washington Redskins. This is number 23 of 25. Card number 62. Gold mini Terry McLaurin. Let me get this one sleeved up. Yep, I never sleeved up that Rogers. I'll get that one next. Cardboard connection says August so soon. Hopefully it comes out on time. Oop, I didn't finish this pack. We gotta finish this pack. We have a lasting legacies insert. Legends and our two rookies. Alright, next pack here. Looks like we have a blue chrome rookie here. It is Van Jefferson from the University of Florida. He's a number out of 50, I believe. Where is it? No, out of 35. 25 out of 35. I think maybe the blue papers are out of 50, but that is cool. Van Jefferson, blue chrome rookie. At least only one legend per pack. Yeah, that was super weird last week. Van Jefferson. Put it in a top loader because it is out of uh, 35. Ah oh, man, is this a points card? It is, and it was backwards. All right, let me move that. Now, this is just the code to scan to get to the app, but instead of an auto here, unfortunately, did get one Panini points card, but. Um, my boss does have the thing where if you get a points card, reach out, and we do give you a $10 coupon slash credit slash refund. So I have blocked off the code with this base card here, but unfortunately did get just a points card here. Crispy Bacon says, we have watched Allie all night long before. Yeah, but unfortunately, the first auto is a points card. And we do have DK Metcalf, blue, 2 of 50. 
parallel. Hopefully we can get something super good to make uh, to make up for that points card because it is right. Yeah, like Bounty Hunter says, Panini is so lame with the points cards. They are. It's very frustrating when it's like, what's my hit? Like you'd even prefer probably like a not that great hit instead of a points card. That looks cool. I don't know what that is. We have um, some Emmett Smith card, forty nine of fifty. Oh, we did get a dare to tear. Emmett Smith, 49 out of 50 for the Cowboys. But hey, we did get a dare to tear card, though. That is cool. So it is a double, it looks like, is that a double rip? Or, no, no, just a single rip because it's just the one side. That is cool. We finally got a dare to tear. This one is the retired dare to tear. So that is pretty cool, though. Dare to tear. Very nice. Alright, that should be a hundred point. So very cool there. I think that probably makes up for the fact that we got that points card. But uh oh looks like I've abandoned some a couple packs here, but let's finish these up here. We have for the ages Drew Brees. We have two a base card. So we probably should be getting a Joe Burrow as well. Record book. Alright. Woohoo, huge cowboy fan, Leanne. Awesome. I'm glad I was able to get you a card that you're enjoying. It's a rip card with a little mini inside it. Yeah. Well, I, I guess let me know, Leanne, if you want me to rip it for you. But um Boss Man says leave it sealed. But <laughs> We have a cool mini card inside. But yeah, totally up to you. No pressure. You can even rip it on your own if you want more time to think about it. But um, next pack here we do have timeless talents insert of Dan Marino. Legends, and then we do have a Joe Burrow base here. We have Jacob Eason, Under the Lights, Silver Chrome. Record book, Peyton Manning. Kenneth Smith says, hey, we in here. Hey, Kenneth. We have a green, Joe Thomas, number 37 out of 100. We're still waiting on one more autograph. Hopefully not another points card in this box here. No rip. All right, we're not ripping it. We're not ripping it. Sealed. We have a Nate Stanley, Chrome Rookie. Lasting Legacies. Looks like we have a mini in here as well. We have a tomato soup, Pat Tillman for the Cardinals Legends. That is number 59 of 75. Greetings from the Netherlands, says Arkin. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I think this was the wrong size. Hold on. Let me switch this one on over. Tailman Mini. We have another fan favorites insert of Josh Allen. Oh, we have our auto here. 40 out of 49, Jerry Judy. 
Bronze Auto, rookie from the University of Alabama. That is cool. This is our second auto of the box. Second auto. Jerry Judy. Timeless Talents, Terrell Davis. Pat Tillman, there's the jumbo card. We have a red, we have another Pat Tillman here. We have big red Pat Tillman, 187 out of 299 with the Cardinals legend. Besides the point card, this box is awesome, says Bill. That's good to know. We have a under the lights chrome Jake Fromm here. Patrick Mahomes for the ages. Little and big Red Tillman for sure. Oh, looks like we have another mini in here. We have a Legends John Elway for the Broncos, just a silver mini. That's cool. So we did get three minis in this box. Beating the odds here. Very cool. Record book, Tom Brady. Joe Thomas. And the last pack here for Leanne. We have a big old spacer in here. Lasting Legacies, Brett Favre, Randy Moss, and our two rookies in the back. So let's take a look at what we did get in the box. Definitely seems like a good box aside from that points guard, although it is 400 points. It's better than getting a 250 point box. But let's take a look, starting with our minis. We did get three minis in this box. We got a red, a gold, and a base. Gold out of 25, red out of 75, and the silver is not numbered. Two legends and a gold. Yep, the, this one kind of counts as a mini, but we do have Dare to Tear Emmett Smith, numbered out of 50. Ooh, tired Dare to Tear Rip Mini. The mini in there somewhere. Kind of like we got four minis in this box. We did get also a blue chrome Van Jefferson, numbered out of 35. Low numbered card, threw it in there. Then for our two hits, we did get a bronze Cherry Judy auto out of 49 and a points card for 400 points. So let's take a look at our other chromes and parallels. Big Pat Tillman. We also had two rookie, the two rookies here, Tua and Joe Burrow. It seems like if you get one in a box, you'll get the other. If you don't get one, you're not going to get the other, at least from what we've seen on the channel, which is uh, probably just has to do with the way Panini collated the rookies. But thank you so much, Kenny, for letting me open up there, Kenny and Leanne, for letting me open up this box for you. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad I was able to get you some nice cards for your collection, especially that nice uh, Dare to Tear with the Cowboys, since you're a fan of the Cowboys. So I'm glad to hear that. But Cowboys Tillman and a Rip card, awesome. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. But next up, we do have Fort Mike F. We have a collector booster and a regular booster box of Corset 2021 for Magic. So we're switching over to some completely different products. And then after that, we'll have our first Absolute Baseball of the night for KCM. So like I said, up next, Magic, and then some Absolute. But um, Take Flight 84 says, love your breaks. Awesome, thank you. I'm glad to hear that. It makes me happy. But thank you again so much to Leanne and Kenny for letting me open these up. And uh, let me get this cleaned off, and I'll be back with some Magic. El Hoxo 1 really wants that Judy Auto, Kenny and Leanne. So if you're interested in selling, I think uh, he would buy it off of you. But, um... Following Boss's lead, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please go ahead and hit that like button. I'm glad to hear it. Anyways, let me unsnap myself here. When I come back, like I said, magic for Mike F. But hang tight, everybody. I'm just going to move this out of the way, and then I'll get into some magic. Superfly RV guy says, no more Garooks. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. That was crazy how many Garooks you got in those boxes. Toothless Beast says, no hockey tonight. No, unfortunately, we didn't have any orders for hockey. Let me double check and see if we have any new orders, actually, while I'm over here. 
check orders. Yep, no more new orders tonight so far. So no hockey tonight so far. Any Chronicles? We do have Chronicles. Actually, after the Magic and the Absolute, we'll have our second box of Chronicles of the night. And then later on tonight, we have another box of Chronicles. So two more Chronicles draft picks coming up. Well, I'm going to have to take off for now. I might come back later, but I'll have fun ripping and keep pulling fire alley. Hey, thanks, Bounty Hunter, for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. And I just got notifications on zombies. I saw them. We have Crypto Dugan has followed, and Hector Garcia has followed. Also, looks like I missed... Launchpad95 five minutes ago. So thank you so much for the follows, everyone. Or Hector Garcia has subscribed. All right, so in the little um, the feed here, it says followed for YouTube where it says subscribed. So that is interesting. Chris asks, if I purchase the MTG pre-release kit, it will add to the end of the list of breaks tonight. I'm thinking about Brian for tonight. Yep, Chris, the uh, link in the description on YouTube is current through the 18th break. We are currently up to uh, through the night... Because I'm not able to edit the description while we're doing live. I don't want to, like, break anything. We're up to 26 breaks for the night. But I would be able to put in your break if you ordered it right now at number 27. I would for sure be able to get to it tonight. It would probably be quite a ways away, but would still be part of this live stream if you are interested. But any Star Wars tonight? Unfortunately, we're all out of uh, Star Wars Violet, unfortunately. Next Star Wars we'll be getting in is the Chrome Perspectives, First Order versus uh, the Resistance. And, uh, unfortunately... Uh, El Hoxo, the Jerry Judy is not for sale at the moment. But anyways, let me move this out of the way. When I come back, we'll get into break number 11 for Mike F. All right, thanks. I'll probably just purchase for an online break from Monday or Wednesday. Hey, no problem, Chris. Uh, if you want it on Wednesday, just leave a little note with your order. Otherwise, I will get to that on Monday if you do get an online break for Monday. But uh, Edward says, I think I love this woman. LOL. <laughs> thanks, Edward. <laughs> but uh, Oops. But next up, we do have for Mike F. Break number 11 of the night. We have a collector booster box and a regular booster box of Corset 2021. So I'm excited to start with the Collector Booster because we've seen some really good ones. And hopefully we can get some non garuk foils for Mike this time. A pack a day says, I've got to call it a night. Maybe I'll get in next week. Good luck with your breaks, everyone. Have a good night, Allie. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us a pack a day, and I really appreciate that super chat you sent earlier. Take care, and I'll see you next week. But I'm going to start with that Collector Booster. So let me move this booster box up here. I know we won't be able to see it, but... um. I'll we'll start with this collector booster here. So let's get started by snapping ourselves into the corner and getting on into it. Crypto Dugan asks, how does this work? Um, if you follow, um, well, you're on Twitch, not on YouTube. But if you go to the website here, titancardsfl.com, and you can just ignore the shop part. But if you go to the home page here, you'll see at the top there's a page titled Personal Breaks. You can learn all about what a personal break is, how you can do it, what it all means. Uh, on that page and then you can follow a link to look at the shop to see what we have available for personal breaks. So in essence, it's just someone buys a box and I open it up for them on uh, either in a recorded video or on the live stream. Uh, you know, all I get to do is open it. They own all the cards. We ship out all the cards, free shipping. You know, I just get to open it here for them now. Uh, Rindrake says, evening everyone. Hey Rindrake, glad to see you back. Haven't seen you in a few weeks, so I'm glad that you're still around. Garrett says, love your break earlier today with the Justin Herbert 101. It forced me to buy a box of Chronicles. Well, hopefully your box is as awesome as mine was yesterday, Garrett. But uh, yeah, good luck on your box. Yeah, Wicked has an even smaller, shorter summary. Uh, buy a box in their shop and she opens them live. Yep, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> but anyways, let's get started with this collector booster box. We have our four foil commons, two uncommons, showcase foil land. We have an extended art double vision here, pack leader foil rare, and a foil extended art ghostly pilferer. Yep, we have a Liliana Waker of the Dead mythic showcase. <laughs> yep, boss man is still awake. He's still kicking. 
We have Brash Taunter and Sabira, Foil Rare, Temple of Mystery, Foil Rare. Rook's Harbinger, Rare, Showcase. Pyroling and a Foil Containment Priest. Missed you last week. Saw you had a 20 minute live stream and then I went to bed. Yeah, last week uh, it was crazy, Rindrake. Some, uh, a couple of people had been spam reporting the stream for violations of community guidelines and YouTube kept pulling the stream. So we had to switch over to Twitch. And, um,. Because we weren't being, we weren't able to stream on YouTube. So this week, uh, we've started. This is our first week starting. We're streaming on both. So just in case anything happens, we could just keep going on Twitch, like immediately. I mean, I would give time for people to move over, but it'd still be um, able to continue there. So it was hopefully nothing like that happens again. But uh, we have a foil extender art Joriel here, and a foil extender art Maze Mind Tome. We have scavenging news. And a Protégé Foil, Magmut Foil, and a Beast Token. What are we looking for? We're looking for cards titled Teferi, Master of Time, Grim Tutor, and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Let's see how many Groot Gorehorns we pull today. <laughs> we have Stormwing Entity, Baron, and Sporeweb Weaver. Terry's Ageless Insight. There's another Gorehorn for the count, and a Foil Incinerator. We have Hooded Blightfang, Thieves Guild Enforcer, and Double Vision Foil Rares. We have a Chandra Heart of Fire Extended Borderless Mythic. Last pack on the right side for Mike. Island. We have our first foil mythic, this continuity, feline sovereign, standard art foil. I feel like there's one of those in every box. Standard bearer, showcase. Were you really here or were you asleep and your computer was still going? Asks Rindrake. Well, Boss Man had to be here last week because we needed him badly. Boss Man had to stay up late since he showed up late last week when all the craziness was going down. That was his punishment. We have a conspicuous Snoop extended art. Oh, we have a foil Azusa. That's cool. Cultivate. And that's solemn. We have a foil scoos as well. Very nice. Is Twitch the same name Titan Cards? Uh, the uh, Titan Cards game is the boss's one. The t the stream that I'm streaming on right now, the account that I'm streaming on on Twitch right now, is the same as my Instagram. It is just um, Allie from Titan. Which, if you're on YouTube, I think it's the third link in the description down below. Or at least it should be. It might not be for the live streams. I know I set it default for regular uploads, but I'm not sure on live streams actually. Carabac, Foil Extended Art, Lieutenant Showcase, and an Angel Token. Do you think the card quality of 2021 Collectors is different compared to Ikoria Collectors? Um, I haven't noticed really. Merfolk Bear, they feel very similar to me. Boss Man, you forgot a Y. <laughs> Boss man can't spell my name right, confirmed. Baron. Nambi. Oh, we have a foil. Baneslayer Angel. Hey, we have a showcase. Uh, extended art. Borderless to fairy. Master of time. Playing arena on Twitch will be interesting to see. Uh, I was actually thinking of doing my own arena, but boss man is trying to steal my thunder and do his own arena streams. I was thinking maybe, I mean, I don't know when I'd have the time, but maybe play a little arena, maybe some dual links, anything else that just kind of catches my eye. I think that might be fun, but like I said, I have no idea when I would have time for it. As Mike's island runs away, we have an extended art, Baneslayer Angel, Scoos, Foil Double Vision, Incinerator, Thank you. 
Hey, Bank, glad you were able to find it. Planes? <laughs> we'll only watch Alley Arena, no boss man. <laughs> nah, don't protest boss man. Let him have his fun too. Peer into the abyss, extended art. Hey, what is that? That is a massacre worm. Massacre worm, extended art. Ambassador Cat, showcase full mythic. And the last one back here in the collector booster for Mike. We have Temple of Malady and a foil Ugin the Spirit Dragon. There you go. We got both of the things you were looking for, Mike. Pack Leader Foil. Scoos. Oop, that was the wrong pile. Alright, I put some stuff in the wrong pile. I gotta fix it. But overall, this was definitely a nice box here for Mike. Better than his Garut boxes. Austin says, I finally made a live one. Welcome, Austin. What's on the menu for breaks tonight? Austin, if you check the uh, description down below, since you're on YouTube, uh, I have it updated. The queue updated through break number 18. We have 20, uh, 20, 26 breaks scheduled so far for tonight. That um, Breaks number 19 through 26 were ordered while we were live, so I didn't get to edit those in there. But um, that is uh, pretty much the queue for tonight. And, of course, uh, once we go past it, we will have... Um, more breaks but let's do a quick recap here this definitely seems like two better boxes than mike's boxes before but we have for our foil showcases we had one foil showcase mythic and two rares incinerator angels insight and bass Riquette. and for our other showcase rares or mythic we did get the liliana and then we got one of each of the other showcase rares for extended arts mythics we did get chandra massacre worm and teferi <laughs> Superfly RV guy is serious about the the gift card. Uh, I'm allergic to seafood, so if you uh, not not the bonefish, <laughs> but thank you. That is super cool. Appreciate it. But um, for our foil rares, we had Scoos and Containment Priest, and we did manage to get one of each. Uh, no, we didn't. Never mind. We missed out on the Containment Priest and got two oozes instead. But then for other very nice things, we got the Foil Ugin, Baneslayer Angel, and Discontinuity. Baneslayer Angel, uh, Borderless. For our rares, foils, we did get seven. So the collector boosters are yielding a very nice number of foil extended arts. And then for our regular extended arts, no Azusa, unfortunately, but we did get a Conspicuous Snoop, which is nice. And that is it for the recap that I'm going to show off here. So definitely some nice cards. Foil Ugin, the Teferi, Borderless. And um, we also had that Liliana in there as well. Uh, Eric Peace is not a fan of the CGB. Something about his humor I find a bit grating. If that's who I think it is, I think I tried watching a video and I just wasn't crazy about his style. I, I think we keep getting recommendations because Bossman watched a lot of his videos. Let me, I watch personally for Magic. I watch... Um, Mainly day nine, because I like just being able to put up like a three hour video and just like sleep. Uh, day nine, Noxious, and um, Merchant. That's the name. Those are the three main ones that I watch. But congrats to Mike here on these boxes. Definitely some really nice hits here. Fort Lugan, Teferi. Cool things all around. Rub it in the alley. Hey, sorry, Aaron. I gotta be excited. Aaron, that doesn't mean you're not gonna get one. Aaron, you saw me open that box, regular booster box. You have a regular booster box that had a Foil Ugin and a Showcase Ugin in last week. So, like, you don't know what's gonna happen. Now, Willie is also allergic to seafood. But yeah, congrats to Mike. I'm not going to unsnap myself here, but I am going to be moving these out of the way. And next up, we do have a regular booster box. So, leave an Ugin on top. Let me move out of the way. I watch Alpha Investments too, but he doesn't like play magic. He just opens, really. But um, I like the way Day9 really interacts with his audience. I feel like if I could be as half as like interactive and like remembering stuff about people and being able to talk the way he talks with his audience, then I think I'd be doing a pretty good job. 
But uh, no, I know you're. I know you're joking, Aaron. I'm just saying. That's how we. That's how we interact here. <laughs> but yeah, day nine and noxious do magic. Yep. We're named for a channel. Um, MTG ori ori original decks. I mean, if the. I mean, if the name fits, then is it really weird? I don't know. But um, let's get into this booster box here. I think after this booster box, before we get into KCM's Absolute Baseball, I think I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate. Oh. So anyways, let's get into it. Rudy is the OG, says Aaron. Rudy is awesome. Ever since Bossman told me about Rudy, I've been uh, I've been subscribed to Rudy. I like him a lot. I know you either love him or you hate him, but I love him. I'm part of his 3% female audience. Here we go. Pop open to fairy. Let's see what we get. Corwin says, I hope my box is better than the one I opened from Alpha. Rudy is hilarious. Ah, but you're doing a great job at that, I find. Oh, thanks, Nancy. But I try, I, li I like looking, like, those, I guess Day 9 uh, inspires me a lot for the way I want to be able to interact with you guys. We have Necromentia, foil rare, right off the top here. Solemn. Timmy! I was about to go look at the 10 Fetchland Challenge, but I saw your live stream. Hey, thanks, Archon. Man, you guys pick, you picked me over Rudy. That's, like, crazy. <laughs> Rudy triggers me with how he says Harbinger now. What does he say? I know sometimes he probably say stuff on purpose. Like, wrong, just to trigger people. Tolarian Kraken, the new boy. I love him. 3.696969%. Ooh, it's going up. I remember when um he made shirts with the, the stat. I really kind of wanted one, but I was like, when would I wear it? So I didn't buy it. Legend VD is great if you want to see some great gameplay. He's a bit dry on commentary, but I love that he never tilts. I'm liking all these recommendations. I'll have to check people out. So there's MTG Arena Original Decks and Legend VD, I think. Forest Showcase Fabled Passage. There was a video I was watching the other day from Day9 that he was rec recommending Legend, like using a Legend VD deck. Maybe it was that weird Peer into the Abyss thing. Harbinger. Oh. Let's pick you a Snoop. I remember Rudy was uh, triggering people for a while when he was for Invoke Prejudice, he was saying Invoke Prejustice. <laughs> I remember that. You know, and I had to wait through your American football opening to get here. Hey, Archon, I appreciate it. But yeah, we got some magic. Yeah, yeah only American football tonight. No, no real football in the queue for tonight. Even though we do have two boxes available. Chronicles Soccer. Here in the Abyss. Too hot for hot chocolate. Yeah, but like I don't I don't know. I mean I have coffee here for the things, but um I really do like the, the Swiss Miss in the uh the Keurig. And I can pretend it has caffeine in it to keep me going. The Grook's Gorehorn. Is your mic turned down, Allie? Is it? Uh are you guys having problems hearing me? Uh, maybe I'm just speaking a bit quieter. Let me know how things sound. I might have just been going quiet for a little bit. Bossman may do a personal box of Chronicles. Containment Priest. Uh, what is, uh, maybe I, I shouldn't be asking, but um, what has he been saying, Rudy, recently about it? What's his take on the situation? Joriel? Here you find. Alright. Fine here. Sound is fine. Sounds alright to me. 
Anytime is a good time for hot chocolate, says Crispy. Of the 16 versions of Teferi Master Time, which is the rarest? Anyone happen to know? Um, I have no idea on the Teferis. You should save Gorehorns as your auto card with all that space. Yeah, unfortunately with the Japanese print cards, they don't take, um, they don't take ink. So I have to sign only, like, the English ones. He's always featuring her art mats that are signed and stuff. I mean, she has beautiful art. I actually have the Comic-Con set from, not last year, the year before, with uh, the stained glass ones. Now, I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it, but... Uh, the Therese Nielsen situation. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean... I understand why Wizards did what they did, and I have to say that is probably the better move. But I can understand why people think, like, that shouldn't be... Like, Wizards shouldn't be, like, involving themselves with what other people do, but... I don't know. There was an incident with um, a local streamer here, I think local in, like, Tampa, that got booted from the Creator Program. And it's not like they're banned from playing Magic or anything, but it was another female streamer that did other activities and promoted other things. So, and I know people were upset about her being removed from that, but, like, I see, I see both sides. Like, it's not like she was doing that while doing Magic. But also, Wizards is promoting, you know, healthy... Healthy environment, 13 plus game for kids and whatnot. So, it's it, situations are weird with stuff like that. We have Rada Heart of Kel, but if Rudy's actively, prom I haven't been able to watch his stuff recently. But yeah, that seems a bit weird. That that is, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not going to get rid of my Comic-Con one, because I already own it and I like it, but it does sour the taste of my... I was, like, super happy that I had it. Now I'm kind of like, eh. We have a Liliana, Walker, the, Waker of the Dead, is our first mythic. It's the same... I, I don't know. It's for me. It's like I um, I used to be big into... Uh, now I'm more of a... For makeup, now my go-to is Fenty. But I used to be super into Kat Von D makeup, because it just worked for me and my skin type. I don't know, maybe he's more memeing it. I don't know, whatever. I'll have to watch the videos for myself and figure out my own opinion. Because I was not aware. And we have a foil Gorehorn. We have a Sabira here. Jacob asks, how do I change my name? Uh, no idea, Jacob. Alright, boss man has you, Jacob. But, like, I still have that makeup. I don't really use it. I mean, I'll use it eventually and get rid of it and, you know, finish it up and won't buy any more. I'm not going to, like, toss it. But it's like, eh. I've already paid for it. The damage is already done. It's still good product. You know, the art's still good. It's, you know, it's weird. It's unfortunate. We have a Temple of Malady. I don't like the stance he took with the three situation, but it's whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I would get why if he's like, oh, haha, banned. You know, but I'll definitely have to go see for myself. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm on wizard sides with that uh, situation. But it's just unfor. I can see why people would be upset about it. But like, like I said, I'm not gonna purge my collection from Therese Nielsen cards. I'm not gonna sell my thing. Because I like it. I actually want to go back and collect the other years of the Comic-Con playsets. Like, I really want the, um, I want the Egypt one, because it looks really cool. But it does make me kind of like, ugh. Allie, who's your favorite Star Wars character? Mine is K2. Uh, like, real character-wise, I love Padme. Like, not like real, real character-wise. I love battle droids. <laughs> it's very Ageless Insights. Yeah, Wizards, um, it's the same thing with the other dude that was turned out to be, uh, the creep. Uh, because the art is commissioned so far in advance, they still have stuff, like, planned out. 
I think they said her last set is going to be the Zendikar Rising, but with the other dude whose name I can't even remember, the guy who drew the ley lines for M20. You know, they still have his stuff into 2021, which, because if you've already commissioned the art, you have it set up for like, if it's like a flagship card for the set, I mean, you, you're still going to, you spend a lot of money on that, you're still going to use it, but then they're not going to continue with further contracts. I always like the battle droid voices. Fun fact, battle droids in the Clone Wars are voiced by General Grievous. They are done by Matthew Wood for the Clone Wars. Which makes them even better. We have Maze Mind Tome. Bassery Acolyte. Noah Bradley. Yeah, that, that thanks you, George Alpha. I was forgetting I was forgetting what um, his name is. Like, I think they're saying his stuff is through 2021. Some sets in there. So it's going to be weird if it's like they're, they're a box art. is by him and the wizard's just like, uh, we can't get rid of this. So we'll see what happens with that. Any cool recent additions to your personal card collection? I did get something really cool yesterday. Uh, but um, I'm going to do an unboxing on that, so I don't want to spoil what it is. But I did get something really cool yesterday, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, his stuff was really good too, but he was a creep. Yeah. I mean, creep is definitely an understatement, but, you know, I'm just, I don't want YouTube. YouTube is finicky about listening to what we say, so. Try to be as vague as possible. Episode 3 Battle Droids are voiced by Mr. Wood, too. Okay, cool. Because I had seen, um, I think something signed from Episode 1 that was not Matthew Wood. Oh, I wasn't sure if all the prequels were by this other person or if he did any of them. What's your favorite type of pizza and why is it white garlic? Ugh, no, I just like plain cheese. I am very boring. Our second mythic is Chromatic Orrery. Look forward to an unboxing visit uh, video of it, hopefully. Yeah, I show uh, everything now pretty much I get, just for safety, just because I guess I'm getting more popular so people don't know what my address is. I'm just having sent through Boss's account to the P.O. Box. So, um... So hopefully, I showed Bossman what the package looks like, so hopefully he doesn't open it on accident. But, uh, because that would be the only reason why we wouldn't have, um, unboxing. But I'm looking forward to that with Glorious Anthem. But multi-cheese or just mozzarella? Just like plain cheese. Like, I don't like four cheese. Like, I just like regu regular, regular. Like, here's me. I just want a normal Pizza Hut personal pan cheese pizza. That's what I want. You're not boring. No, crispy. Like, I am super basic and boring in my food tastes. Kenneth Down says, hello, Allie. Hello, Kenneth. Pursued Whale. Episode 1 and 2 or someone else. Can't remember. Mr. Wood was an audio tech, and that's why he did some low voices. Oh, okay. Wicked says they feel better. Um, well, I'm glad you're feeling better, Wicked. Might have missed something where he said something was up, but uh, I'm glad you feel better. Speaker of the Heavens. Oh, Wicked changed his uh, name. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. I figured out, I figured it out. Four colors, mine, foil, and a temple of silence. We have Temple of Triumph. Willie says, wow. What's up, Willie? I also see Mark saying blocked and reported. Are you blocking and reporting me for my my basic tastes in uh, pizza? Or did something happen? Because now I see Bossman saying, oh. I hope, I hope nothing bad happened. Our next mythic is an Elder Gargroth. Oh, Bossman is now in the know. Alright. 
Huge margin offer says I'm in the wrong chat. Huge margin offer, we have both Twitch and YouTube running. So I have a, a thing where I can cheat and see both. Why so many platforms? A huge margin offer. Uh, last week, people kept reporting the stream for violations that were not true to YouTube. And YouTube kept getting so many reports that they just automatically pull, kept pulling it. So just in case that were to happen again this week, we just have them both going at the same time. So if the YouTube dies, everyone can just go over to Twitch and we can continue. I don't have to, like, keep uh, doing something to, um, like, switch back and forth and piecemealing different parts of the stream. They're all just running at the same time. Twitch will save the broadcast. It's all good. But yeah, that, that's that's why a huge margin offer. We have both. I know some people prefer Twitch because the video quality is better. Um, I think there's a way to be able to get both chats up. Like, you can do, like, I think a pop-out chat on YouTube and just mute the window and then look at Twitch as well. But, um, Carevec, rare. Rook's Uprising. Yeah, Willie's a big K2SO fan. I got both chats popped out, says Mad Max. I have a veto. Ambassador Solidarity Showcase. Yep, we got our bases covered. All your bases are belong to us. John Greaves says energy enemy card shop action. Maybe. Maybe. We have a feline sovereign and a massacre worm. Light to the show, but I'm here. Hi, boss. Hi, Ali. Good luck for those breaking tonight. Thanks, Mr. Nice Guy Baseball Coats. A little late tonight. Did I miss anything good? Josh, we um we did get, finally, a Dare to Tear mini out of a Legacy. In our last box, we also got a pretty nice auto out of there. Jerry Judy out of 49. Um, we've seen, of course, a couple of Cunha rookies, a couple of Sotos out of those boxes of uh, 2018 updates. Bastard's Lieutenant Showcase. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what else we got tonight that was pretty good. Uh, we got four Lugan and some other stuff in the collector booster before. I'll definitely be picking and choosing stuff for the recap after on Monday. We have a Rune Halo. Now, K2 does go out like a G. K2 is bad for you. We have a Voldalian Arcanist and a Baneslayer Angel for our last mythic of this box here. No more Ugins or Teferis, unfortunately, here. But we did get another Liliana, which is cool. But another Baneslayer. Yeah, Elder Gogoroth is also pretty good, and Chromatic Orrery. But let's take a quick recap here. Cool, I'll check those out tomorrow. Yeah, uh, the the picture recap will be up on Monday. Well, technically it is tomorrow, because it is now Sunday, everybody. But I try and put, like, a, you know, the, uh, the swath of coolest hits of the night in a picture and put that in the community tab. If we ever get anything, like, super duper awesome, I do put that on my uh, personal Instagram as well. We have Violet likes L337. I really like L337 as well. Just super cool. I think she was awesome. I'd like for like Phoebe Waller autos and perhaps like a Masterwork set or something like that. Let me take a quick sip of water. Have you met any Star Wars actors before at Celebration or Con? Uh, the only like Star Wars kind of thing that I've met, uh, I did actually go to Star Wars Celebration Orlando. I had a picture, I had a picture taken in an autograph with uh, Hayden Christensen, and I also had. Um, Hera, Hera as well. So Vanessa Marshall, I I got her to sign a Funko Pop. But uh, otherwise, it was just super packed there at Celebration. I couldn't get anybody else. But I did I did meet Hayden Christian. Super awesome. It was uh, actually it was crazy. Like I took the picture and I guess like either one of us blinked or something. But um, you know I was nervous for the first picture. I was like, ah. and then um they sent me actually to go back and retake the picture after. And like I guess he could tell I was stressed out, so he like he patted me on the back and then just kind of left there. I was like oh. I'm like oh I'm never washing my shoulder, but um. Yeah, and like that was crazy. He was like, "It's okay." And then he actually remembered me later when I came back later in the day for the um, the uh, signing. So that was super cool. But uh, yeah. And then thank you so much, guys. I have to gift card to Longhorn and Toe when I pick up the cards. <laughs> thank you, Superfly RV guy. That is Mike F here. He is a local. So thank you for letting me open these up for you. I hope you did enjoy them. Let me do a quick uh, quick recap. Did get 
Bastion's Lieutenant Rare and a Foil Gorehorn for our special showcases. For our regular Mythics, we had Ori, Liliana, Gargaroth, and Angel. We had Massacre Worm for our Box Topper. Two Foil Rares, Necromentia and Idol of Endurance. And then going through our regular, regular ones here. Erica loves Hayden. Team Hayden! Here we go. I've also met Ashley Eckstein a couple times outside of the celebration. I didn't get to meet her there, but I met, I've met. i gone to a couple of, like book signings in Orlando and whatnot. It was cool. Hayden was better than people get him, get him credit for, says Hobie. And Hobie is spitting facts up here in chat. But anyways, thank you so much, Mike, for letting me open these up for you. I was glad to get you some cards you were looking for. But I'm going to get this cleaned up, and when I come back, I'm going to actually I'm gonna be taking a short break, and I'll be making myself a hot chocolate. When I come back, we'll be getting into that absolute baseball for KCM. So let me unsnap myself here and pick all this stuff up, and then we will get going. I think I see behind it on YouTube before it pops up on my mixed chat, but from Wicked1, $20 super chat says, you're the best, Ali. Oh, thank you so much, Wicked. I really appreciate that. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That is awesome. Like I said, when we come we'll come back, I'll be getting into Casey's baseball absolutes. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to have to take multiple trips. All right, I'll be right back, everyone. Thank you so much, Wicked1, for that super chat. And like I said, I'm going to be taking a short break and getting my hot chocolate started. And I'll see you all when I come back with some absolute. All right, I almost died on the pack carnage. If you guys were wondering what that was.
ASMR coffee noise dance. All right, my hot chocolate is ready. All right, let me catch up on uh, chat for a little bit. Three more non-magic as Archon. Yep, three more non-magic. But most of the, the they should go pretty quick, Archon. I don't know if you're still here or you dipped out for a time being. Oh, he left for league. All right. Yeah, people got some Stanley autos. Daniel Logan loves his fans. I've heard Daniel Logan's a pretty nice guy. Have an Alex Kington auto and a Matthew Law Lewis auto. Every time I've been at like uh, MegaCon in Orlando, I always want to get his auto, and then I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't be bothered to wait for two hours. Like I'd love to do it, but he, I feel like he's there every year, so I'm always like, oh, I'll get to it next year. Yeah, I was dancing. Those were horrible. Horrible dance. <laughs> I did. I did meet Catherine Tabor too. I mean, I didn't really meet her. <laughs> oh no, she dances like Elaine. <laughs> Mark Adams says, dab for us. There we go. All right. Archon's still here. Yeah, they should be quick. They should be quick boxes. So, um, yeah, maybe just get one game in and then get back to it. But, um, what was I going to say? I felt like I was going to say something when I came back. Oh, yeah, I was going to be like, oh, I was feeling fancy today. I was trying to match um my new headband with um my eyeshadow. So I don't know if y'all can even see it, but I made it match. And I was just, when I was um in the restroom, I was looking at the mirror, and I was like, still looks good. So, like, my skin's looking kind of oily, but my eyeshadow still looks good. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> but, um... She calls that move the warm up to the bonfire. <laughs> All right, next up we have Fort KCM. Where is it? Break number 12, Absolute Baseball. This will be a quick one, I think. Honestly, the remainder of the night is going to be pretty quick. Aside from, there's a Series 2 box, Aaron's Booster box, and the Score box. I think, honestly, we might be done pretty quickly. But, um, do have Absolute for KCM. Let me actually double check before we get started if we have any more breaks queued up. But tonight might be an early night, you guys. I know, crazy. Crazy talk. Oh, we do have... Well, let's see if it's recorded. Oh, we do have a Chronicles draft picks for Justin G. Added into break number 27. Which also should still be pretty quick. 27. Let me actually go grab that real quick. Real quick, real, real quick Arena. I was going to pull me the Lux Yordan Robert out of Absolute. That'd be cool, Wicked. Chris says, hang out. Have a good night, Allie and everyone. Hey, Chris, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll uh, see you next time, hopefully. Archon says, I'll keep you on in the background. Notice the first one went quick, too. Yeah. Not a fan of the Absolute. There was more cards in it. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks cool. I mean, it is. it is a Panini Baseball product. But, um, you definitely get some nice looking cards. Hobie says I need to share the hot chocolate. Here, hot, uh, here, everyone, here, here's the little lip. Ooh, ooh we can be fancy here. Oop, my, my lid's not even on properly. Here, everyone can drink a little. Yeah, I shared it. Somebody needs to break that last treasures box for us. That would be cool. Anyways, let me go grab that draft picks and I'll be right back.
Why would you do that? Dio just said no thank you to life in case anyone saw that. <laughs> the whole chat now has alley germs. Oh, I don't know if anyone noticed up here, but um I have acquired a foil Talarian Kraken. I stole it from Boss Man. Take flight says I'm learning watching magic breaks. <laughs> yeah, Dio, Dio jumped and said no thank you to life. Hey! The v Men Man has followed us on Twitch. Woo! I saw the zombie. I didn't realize it'd be so small when I set the box, but um. Hey, Josh asked, "How much is the Spectra? Spectra, we had it was on sale last week, but it's back to regular price again. We have it at nine fifty nine ninety nine, so nine sixty for the Spectra. We have three more of that. We have three more Spectras, just the one NT, and that's it. We have for basketball right now. Allie, what's your all time favorite ice cream? I like mint chocolate chip. I also like cookie dough, but um." Ice cream, like just ice cream, um, be mint chocolate chip, but like milkshakes and whatnot. I like I like cookie dough from Steak and Shake. Also, the M and M one from Steak and Shake's good. They had that limited time the uh, Formula One guy. They had the chocolate M and M one. I don't remember what his name was, but they made they made the M and M milkshake with chocolate. But we had a subscriber, a new subscriber on YouTube, Eddie Hicks. Welcome, welcome to the uh, squad, Titan Squad, Titan Gang. Anyone else find the sound of a pack being torn open oddly therapeutic? No, Andrew, I'm completely with you on that one. Like, that's how I got sucked into this stuff in the first place. Like, um, for pack openings first, how it first started for pack openings, I was watching Simply Unlucky. And um, I was like, oh, that's, I just like the way it sounds. And then all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? But, you know, I could do this for myself. And I'm like, well, maybe I'll just try a little bit. And then I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. So, hey, we have another subscriber. Michael Brin subscribed. Hey, zombie right here. Woo. But, um, Jimac asked, can we still request breaks? Yeah, of course. We're still open. We still request. We're only up to 27 breaks for the night. And, uh, to be honest, we have a lot of those 27 breaks are archive signature, clear authentic, and pre-release kits. So they're going to be like this. So, yeah, definitely breaks are still open for the night. We have some cool stuff left. We got Spectra. We got National Treasures. We got Chronicle Soccer. We got more Magic. See a box 2019-20 Chronicles draft picks. You breaking it tonight? Yeah, we have um actually uh one coming up in two or so break. Actually, after this boxer Casey, we have a Chronicles draft picks, and then we have two more later on in the night. So we only have two remaining left. So um we have more. We have we have some openings. Hey, we have Austin Edmondson has subscribed. Welcome. So yeah, we do have we do have some for, more for opening. We have three more for opening, and then we also have two more available if anyone wanted to order. He said, Mike says I like opening packs more than scratching lotto tickets. I mean, at least when you open the pack, even if you got nothing you wanted, you still literally have something to show for it, not a lottery ticket that like you can't do anything with. Charles says new here, submitted an order. Oh, thanks, Charles. I'll go check that out. Miles Kara says that was me today. The Miles, you talked about the saying no to life, geo jumping. Benjamin says, hi, place an order, but I'm off the bed. Have to get up in a few hours for work. Oh, thanks, Benjamin. Yeah, Willie says, only 27. Eric P says, simply unlucky is really entertaining. Also watch for those Yu-Gi-Oh breaks. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's life. Yeah. Hey, Feechin's back. Hey, welcome back, Feechin. Hey, the stream's still up nice. I know, it's a surprise now. Oh, we're still here. Woo! <laughs> Let me go make sure I add those breaks to the queue, and I'll fetch those boxes, and then we'll get on into Casey's box here. And Benjamin A, and Charles P. What is Benjamin's box? What is it? Hey, pro debut. Cool. Haven't opened any more pro debuts since the first one. And break number 29 is a dual break of clearly authentic cool 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 2x tops all 
All right, like I said, let me just go grab those boxes real quick. And when I come back, we'll get into Casey's box of Absolute. So it's two a pro debut and two clearly authentics. And you just, Erica, you still have to watch Black Lagoon. And you still need to watch Black Butler. So what's your point? Got him. Let me make sure that inventory on Pro Debut is correct. So I'm only seeing two on the shelf. And online says six. So let me just change it to two. I can always undo that. Actually, there's one back here. John, feel free to tell me if there's more than two pro debuts, but I only see two, so I'm gonna just make sure it's at two because it said six, and I don't want someone buying six, and then we don't have. Oh. The deal was Orin host high school, uh, Orin high, Orin high host club. I don't remember what the actual title for that is. And Butler, for you to have me come over to watch. <laughs> it sounds like a PSA. Do you know what your best friend watches? For the past week, my four friends and I took the dive, bought three pre-release cores, a Challenger deck, two Yu-Gi-Oh decks. They bought the same, give or take a core. That sounds like fun, Miles. I blame and thank you for getting us back into the analog game. Hey, I mean, as long as y'all are having fun. Like, that's the thing with, um, you know, like, if you're playing especially with friends, like, you don't even have to, they're more down below. Oh, well, well, there's two, there, I changed it. There's two pro debuts up. But, um. You know, you don't even have to play something that's like considered top tier. As long as you're having fun, you're playing with cards that you enjoy. You know, that's the fun. If you, whereas, like, you go to like tournaments with like other people, it's like, you know, but um, yeah. And this Movandalist asks, "Are you still breaking bosses?" I am. I just took a little break here, but I am. I'm still going. I'm just being lazy. Ali, when shipping to my country, does no base or full base mean? Um, it's just because uh, Canada Post is expensive. So, um, as in like all the base cards, Toothless Beast, are you talking more for like sports cards or um, magic? Let me know and I can help you more particular in particular with that. Because for like... Um, Um, well, like, let's say it was that box of Legacy, like, we'd send the hits and all the inserts and none of those, those legends or the not top rookies or the, um, or the regular base cards for the no base, but if you wanted the full base, that would just include those extras, those extra cards. Not gonna be a short night now, says Boss Man. Why? What happened? Did something happen? I feel like my Wix notifications aren't coming through. I don't know what was just ordered. Did something go and I didn't notice? Oh, we have... Hey, Dylan Waitman just subscribed. Thank you, Dylan. We have two pre-release kits for Jared M. Break number 30. I'm still feeling like a lot of these breaks are going to be short, so I'm going to keep leaving it open for the time being, but we are getting close to being shut off for breaks for tonight. Guys, I'm just procrastinating so Archon can play his league. Don't worry, I'm doing this on purpose. <laughs> Sports cards. Yeah, so, um... 
unlike a top series 2 where it'd be super heavy it's actually over a pound to ship the whole thing and to be able to ship to Canada you can't uh, put in in uh, pri um, you can't put it in first class if it's under a pound you have to put it in international priority which is this expensive but you know for like a series 2 like let's say you did it with full base you get all those base cards if you did it with the no base you would get all the cards that I sleeve up you would get I would double check all your base to make sure I didn't miss it like an advanced stat parallel or any more Robert rookies but you would get all your silver foils your short prints uh, numbered cards all your inserts as well and of course your autograph or relic for the box those would all be shipped to you that's what the uh, the no base option would be and then you would just get all the regular big chunk of base cards if you did full base but yeah, already at 30, okay, I see you, Alan. Yeah, we're at 30 breaks. But anyways, anyways, eh. anyways, anyways. Bosses is at 1 a.m., we're only going to break 12. Stop. You know what, John? You can do it if you feel that way. But anyways, let me update this Q number. Get in to... Look, John, it's not considered a long night, John, as in boss man. It's not considered a long night if we're not here till 6. So we're not going to be here till 6. We didn't talk our tops archives. We got some more archives coming up later. Right now we have Absolute, and then we have Chronicles Draft Picks, and then Playoff, and then a Collector Booster, an Absolute Series 2, Booster Box, Pre-Release Kit, Archives, Archives, Clearly Authentic, Archives. So Archives is later on in the night, but we'll have lots of Archives. But all right, so for... KCM, we do have this one box of Absolute here. Going to be a quick rip for sure. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started. Sorry, I'm just doing my job as a host and interacting with you guys. Whatever. <laughs> there we go. Absolute. The two mini boxes right here. Let's go mini box number one. This live says Douglas79 Hockey. Yes, it is live, Douglas. Thank you for joining us. All right, let's get this one weird clear pack here. Right, here are our base cards. And our first hit, we have something Gavin Lux. Have rookie materials, Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. Anything big yet? Uh, we had um, a rip, an Emmett Smith Dare to Tear a rip mini earlier. And for our next hit in this mini box, we have Willie Castro, Tools of the Trade, a dual patch auto or a dual relic auto, 18, uh, 118 of 125. A Noogie's brother is here. Noogie left earlier. Now we are graced by Noogie's brother. Thank you for joining us. Then, third hit in this mini box, we have the baseball, signed baseball for the Rockies, Jonathan Daza, number 132 out of 149. Then we have Absolute Legends insert of Billy Martin. And we have a rookie roundup, Adbert Alzale from the Chicago White so uh, Chicago Cubs, it looks like. 92 out of 99. Look like two 130s. Oops, I'm out of 130s. And a 180. Why does this thing keep falling? All right, the next mini box here for Casey. Let me actually move this out of the way. Into the pile. Willie says cards are dope. They are, I do like the way the absolute looks. Of course, it'd be cool if it was licensed, but that's the way it is. Next pack here. Hmm. 
We have Bryn McKay. Rookie Materials, 71 out of 99. That looks really cool. Just the one piece there. These kind of look like they are, but they're not. They're just little arrows. Just the one piece there. And we have Absolute Ink, Kyle Lewis, 41 out of 99 for the Seattle Mariners. And then Logan Webb from the Giants, signed baseball, 98 out of 149. We have a rookie roundup insert of AJ Puck. And Unsung Heroes, 99 of 99, Kyle Schwarber. It's a really cool looking insert. Let me make sure this gets signed. Why aren't the cards licensed? Erica asks. Uh, Tops has the license to the teams, whereas in the you know the MLB teams, whereas Panini just has the license to the players' associations. So they can use the names, but they can't uh, use the player, um, like the players' teams on the cards because they only have the license to the names. So that's what I mean there by unlicensed. So unfortunately, none of the cards can say New York Yankees. They can only say New York. Or like here, how it says San Francisco. I can't say Giants. They can only say San Francisco. Allie, who manufactured that knife? Um, I don't know. Bossman is subscribed to some like monthly knife club thing that he just gets knives in the mail. And I think this was one of them. So I have no clue what that's all about. These are two 130 points. And see, quick opening here for KCM. You know, hopefully, maybe these quick breaks will balance out our slow breaks earlier. Anyways, let's take a quick recap here of what we got hit-wise. Six hits, four. KCM, signed baseball of Logan Webb, numbered out of 149. Our signed baseball from box number one was also, mini box number one was also out of 149. This one was Jonathan Daza from the Colorado Rockies. We have rookie materials, Brenda McKay, numbered out of 99. And we also had this rookie materials of Gavin Lux, non numbered. We had Tools of the Trade, dual relic autograph, numbered out of 125 of Willie Castro. And then we have Kyle Lewis, Absolute Ink Auto, numbered out of 99. And we did get two foils. We got Rookie Roundup, Al Adbert Alzale, out of 99, and Kyle Schwarber, Unsung Heroes, 99 of 99. These are super shiny. So, some very pretty cards here for Casey M. Casey, if you're watching, I hope you enjoyed this opening. And uh, thank you so much for letting me open up another personal break for you. Next up, we do have a box of Chronicles Draft Picks Football for Billy B. I know Billy was in chat earlier. Hopefully Billy's still here. But, uh, and I want to go back to a Douglas ask, what happened to my finger? Uh, I was opening up a pack of top loaders and somehow uh, took off a chunk with... um. When I was opening up, I got, yeah, I got attacked by a top loader, is the short story. It really, I don't know how it happened, but it did happen. But, um, congrats to KCM on this box here. Next up, like I said, is that draft pick. So let me move this out of the way after I unsnap myself. And we'll be going into some football right up next. All right, Billy is still here. So we do have break number 13. Let me get that adjusted. Cool. All right, break number 13. Let me just grab a sip. Coming to a fall, coming this fall to a theater near you, Attack of the Top Loader. I would go see that movie. If it was anything like Attack of the Clones, I would watch it. But we do have break number 13, Chronicles Draft Picks Football for Billy B. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started on it. Now we have seen a crazy box on the channel of this product yesterday. Well, technically two days ago now. Friday, where we got a printing plate and a Super Fractor patch auto in the same box. 
The one earlier definitely had some beautiful cards, but not sure if it was super crazy or not. But let's check out what we can get here for Billy. Tony S is awake. Sorry, I'm back. Hey, Tony, you showed up just in time. You heard in football and you woke up. Let's see. We have KJ Hamler, CD Lamb, KJ Hill, Justin Herbert certified, Jonathan Taylor elite. We have an Adam Trotman tight end. Auto Crown Royale auto, 26 of 99 from Dayton. That was our first auto. The box, Adam Troutman, numbered at our Trotman, perhaps, out of 99. That's our first hit. We have a Spectre, Rico Dowdle, and select Anthony McFarland Jr. Put ice purple alcohol on the cut to keep it from getting sore and helps the healing. Oh, I'll try that when I get home. Thanks, Douglas. Hopefully, it doesn't, uh, I'm sure it'll sting, but uh, hopefully it does help. Just jumped in, she opening Panini. Yep, I'm opening up some Chronicles draft picks. Football. We have CD Lamb Chronicles. Colin Johnson. Tua Absolute. Sleeve that one up. We have Lynn Bowden Jr. Certified. We have a rated rookie, Cracked Eyes, Benjamin Victor from the Buckeyes. That is numbered 11 out of 15. Very cool. Courtney Davis, Crown Royale, Cole Clement, Phoenix, and Donruss Optic, Joe Reed. We sleeve up this cracked ice because it is so low numbered. Next pack. We have Playoff, Nate Stanley, Mitchell Wilcox, Prestige, that's a new pile, Jerry Judy, Justin Herbert, Elite, LaVisca Chanel Jr. from XR, we have Brandon Ayuk, Crown Royale, CD Lamb Spectra, and Brian Lewerke from Select. Brian Lewerke, Prestige. Oops. Chronicles, Henry Ruggs III. Jacob Eason, Rated Rookie. Cheyenne O'Grady, XR. Benjamin Victor, Limited. And we have Antonio Gibson. This is a Chronicles autograph. So this is our second auto of the box, Antonio Gibson from the Memphis Tigers. We have a Phoenix Joe Burrow base here. And rated rookie Donruss Optic, Albert O. Where's our Donruss Optic file? Here it is. Two packs to go. There's something chunky in here. Ooh. Perhaps it is a Spectra card. We have Playoff, Brian Edwards. Anthony McFarland, Jr. Prestige, Two at Chronicles. Javon Leak, Absolute. We have certified Anthony McFarland Jr. Oh, and we have Lynn Bowden Jr. 47 out of 75. We have a Blue Sparkles Patch Auto. The Kentucky Wildcats, I believe, Lynn Bowden Jr. That looks really cool. I like the way the color matches the blue. We have hit all three autos of the box, but perhaps we can get a bonus hit. We've gotten a bonus hit in each box we've opened so far. Hopefully we can get some cool in this last pack here. 
We did get that Chronicles 2 of card, so let me sleeve that one on up. And then behind the hit, we do have two more cards. We have AJ Dillon Spectra and Cam Akers Select. Last pack here for Bill. Looks like we do have some sort of bonus in here. Sean McKeon, rated rookie. Javon Leak, playoff. Prestige, Joe Burrow. Jerry Judy Phenoms. We have Absolute, Zach Moss. And Jonathan Taylor. Where's the Absolute pile? Ah, here it is. We have a Jonathan Taylor, Rookie Silhouettes, Crown Royale. 187 out of 199. Little jumbo jersey piece. Looks really cool. Let me cut this corner so it slides in nicely. So we did get a bonus hit here of Jonathan Taylor, Rookie Silhouettes, out of 199. Let's leave up this Joe Burrow. And then we do have a Phoenix, LaVisca Chenault Jr. And Harrison Bryant, Donruss Optic, Rated Rookie. Let's do a quick recap of what we got here for Billy. For our sleeved cards, we do have two Tua's and two Joe Burrow's. We have an Absolute and a regular Chronicles Tua. And then for Joe Burrow, we have a Phoenix and a Prestige. We did also get this. I put this in a top loader. We did get a blue cracked ice rated rookie Benjamin Victor Prism, numbered out of 15, 11 of 15. To get one bonus hit, a Jumbo Jersey rookie silhouettes out of 199, Jonathan Taylor. From Select, we did get a Blue Sparkles Prism Rookie Patch Auto of Lynn Bounden Jr. The matching blue colors there. And then we got an auto here, Antonio Gibson Non-Numbered Rookie of Chronicles. And then Crown Royale Numbered Auto, 26 of 99, Adam Troutman from Dayton. And then I'll do it for this box here for Billy. I hope you did enjoy this box. Hopefully you're happy with these hits and I was able to get you some nice cards for your collection. But thank you so much for letting me open these up for you. I'm going to get this cleaned up and then next we are moving on into box, our last box that we had in stock of the 2018 Playoff Football Mega Box for Ricardo B. So let's check that out after I get this cleaned up. Again, thank you to Billy for letting me open this up for you. And I, haven't, I don't feel like I haven't said it in a while, but if you're enjoying the stream, liking what you're seeing, and if you have not yet already, please consider hitting that like button if you're watching on YouTube. Let's me know that I am doing a good job here, and that I should keep up what I'm doing. But anyways, let me unsnap myself, and when I come back, we'll be getting on it. I'll be switching that number, and we'll be getting on into that box of playoff. Aw, thanks Oscar and Josh, appreciate it. And then Bill says, thanks, thanks Bill, for you, let me open it. I'm glad to hear that you liked it. Jukes is asking how much for a box. Uh, if you're talking about the draft picks, we have them at 205. Free shipping. We just have two left, unless someone has ordered some. Let me check our orders. No new orders since I last checked, although I do need to go grab more penny sleeves, so let me go grab that real quick. I am running a bit low. Well, hold on, everybody. I'll be right back.
You have to be a bit more like those annoying YouTubers. Make sure you smash that like button right in the mouth, says Eric. Yeah, I don't want to be like that, though. I feel like that is super annoying. Crispy Bacon says, Allie, you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you so much, Crispy. Yeah, Chronicles, you can get a lot of really cool stuff out of it. It just annoys me that there's just so much different stuff, but that, I mean, that is part of the charm. But next up, we are into break number 14. I already adjusted it. Go me. Playoff football mega box for Ricardo B. And now you do get one autograph and one memorabilia card per average on this box. You can get Lamar Jackson rookies, which is super cool. Unfortunately, last time we opened up one of these, we opened it for Robert J. And we did hit a points card. So hopefully, no points card in here. But we will see. There's only one way to find out. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and see what we got going on in here in this box of playoff. Hopefully we can get, we did last time get a Lamar Jackson rookie, so hopefully we can get another one here, perhaps even a parallel or an auto, that would be nice. Here we go, playoff, eight cards per pack, how many packs per box in this one? Here are eight cards per pack, ten packs per box, so let's get on into it. Douglas says we got 143 viewers on YouTube, that's cool, hey. We have a Thunder and Lightning insert of Chris Hogan and Rob Gronkowski. It's a really cool looking insert. We have a Red Zone, Tariq Cohen, the Bears, and Denzel Ward is our rookie for this one. And then we have the, um, the Expired Kid Reporter cards. I think that was the last one in this pack here. Grab this next pack of sleeves and open it on up. Here we go, next pack. We have a Touchdown Sensations foil insert of DeAndre Hopkins. That's cool looking. And then we have Playoff Heroes, Drew Brees, also foil insert. And our rookie of the box is Kiki Kuti for the Texans. Playoff Heroes, Dan Marino. And we have Hidden Gems, insert Julian Edelman for the Patriots. And Simi Cobbs Jr. for the Redskins is our rookie of this pack. Seen the blaster boxes at Walmart, but those boxes were beat up. Ooh. Yeah, Walmart doesn't always take the best care of their products. We have another Hidden Gems insert. This one is Chris. Hamburger for the Redskins. We have a red Brandon Cooks from the Rams, and Jerome Baker is our rookie here. Stallions, Jamon Moore. That is a ooh, nice green color there. I like that a lot. But it is a relic, jersey relic here of Jamon Moore for the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I didn't want to get a bent Lamar, says Mike. Yeah, that'd be so bad. Like you're opening the box and then and then it's the cards would be damaged. It'd be unfortunate. Douglas asks, when are we going to get more hockey stuff in? Right now, we just have some Series 1 and Series 2 boxes, as well as like a Black Diamond or two. Should be getting in Stature next week. That should be a new release. Captain Sausages is now following. Ooh, I see the little, little zombie, tiny zombie. I feel like I miss most of them. Like I said, I'm definitely going to have to increase the size. Looks like Phoenix Death MC has followed 12 minutes ago, and I missed that one as well. We do have Rookie Wave insert here of Naheem Hines. Touchdown Sensations, Antonio Brown. And a Tyler Conklin for the Vikings rookie. We have Lightning, Thunder and Lightning of Devonta Freeman and Julio Jones. Mohamed Sanu, Red Zone. And a Minka Fitzpatrick rookie.
Uh, it looks like we have another points card, unfortunately. Let me... Unfortunately, tonight has not been our night. When it comes to cards from Panini, we did get another points card. Here is a 250 points card. And I did block off the code on the back with this Josh Norman base. But unfortunately, no auto in this box. We did get another points card. So, of course, uh, name was Ricardo. Ricardo, make sure to reach out to us on your next order. Or just make sure to let us know because we did get a points card. We're going to give you... Um, this is what we do here on the channel with uh, whenever someone opens a point card. You do get $10 off the next purchase. So definitely do let us know whenever you order. But yeah, unfortunately, another points card here in this pack. Or this box. And we had Playoff Heroes insert Eli Manning. Hidden Gems Josh Norman. And a Saquon Barkley rookie. That's not bad. And the expired kid reported. We did get a Saquon Barkley rookie. That was Chronicle, kind of an odd product. Oh, I thought it was cool. I don't know if we got any stellar Chronicle boxes tonight, but definitely some really nice looking cards. We have a Playoff Heroes Ben Roethlisberger insert. And Sony Michelle, Red Zone. And Ronald Jones, the second. Use the points card to order five autos from Panini now. It'll probably be months before I get them. Well, hopefully they come soon for you, Josh. We have a rookie wave insert of Saquon Barkley. We have touchdown sensations, Julio Jones, and Rashad Penny, rookie. Which one do you think would be better, stature or ingrained? I don't know. It has to, we have to wait until and see until we get uh, stature and see what it looks like. I'm excited to see it in person. Last pack here for Ricardo. We have Hidden Gems, Pierre Garçon. We have uh, Air Command, Matthew Stafford. And our last rookie here is Christopher, uh, Christopher Herndon, the fourth. And that'll do it for this box here for. Ricardo, unfortunately, we did not get an auto. We did get a points card, so 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 sorry about that. But otherwise, it was a 250 points. But otherwise, we did get this rookie stallions, Jamon Moore, jersey relic. Then we did get two Saquon Barkley rookies, one insert rookie wave, and one regular rookie card. For our assorted parallels, we did get four red zones, one of which being a rookie, Sony Michelle, and then these three right here. So Sony Michelle, I think, is not bad. For our other assorted rookies, let me pan through those real quick. But I hope I was able to get you some cards that you wanted for your collection and that you enjoyed the video. That is what's most important to me, is that you do enjoy all these openings. So thank you so much, Ricardo, for letting me open it up for you. Might not have been what you expected with that points card, but I hope you were still able to find enjoyment in this opening. But next up, we do have more Magic. We have a Corset 2021 Collector Booster for Harley G. So we're switching back over to Magic up next. Let me get this cleaned up. And then when I come back, we will be opening up that box for Harley. So let me unsnap myself. And I will be getting Ricardo stuff moved on out of the way. So thank you, everyone, for joining us for that football. Next up is Magic the Gathering. So hang tight, everybody. I will be right back. We do have a break number 31. We have another Chronicles box for 
Got one earlier, yeah, for just a G. So next time when I get up, I'll have to remember to grab one of those. I think we're down to just one left now. Hey Ricardo, I'm glad to hear that you did enjoy it. And yeah, like Boss says, if you order again, let us know and we'll give you a $10 credit on it. And that goes for anyone who's gotten a points card like Robert. I don't think Robert has messaged us on it yet. And then someone last week as well did need to get their $10 back from a points card. And then earlier, uh, earlier today as well, uh, that was for Kenny also. All right, weird noises outside. Well, let me change this current break number. We're going up to break number 15. We're halfway there, but I promise the rest of the night should go quicker. We have a lot of clearly authentic and archives to go through, so those box openings will be pretty quick. But right now, we do have break number 15, collector booster box for Harley G. So let's get on into it. We did see a foil Ugin and a Teferi earlier, the borderless Teferi, foil regular mythic Ugin. So let's see if this box can top it by quickly snapping ourselves into the corner and getting started. Oh, I missed another notification earlier. The Game Capital has followed us. Welcome to Game Capital. Thank you for joining us. Swamp Yak says good luck. Thanks Swamp Yak. Hopefully we can see some cool stuff here. Swampy Axes might get one of these. They are pretty cool. They are pretty hit or miss, though. I mean, we haven't seen any ones that are absolutely garbage, but we've seen ones that aren't really great compared to especially what you can get. So it is, it is a lot of luck of the draw here. Especially because if you don't get the Mythics you're looking for, but you get some nice extended arts, could balance out, but still is definitely risky. We have Pack Leader, Baron, and Hood and Blightfang for our first two rares, foils. And hey, we have... Starting it off right with an extended art Grim Tutor. Swamp Jack really wants the blue Ugin. Is that the uh, showcase or the, um, the borderless? Swamp, Sublime Epiphany, and a foil extended art Azusa. So this is what I'm talking about. If you get nice extended art rares. And that'd be cool. Corwin says that's one for my son. We have Shacklegeist. And we have a Showcase Ugin. Very cool. So is this is this your box, Corwin? Are you Harley or or you have another box coming up tonight? Or are you just speaking? Maybe I'm confused. Let me know, Corwin. Primal Might, Extended Art, Embrace, and Incinerator, Foil Rares, Lieutenant, Showcase Rare, Harbinger, Foil, Nods, alright, alrighty. Wicked says these cards are cool looking, that's the thing about Magic, is even if you don't play the game, they definitely do look really cool. Fabled Passage, Extended Arts. Team it Priest Foil and a Foil Mythic. We have Fiery Emancipation. Very, very nice there. That's awesome. We have Containment Priest. Island. Nine Lives. Scavenging Ooze. And a Foil of Brash Taunter Extended Art. Ooh, what's that coming up? We have a Harbinger. Pyreling and a Foil Massacre Worm. Swampy X says, I have nine Commander decks and nowhere to play. Aww. Do you have any friends, perhaps, you can go over to their house? or I know some people in the area over here, that's what they're doing. Which, you know, just make sure everyone's safe. You know, Rata, Senate Arts. Ooh, looks like we have a Teferi. We do, we have Teferi, Master of Time. 
onto the right side of the box. Massacre worms any good? Um, they I think they used to be more expensive. Now they're pretty cheap, but it is definitely still a really cool looking card. Ren and Sari, box topper non foil. We have Uliana Standard Bearer showcase and a foil containment priest. Love MTG, but also love Weiss. And Weiss is cool. I don't play the game, but I do collect some of the sets just because they look so cool. I actually did open a box in No Game No Life earlier on in the stream. Feline Sovereign. Conspicuous Snoop, Foil, Nice, and Baron. Solemn. Now we get some chocolate soon. Ooh, chocolate sounds good. Swamp, Volcanic Salvo, Joriel, and Temple of Mystery, Incinerator Showcase, and Liliana Standard Bear Showcase, Rare Foil, Alright, missed the answer. Why is that box $200? Uh, which box are you asking about, Huge Margin Offer? We have Spore Web Weaver. Hey, we have a Foil Mythic Elder Gargaroth here. Oh, the Bunko box. Um, it's just the, the set. It was just not v much printed. And uh, there's really not much of it out there. And it's just because the short supply and high demand has just driven up the, prof the, the prices. We have Basri's Lieutenant. Oh, the box ran away. No. Two packs left for Harley. Temple of Triumph, Sanctum of All Foil, and Foil Animal Sanctuary Extended Art. Cultivate. There's Angel's Insight. Foil Scavenging Ooze. Yeah, pretty much Swamp Yacht. <laughs> we have a Heroic Intervention. And a Grook Unleashed Foil Mythic. Sublime Epiphany. Chandra Heart of Fire Showcase Mythic. And that'll do it for this box here for Harley. So definitely a really nice box here. Douglas says, since the first package never made it, I'll send you another one. I'll add tracking to make sure it makes it. Oh, thanks, Douglas. Appreciate it. But this actually was definitely a pretty crazy box. Let's take a look at our showcase cards. Let me part them out first. We did end up getting actually three foil rare showcases, Standard Bearer, Lieutenant, and Harbinger. Then we actually got two regular showcase mythics. We had a Chandra Heart of Fire and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. And for our regular showcase rares, we did get one of each. For our foil borderless mythic, we did get a Massacre Worm. And for our two non-foils, we got Grim Tutor and Teferi Master of Time. Foil Priest and an Ooze. And then one of each of the rare borderless cards. Got two regular foil mythics, Elder Gargaroth and Garuk Unleashed. We also got a foil extended art mythic in Fiery Emancipation. That's definitely cool. Did get the Ren and Sari as well. And then also in our rare extended art foils, we definitely had some nice ones as well. We have Conspicuous Snoop and Azusa. So definitely very cool there. So only six foil uh rare extended arts, but one also foil mythic, fairing emancipation, definitely pretty good. And overall, this was definitely an awesome box. So congrats to Harley. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh-oh, we have a line skipper. Ooh, what's up next? I wonder what happened. Yeah, the Wix notifications aren't showing up. So I'm excited for what it is. But okay, so after this, I probably am, depending on what the line skip is, I'll probably be turning off break requests for the night. But thank you so much, Harley, for letting me open it up for you. I hope that it is definitely super cool. You can get a full art rendered series. Yeah, the box topper is a foil version of this card. But in the collector boosters, they put non-foil versions of the box topper. So you can get the box toppers in non without getting the... Or, excuse me, buy a box promo in uh, the collector boosters.
So let me get this all cleaned up and then I'll check out what that line skipper is. And so next up was going to be Jacob's box of absolute baseball, but if we have a line skipper, I'll definitely have to check that out. Let me see what it is. I wonder if it's crazy. I wonder if it's crazy. Is it crazy? What is it? Ooh, it is a box of Spectra basketball. That is cool for Perry B. So next up, going into spot number 16, we have Spectra basketball for Perry B. So let me get this cleaned up and then we'll be getting into some basketball, everybody. This will be cool. So now if you're watching live, the description is going to be off by one, but on the replay, I will get that all fixed. But all right, cool. Uh, Perry, I'm assuming you're watching. Do you have a preference for which Spectra box? There is one here, one here, or this one up here. So let's say one, two, or three. If you're in the, I'm sure which you are, let me know which one you would like. Box number one, two, or three, or if you want me to pick. So I'll be right back. Let me unsnap myself and we'll get into that box of Spectra. All right, all right, it says you pick. Ooh, all right. Let's see. Let's see which one speaks to me. Two, three. Bink says, oh, well, I have to catch mine on the replay. Good luck all and have a good night. Well, thanks, Bink, for hanging out with us for so long. Sorry we weren't able to get to yours quicker. I hope that um, you do enjoy your opening when you do see it. But thank you so much for letting me open up something for you later, Bink. Take care. But, uh, here we go. This is the one I have selected. Hopefully we get something super cool. I have to update Q to say Spectra. The Spectra is going to be the new number 16. As I said, as you're watching live, it's going to be off by one in the description. I mean, you're only going to get to number 18 anyway, so we're almost done with the description ones. But this is exciting. Spectra, make sure I do have, I brought, I restocked on one touches, so hopefully I have enough. Here are the thick sleeves, here are the thin sleeves. Let me get a quick sip. And for, let me make sure I write the name as well, Perry B. All right, so for Perry B, we do have this box right here of Spectra Basketball. So let's get something super cool. I keep holding it wrong. And uh, we'll get on into it. I'm excited to see what's in here. You do get four autographs and four parallels per box on average. So no points cards. Panini, you need to stop. Well, hopefully we get something super awesome. Let's go by snapping ourselves into the corner and getting started on it. This is exciting. go pop it on open and it's just four cards per pack four packs per box like it says four autographs and four parallels per box on average so let's get into it Douglas the same we're gonna get an RPA where's this card shop JG score ass we are in Pinellas Park Florida so we have a Kai Bowman rookie Dirk Nowitzki we have a redemption, 
Okay. Let's see. There's a redemption for a rookie jersey autograph of Darius Baisley. That's cool. That is the person we had the RPA out of for National Treasures last week. So Darius, is it Baisley or Basley? Please let me know. But I'm guessing it's just a base RPA just because it doesn't say a numbering on it. And then we do have this, what type of prism is this? Is a celestial number 86 of 99 of Kawhi Leonard. Celestial prism. So that's cool. Definitely get these both sleeved up. This one in a regular top loader. Swampy Axe says Zion, here we come. That would be super awesome to get Zion in here. Grab 55 point for this. Kawhi Leonard. Alright, sleeve in the redemption. Why not? Huge margin offer. It's a hit. It's a hit. But here we go. Next pack. Ooh, I see something good on the back. Ooh, we got a chunky card here. Here we have Tristan Thompson, base. We have Admiral Schofield, rookie. And we have Stephen Marbury, five of five. And a silver prism, John Morant. We have Icons Auto, Stephen Marbury, and John Morant, silver prism. Very cool. So this is five of five, marble prism. Very, very cool. Is this the guy that's popular in China right now? Or is that somebody else? Well, let me definitely get this John Morant sleeve up. Very, very awesome here. John Morant. Swamp Yak says, ordered a magic box. Hope you could open it tonight. For sure. For sure, Swamp Yak. I'll probably uh, close it off after your break. That is cool. John Morant and the Stefan Marbury. Does he go in a magnetic? One touch for John. I can put the John on one touch too. Get him out of there safely. All right, one touch for Jaw, and one touch for the Mulberry, right? As well, it's numbered out of five. Five of five. All right, cool. Well, let me get the sleeve. All right, Jaw on a one touch. This is one thirty. I'm just a newcomer. You are in my suggestions. I'm enjoying this. Hey, Darkheart, welcome. Hey, Perry's happy. That's what's important. Getting some nice, nice hits here. Marble, Stefan Marbury, Auto, 5 of 5, John ja Morant, Silver Prism, and we're only two packs in. Definitely super awesome here. Let's keep going. Two one touches. Yeah, two one touches. All right, next pack here. We got something chunky again. We have Brandon Ingram, Romeo Langford, and 49 out of 149. We have Goga Badadze, Prism, Patch Auto on card. And then we have a Kevin Porter Jr., Interstellar, 24 out of 49. That's cool. Goga Batadze, not a Zion. It's still an RPA. One thirty. Oh, we have a new follow. Rossi TV has followed us. Welcome. And then Kevin Porter Jr., Interstellar, out of 49. It looks like just a mosaic prism. I don't know why Panini is being so weird about their names. All right, and last pack here for Perry. Oh, there's something cool on the back. 
That is cool. I'm not gonna. Uh, it's kind of hard to hold. Because I said it's kind of hard to hold, you guys might figure out what it is. I think it peaked out a little bit. But it did look cool. We have CJ McCollum. Ty Jerome, rookie. Then we have Nemanja Jalika, numbered out of five as well. One out of five, Marble Prism. Auto, Catalyst Auto. And we have a Terry Rosier die cut. Universal, four of eight. So, wow, lots of numbered cards. <laughs> when you drop 1k per box, you start making up names. But wow, two cards numbered, two autos numbered out of five out of this one box here. This die cut as well. We had a Silver Prism, John Morant. Joe P has followed us. I saw the little zombie as he was running away. These are cool. These are really cool. Let me know if um, any of these other hits do go into one touches. This one again was on card out of five catalysts. Nemanja Jalika, number one of five, Marble Prism. And then there's Terry Rosier from the Hornets. Universal, four of eight. Okay, JG Score is now following us. I like the cute little zombie. So congrats to Perry on this nice box here. One of five, probably. I mean, it's out of five. You'd think it'd be good. Boss Man, do you know anything about this player? Does he go in the magnetic? I'll start getting it out just in case. Noren says, nice pulls. Definitely nice pulls in this box here. Hey, you're welcome, Perry. I'm glad I was able to get you some really nice cards. Thank you for letting me break it for you. Not really one touches for the last two. Oh. Alright. Well, let me take him out then. I mean, he's already in there. He's already in there. Alright, one touch for Nemanja because I, I can't really get him out. But, um, nice looking card though, for sure. You picked the box I was going to pick. Well, good. We both had the same intuition. So that is super awesome. But yeah, nice box here. Congrats to Perry. Thank you so much for letting me open it up for you. I'm glad that we were able to see something really cool. Nice on that John ja Morant Silver Prism. And we got two autos out of five. We have first one here. We had the Manja Balika for the Kings on card, one of five. And then we had Sticker Auto, unfortunately, but Icons, also Marble Prism, Stefan Marbury, number five of five. And then John Morant, Silver Prism, rookie, non numbered, because it is just a silver. And for our other two hits, we did have a rookie jersey autograph of Darius Baisley and Goga Patadze, numbered out of 149. And then for our other prisms, we did have this die cut Terry Rose here, numbered out of eight, four of eight. The Morant is going for almost 1k. Vietlitza. Vietlitza, all right. The Morant is going for 1k. Are you talking about this? Is this what Morant? This, what? Um, all right, well, continuing here, we had Interstellar Prism, 24 out of 49 on Kevin Porter Jr., rookie. And then we had Kawhi Leonard, number 86 of 99, Celestial Prism. 
What John Moran are you guys talking about? Are you guys talking about the silver prison? Yeah, that job. This? That's crazy. You're telling me this is a thousand dollars? Maybe six hundred to nine hundred. That's crazy. And we got this too in the same pack. Wow. Wow. Hey, Perry, we're a team. Perry, we did it. We did it. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Big big congrats to Perry. Thank you so much for letting me open it up. I'm just like in shock. I'm just in shock. Like I figured it would be a lot, but like I didn't I didn't know. Like, oh my goodness. Wow. It's at eight sixty with nine hours to go. Oh my goodness. I know, I mean I, I <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. All right, let me unsnap myself. Definitely gonna make sure this gets to a secure location. And then we are gonna resume our regular scheduled personal breaks. We did it, we did it, Perry, we did it, we did it. All right, let me move this out of the way. All right, very carefully. All right, I have been very careful. All right, crazy, crazy, crazy. We did it. That was super awesome. Super, super, super cool there. Wow, one sold for eight seventy a week ago. The box was nine sixty. Archon. Dean fell asleep and just came back. Dean, why are you napping midday in Hawaii? May I please see that Starbird again? All right, let me go get it. No problem. Here is the Stefan Marbury, once again, Starberry. All right, looking crazy. I'm going to go put this back now. Ooh, careful, board. I'm going to go put this back. And when I come back, and we're going to get into break number 17, Panini Absolute Baseball for Jacob W. So back to baseball after this quick basketball insertion. Do you mind shipping me the actual Spectra box as well? Yeah, good thing you mentioned it before I accidentally stepped on it. Did you did you want a pack too, or just just the box? I can put a pack in there. Because I'm sure we could ship it in some kind of flat rate box with this. I'm going to grab a pack just in case you don't want it. If I'll, I'll come back and see the comment. Alrighty. Thank you. Love that guy growing up. I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, no problem looking crazy. Really, I appreciate you asking. I'd rather you guys ask than not ask and then be like, man, I wish I saw that again. So, anyways, I'm going to go move this box out of the way. I did take a pack for you as well, Perry, just in case you want it. Just the box. All right, all right, pack. Be gone, pack. All right, yeah, here is the box. I'll go put this away. I saw empty boxes of mosaic for $65. What the heck? We recycled it. Oops. The mosaic. I recycle all the boxes here. <laughs> you spend 1k on something, better come with the box. <laughs> but, uh. Why is there something big in here? This is a 130 point? All right, let me get these out of the way. But next up, we do have. Now I'll unsnap myself. Absolute. Oh wait, there was um, there was an order I had to catch up on. Just 
surprised my hair is staying so nice. We have a message on Wix. All right. Um, so it looks like we have two more breaks for tonight, and then I'm probably going to close it off. Yeah, we have a live online break of Corset. 33 MTG Corset. Chris T and then 34. Oh! I just messed up my numbers because we have another box of update. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have another line skip, guys. I have to redo my numberings once again because we have a box of 2018 update once again. Update. Four Talon F. All right, let me grab that box of update. And uh, I am going to be closing off breaks of the night unless anyone else um, does a line skip. Like, of course, I'll always stay late to bust Spectre and NT. But let me go through. All right. All right, Raymond says, love your touch on breaks. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Yep, another line jumper. Gonna call a night, everyone. Night Alley, si Night Sykes, Crispy, Boss, and anyone else. I'm tired, to t too tired to type that. Hey, night. Good night, Mad Max. Thanks for hanging out with us. Archon says, "Make me itch." Yeah, we got, we got. Later on, we do have more collector boosters, but right now we do have another box update. So sorry to uh, Jacob for um, skipping him once again. But he is getting line jumped by Talon F with a box of 2018 update. Now we just have three boxes of update left. Yep, two weeks in a row. Jacob, you're this. You have the sweet spot for um, line jumps. People, I guess, like jumping uh, lines at two a.m. Douglas asks, "What's the Chandra signature spell book?" Uh, it's just a box with nine cards in it. You have eight. Every box comes with the same eight cards, and then you have one random foil of one of those eight cards in it. Yeah, they're all themed around Chandra. There's like a Chandra Torch of Defiance and like a Pyroblast with Chandra on it. Um, Cathartic Reunion, I think. Um, if you Google it, it'll give you the full list. But you have the same, you have the whole, um, everyone has the same cards and then one random foil of one of those eight cards. All right, Q. Let's change Q. Update we have at 465, Randall. And that's with free shipping. 465 free shipping. So let's see what we can get here. Hoonat says, Hopi, it's a magic character. Tapa says they got a foil Chandra Planeswalker in their box. Ooh, that looks cool. But we do have this box of 2018 update tops update series baseball for talent F. So let's see what we can we get here. Can we get a black Acuna, black Soto, black Glaber, black Otani? Can we get a gold of any of those? Can we get foils? Can we get a lot of rookies? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is by tapping ourselves into the corner and getting started. All right, here we go. Bat down, bat down Acuna would be cool as well. Let's see what we get here for Talon. Talon, go ahead and make yourself known in chat. So we can. I want to see you get excited over cool pulls here tonight. 
Bat down is in series two. Oh. There we go. Pack number one. I'm sitting on 41 mosaic blasters and waiting for them to hit $100 each. Uh, probably at some point they will, Austin. We have a gold Junior Guerrera. Check the numbering out on that in a moment. We have Glaber, rookie debut. Although, so the white jersey SSP is in this too. Ooh. Here, this Junior Guerrera gold is number 26 out of 2018. Next pack. Thirty-fifth anniversary, Fernando Romero, for the Twins. Austin Meadows, rookie. Someone linked me the basketball card they pulled earlier, the great pull. Uh, does anyone have a screenshot of that John Morant so Ken can see it? Ren asks, how's everyone doing? Pretty good. Pretty good, opening a lot of cool stuff tonight. We have a All-Star Game Glaber rookie. We have Don't Blink Ahmed Rosario. How much are these boxes, Josh? The update boxes are four sixty-five free shipping. We have a Jordan Hicks. Insert rookie. Oh, Jukes has to go back to work tomorrow. Are you excited or are you disappointed? Ethan H is back. We have a Glaber rookie. We have a Todd Frazier, 35th anniversary. Excited. Ooh, okay then, congrats. Thirty fifth, Matt Kemp. Don't blink, Ricky Henderson. Josh goes back to work on August fifth. They are a school drop, just school bus driver. Stay safe. Kids carry a lot of germs, as I'm sure you are well aware. Oh, Juice gets to go back to work with Noogie. That's cute. Mookie Betts insert. Don't blink, Jose Altuve. We have a gold, Leonis Martin for the Indians. It's number 1716 out of 2018. Dylan Cousins, insert rookie. We have a foil, Scooter Dennett. And storybook endings, Chipper Jones. What was the Morant pulled in, Austin? It was a silver prism out of Spectra basketball. It was pulled in the break directly prior to this one. Chris Bryant, 35th anniversary. We have an Otani rookie. 
Gold, Andrew Kashner. Storybook Endings, Andrew Pettit. Numbered Auto. No, just a base Silver Prism, Austin. It bothers me that some of the cards are upside down. It uh, bothers me so much, too. I wish they were all just in the same direction. We have Satchel Page. Insert. Right, I'm trying to keep an eye out for these short prints because they're not flipped. So I just look at anything that looks a little bit suspicious to me. We have an international affair, Ichiro. We have Guriel Jr., 35th anniversary. Yeah, crazy. That one one silver prism would be worth that much. Tory Hunter, insert. We're gonna get some of the 2020 first off the line Donruss optics. Uh, I think my boss tries to get first off the lines, but usually is not successful. Miles McCullis, 35th anniversary. Foil, right? Yeah, that is a foil. Jacob Nottingham for the Brewers. Storybook endings there, Jeter. Storybook ending Sandy Koufax. International Fair, Carlos Correa, or Correa, excuse me. They make the numbers so small. Yeah, I mean, I can see them if I tilt them at me, but um, I'd rather they just put them backwards. I'm spoiled by Series 2. You have a Mike Trout insert. This is great, thanks for streaming. Thanks for watching, Picaro, appreciate it. Problem with Jow will be relevant or is hot by the time you get the graded card back in six months. That is the question. We have Justin Verlander insert. Raphael Devers, 35th anniversary. Michael Soroka. It's going to be a short night tonight. Um, I thought it was. But uh, we do still have a lot of archives and clearly authentic openings coming up. So those will be quicker. But I, I have cut off break requests for tonight. We have an Otani rookie debut. We have a foil, Kevin Gossman. Juan Soto, rookie debut. Very nice. Any hockey tonight? Nope, no hockey tonight, Douglas, unfortunately. We 
We're still waiting on our hit from the box as well. We have International Affair, Mookie Betts. Steven has Alley Box availability. Um, right now, I'm not uh, where I've closed the night for um, break requests just because it is getting a bit late and we still have quite a lot to go through. But if you did order something tonight, I w it would be put first in line for next week. And um, if you get any line skip boxes, I could get to those as well. So if you buy Spectra, National Treasures, or another box of update, I would do those tonight. But otherwise, all other breaks gotta wait till next week. We have a rookie debut, Austin Meadows. And finally, our first Acuna of the box. Very nice. Don't blink, D. Gordon. Good night, Douglas. Thank you for hanging out with us. We got our first Acuna here. Very nice. Sleeve up this Austin Meadows as well. So we're sleeving up the regular ones. We have a gold all-star game, Glaber Torres. Does this get magnetic? I know it's not the regular rookie. It'd be better if it was the true rookie, not the all-star game one. But still, gold all-star game, Glaber Torres, 20, 219 out of 2018. International Fair, Masahiro Tanaka. Hey, Kevin, welcome back. We opened a box of Spectre and got a John Morant Silver Prism. And I just opened up a Gold Glaber Torres All-Star Game Rookie. Alright, no on the Magnetic, unfortunately. It's still very cool. Definitely going in a top loader. Alright, very cool. Gold Glaber Torres Rookie. Not Magnetic, but definitely top loader. This is really nice, though. That is cool. Randy Johnson, insert. Craft 50 box. Cool, cool, cool. 1.0 says 18 update is amazing. Oh, we have our hits. Oh, there's just one of these things. We have a postseason. Jose Bautista, commemorative postseason logo patch. Non numbered, but that is our hit of the box. Postseason, Jose Bautista. Yeah, unfortunately that was not a very good hit. Reggie Jackson and a, pro a rookie debut, Glaber Torres. Randy Johnson isn't an SP. Uh, the Randy Johnson insert? This is just an insert. Unless I missed a base Randy Johnson card. And I think you might be referring to the insert, Steven. But if you guys suspect anything of being an SP, definitely let me know, because they're not backwards here. So I'm just trying to YOLO it. I mean, we do ship all base, so it would get... Hey, we have a Glaber here. Glaber regular rookie. Very cool. Oh! That's an SP! That ends in 32! We have an SP, Glaber? Is this the Glaber box? Wow, SP Glaber Torres. And the code, it, the last three digits are 032. Hunter Tory, or Tory Hunter. 
And we have a rookie debut, Acuna. SP? Is that, is that one going to magnetic? Is that one magneticable, guys? SSP? SSP? I see SSP. And uh, I'm guessing one of these. Magnetic. Woo! Glaber Torres SSP. Very sweet here. Just so you all can take a look at the corners on this one. Oops, I, I see the B34STP001 has followed us. Hey, thanks for following us. Very nice corners here. Let's see them. Nice. Very, very nice. Very cool, very cool. Glaber Torres, SP, or perhaps even SSP. So this does seem to be the Glaber box. We did get that gold all-star game Glaber. And we still have two packs left. wonder if we'll get anything else. Last Raw sold for $6.50. Okay. So is it an SSP or an SP? Hey, we have a Juan Soto rookie here on the top. SSP. That is crazy. And we have a black and white. Paxton throws a no-no. Those are crazy. Glaber PSA 10 sold for $1,400. Jerry Alvarez says, had to subscribe. First female I see doing breaks and cute as heck. Much respect. Thanks, Jerry. Appreciate it. Welcome to the, welcome to the team. Oh, man. Crazy box here. Crazy boxes back-to-back. -back. John Morant, Silver Prism. Now we have an SSP Glaber Torres rookie. Man. Crazy. Juan Soto rookie. Awesome. Crazy. Here we go. Last pack for Talon. What do we got? We have a Don't Blink Billy Hamilton insert. And that'll do it for this box. So crazy here. SSP means super short print, JG scores. So harder than a short print to find. Short prints are SP. SSP means super short print. It is just super, I don't know. It is harder to find. And then super, super, super short print, SSSP, is even harder to get. Well, let's take a look at everything we got here. This was the Glaber box. Starting off with this SSP Glaber Torres rookie. Pack fresh Glaber Torres rookie. Last auction, PSA 10, 1400. Crazy. Ridiculous. And then we also did get... Where did that Acuna... Where did Soto go? We did get one one Soto. Did we get any other Sotos? And we also got the rookie debut Soto. So one rookie debut, one regular. For Acuna, also one regular and one rookie debut as well. Then we also had a gold all-star game Glaber Torres rookie. Number 219 out of one or 219 out of 2018. And then this was our technical hit of the box, but like this doesn't even you know, postseason Jose Bautista. I know it says it has the RC stamp on it. It's it's not like the true rookie. This is the true rookie, but the rookie card. But yeah, definitely crazy box here. And let's take a look. At everything else we got in here, our other rookies, golds, foils, etc. To get a black and white. Glaber, rookie debut. Austin Meadows, rookie debut. Otani debut. Foil, Gossman. Foil, Nottingham. Regular Otani. Gold, Kashner. Foil, Gennett. Gold, Martin. Regular Glaber. Glaber, All-Star. Regular Meadows. Glaber, debut. And a gold, Junior. Yeah. Do you have any of those left? Uh, we have uh, just three boxes left of update. Just three boxes left. We had a whole case. We've gone through everything except three boxes. Four boxes were bought curbside via the shop, so we didn't get to see those. 
but a black and white number. Um, it doesn't have a number, but usually I know out of Gypsy Queen, black and whites are like out of 50. I don't know what black and whites are out of on regular flagship pops. But yeah, definitely cool hits back to back. And these guys, oh my goodness, I can't wait. I might even post on my Instagram after the stream showing off this Glaber and that Chamarant because this is crazy. But let me get this. I moved out of the way. Congrats to Talon. Talon F? Yeah, Talon F. Or let me open up this box for you. That was definitely a sweet box with that labor. So let me move this out of the way. I'll take two hits when I come back. Finally! Unless someone else line skips. The only only breaks open for the rest of the night are more updates, Spectra, and National Treasures. If no one else skips, we'll be back with, finally, Jacob's box of Absolute Baseball. So let me move this out of the way. I'll take two trips. And when I come back, getting into some Absolute. All right, everyone, I am back. Let me go ahead and grab, oh, wait. Let me make sure I'm updated on All right, now let me actually go grab the rest of the tonight's queue just so we have everything here. I need to grab a Chronicles Draft Picks and a Collector Booster Box, and then we can get back into opening stuff up. Oh, Think Twice just subscribed. Thank you so much, Think Twice, for subscribing. That's cool. I noticed my little zombie for once, yay. All right, so let me go grab those boxes, and I'll be back. And when I do come back this time, we'll be opening up Jacob's Absolute Box. Juke says hi, Yoda, with a little Pikachu emoji. That's cute. Uh-oh, Dean's being challenged by a gym leader. Uh-oh, my elbows are getting red. From having, uh... Before you guys think it's from other reasons, uh, having my elbows on the table. Uh, whenever we get our new our new breaking studio set up, I want to probably put a jumbo play mat on the table so it's not as rough on my elbows, but, um... I also used to work in a, uh, stable isotope lab at USF when I was in college. And those tables were made out of marble, and I had super elbow bruises the whole time I worked there. But for now, for now, they're just slightly red from this table. Andrew says, did I miss my break? No, not yet, Andrew. We got double line skipped into some awesome cards. We're going to get into break number 18, and your new break number is 27. So, Talon, that was fun. Thanks again. Hey, Talon, I'm glad I was able to get you something super cool. That was that SSP. Glaber Torres rookie. Congrats on that one. Thank you for letting me open up that box for you. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. All right. So here we go. Fort Jacob, finally. We have this box of absolute. I have to change the break number. Give me a second. Double line, what'd you miss? Uh, Andrew, we get with a box of Spectra for Perry and got a Silver Prism, John Morant, Stephen Mulberry, auto out of five, and another auto out of five, a Redemption for a Basley RPA and another a Goga Patadze RPA. Um, also a die cut card for a Vate. 
And then we had a box. We just saw a box of 2018 update where we got an SSP Glaber Torres photo variation. So that's cool. That's what you missed, Andrew. I got bean bags for my elbows on my desk. And I'm like, oh, that sounds not bad. Jonathan says, I think you are the most beautiful, unique, and beautiful woman I've laid my eyes on. Whoever owns your heart will gain the ultimate treasure. Oh, thank you. Pinstripes, Chrome Update, and Bowman are flagship Glaber. That's not amazing hippin' on RC. Why do they put the RC on it, then? That makes no sense. But I don't even know what Pinstripes is, though. Chrome Update. But wouldn't Chrome Update and Update be the same thing? I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, you were there for the jaw. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Break number 18 was number 16. 18. Cool. Done. Break number 18. And break requests are closed for the night. Like I said, unless y'all get any line skipping stuff. Like more update. Or NT. It's on sale! It's on sale! NT is on sale. Woo! Sale. $200 off. Woo! And our two specters. Anyways, here we go. Jacob, I know you've been waiting. Here we go, Jacob's box here of Absolute Baseball. Let's quickly tap ourselves into the corner. Just got a text, the three remaining boxes of update are sold, being picked up Tuesday. All right, let me remove those. See, Jacob, we can't get started on your box without anything happening. Let me take them off. Where is Oopdat? Oopdat 2018, here. Update is gone. Save. And they're getting picked up, too, so we won't see them open. Oh, man. Oh, well. All right, new stream record tonight. Oh, really? Is there how many uh, for, like, time or for else? Update is flagship. Oh. We can buy a box and you can break live. Uh, not tonight. Uh, Ren, I've closed off break requests for the night. If you order anything, though, it would just... um be um, broken on next week live or you can buy for recorded breaks but for regular breaks tonight how long have we been live seven hours we just brought uh breached the uh seven hour mark so we've been here for seven hours i've been well i've been here for seven hours yeah i got it john took care of it well Al, you're still live break till sun comes up hey we're still three hours short of a record but ren if you're uh i don't know where you're located but if you feel like staying up for a while, we do have some quick boxes coming up. So I don't, I don't think I'll reopen it, but perhaps at the end we can squeak one in. But like I said, any, the break and requests in general are closed unless you want Spectre or NT because the update is now gone. But anyways, I've already snapped myself for for Jacob. So let's get on into it. Thank you, break your stream record. I know, but I mean, yeah, it's, we're at eighteen of thirty-three or thirty-four, but. A lot of this is archives and clearly authentic. I don't know that we'll break a tapa. But here we go for Jacob. Finally, let's see what we can get. Jay Perkins says I'm super cute. Thank you. Does that mean someone's going to skip the line with last NT? That would be great, Andrew. Okay, good to know. Thanks, love. Hey, you're welcome, Ren. No problem. Yeah, we get started at 7.45 p.m. Eastern. Usually people start ordering for their breaks like on Wednesday. This RC is base 2018 update. But isn't we just opened base 2018 update? I don't know. Well, I'm confused. But um, yeah. So people usually start ordering if you want to get in like super like early in the night. You want to get in first. People will sometimes start ordering on Wednesday. You know, maybe not many. Not many. U usually it's on Thursday, Friday, and and Saturdays when we get the majority of our things. But uh, sometimes people do order on Wednesday. So if it's an image variation of the rookie card, it's not the rookie anymore. 18 breaks, 7 hours, 12 breaks left, 12 hours, uh, 4 hours? I, I don't know. Hey, Dean beat the gym leader that he was challenged, it was challenged by, so that's cool. Congrats, Dean. But here we go, first pack for Andrew. Oh, we have uh, Louis Arias from the Twins, number 83 out of 99. How do you know what's for sale? Um... Ren, you're on YouTube, right? All right, so click on the description, Ren, and there'll be a link for um, our shop, titancardsfl.com. And if you go to the, the shop page on there, 
You can check out everything we have available for personal breaks. We have Jalen Davis here. Rookie materials. Raises edge 808 says it's 8.43 p.m. And we have tools of the trade. Kwang Hyun Kim has a triple. Relic auto. That looks really cool. That is number 62 out of 99. This is the guy we got out of the first off the line box, numbered out of seven. The Shimmer Auto, Kwang Hyun Kim. Looks cool. Then we have a Mauricio Dubon, the uh, baseball auto here, 46 out of 50. It's a blue hollow parallel, I'm thinking. Looks cool, it matches. That looks cool. Hey, you're welcome, Ren. Hopefully that helps. Then we have Legends, Yogi Berra insert, and Introductions insert, Mike Soroka. Let me grab my thick sleeves. Here they are. We'll make you coffee, Alan. <laughs> Thanks, Tapa. Get in there. Kim is fire. It does look super cool. Juke says thick. It is. It is, it is a chonker card right there. 180 point. So we have our first three hits down. Let's get into our next three hits in mini box number two. Oops, sorry, I just dropped the box in the microphone. I hope that didn't hurt you guys. Rookie variation, short print, but not a rookie. Weird, but okay. We have our base cards. We have Team Tandem Materials of Freddie Freeman and Acuna Jr. That is cool. That's number 90 out of 99. Team Tandon Materials. Sheldon Noisy. Absolute Patch Auto. 31 out of 49. That's a really cool looking patch there. Jersey Signatures. That is a rookie. Razor Zed says, Allie, I missed you on YouTube Live last week. Yeah, we were having problems with YouTube last week. We had to move over to Twitch. If you watched the beginning of the, um, the upload of the stream, there's an explanation for it. Oh, 1.0. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, sorry. But um, I explained what happened, but it was craziness. So that's why we're streaming to both YouTube and Twitch right now, just in case anything happened again. But um, yeah, and our last hit of the here is Shin Yamaguchi for the Blue Jays, numbered out of 125. Absolute Legends, Ron Santo, and Introductions, Walker Bueller. My nephew pulled another Boba Fett. It's funny when he calls it out. He says it's for you when he calls it out. It's 13. Aww. Crispy Bacon, tell your nephew that I say hi. And I appreciate his viewership. Noise. Alright, that looks like... Looks like they're all 130s. Don't know why I had a problem with opening. Oh, we're out of 130 points. No! All right, Jake, I'm going to have to dash and sleeve up all your other cards afterwards. But let's do a quick recap here of all of our hits. Oh, I didn't sleeve this one up. We did get one base foil. We got Luis Arias. That's a thick sleeve. Got a baseball patch. Uh, what is it technically? I don't know if it's a real baseball, but it's like it's the skin of a baseball and they have them sign it. I don't know if it's actually part of a real baseball or not. Wicked says, thank you, Al. Hey, Wicked. I'm glad that I was able to get you some nice stuff. We did get we Arias, number 99 base foil. We had the Team Tandem Materials, Acuna and Freeman. We had the DuPont Hollow Foil Auto out of 50 on the baseball. Rookie Materials, Jalen Davis. And the Kwang Hyun Kim Tools of the Trade triple, auto, uh, triple Relic Auto out of 99. We also had the Noisy Jersey Signatures Patch Auto out of 49. 
and the Shun Yamaguchi, also baseball, out of 125. And that'll do it for these hits here. Thank you so much, Jacob, for letting me open them up for you. I'm glad that I was able to get you some nice cards, and I'm thankful that you let me break them for you. But like I said, I do have to get more 130 points, so they're not going to stay naked. Don't worry, I just have to get them. We have a dollar super chat from Jay Perkins. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's cool. And yeah, I, I've gotten pretty good at being able to tell what's what size, but thank you so much for that, Jay. I think the notification should pop up if it works properly, like right over here. Where's the zombie? Unless I missed the zombie already. Then I'm going to unsnap myself. I'm going to run and grab more top loaders. And next up, we do have a box of Series 2 baseball for Chris C. So Chris, I don't know if you're still hanging around. If you are, make sure to drop a note in chat. Hey, there's the zombie. Zomb, zomb. There we I got it. I got it on the last try, but I got it. But thank you so much, Jay, for that super chat. And let me get these all sleeved up for Jacob. So let me go get that, and I'll be back with a box of Series 2 2020 for Chris C. Keep it up. Keep up with your good job, Allie. You should come to the 808 state one day when the quarantine clears. You know, I'd love to go to Hawaii. Dean's got me all hyped up on uh, macadamia nuts now. So, um, which I still, I do have the regular ones. Ooh, maybe I should snack on those. Well, I don't want to eat with my hands. I know they'll probably get a little dirty. I'm getting hungry. We're getting closer to McDonald's opening up for breakfast. Yay! But yeah, I'd love to. I, I don't know. I guess ever since quarantine, I've gotten, um, I think it's more so that I've been working so much. Because I've been working past, I think, four weeks now, uh, 53 hours a week. So I'm, like, craving a vacation. So I think it's a mix of, like, knowing I can't go anywhere and, like, knowing that I'm busy. That I'm, like, I want to just not do any of that. I want to go on vacation. So I've been looking at, like, a lot of nature stuff, too. I want to, I don't know. I'm excited for, you know, if I ever get a break. You know, we'll see. <laughs> Jeffrey says, you still working out? Yep, we passed the seven-hour mark not too long ago. But it's awesome. I got to open up an SSP or S, yeah, SSP uh, Glaber from 2018 updates, and also a Silver Prism John Morant from Spectra. Ooh, Juke's making some spitch, uh, chips, <laughs> making, I, I mixed the words up. So you can tell I'm getting a little tired when I start, like, the tongue-tying stuff. Making some chips and cheese sauce. That sounds good. Me, I like making, like, fake nachos by putting, um, like, scoops, like the scoop chips, and then just slices of Velveeta and thrown in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Like, it tastes good to me. <laughs> Let me grab this box for Chris. I didn't notice, uh, well, I haven't seen, well, I see from Jay's super chat. There hasn't been that much text going on. So I'm guessing Chris has fallen asleep. So Let me grab his box anyways. Whenever I open up boxes for Chris when he's not here, they always do better. So hopefully we can get something cool. Razor's Edge 808 says, Are those natural curls too in your hair? I love them. They are. My hair... If you guys have noticed, my hair's been getting curlier on the channel. It's because I've been trying out this new method of um, getting my hair to uh, look better. It's called, like, the curly girl method. Because I've always... Like, when my hair's wet, it's, like, super tight spirals. And then as it dries, it just turns into, like, a frizzy mess. But, um... You know, lots, this is like lots of, I've, I always used a lot of conditioner, but apparently for a hair like mine, you got to use at least, at least a golf ball sized quantity of conditioner every single time you take a shower. You don't want to shampoo as much. And when you use shampoo, it has to be a certain type of shampoo, but like in lots of hair products and whatnot, sometimes it sticks better than others. I don't know why, but I did actually, you know, get the full wash tonight, lots of conditioner and also lots of curl products. So it's actually stayed really well for the past seven hours. It stayed better than my makeup. Which, with this light, it gets hot and I get kind of sweaty. So that's why I'm a little shiny. 
But um, we're all, my hair has been pretty good tonight. If you like nature, I live in Oregon if you want to visit. I actually uh, haven't looked into what's in Oregon. I've been looking at like different um, national park stuff, but I'm not remembering. You, I'm, I'm sure you have a national park there. Which one is it, Jeffrey? I'm curious. Mark says, I found out that Walmart sells restaurant-style queso. It's so good. Mm. Summer sausage with crackers and melted shredded cheese. Epic. Chris is deeming of, dreaming of great card pulls. Yeah, Chris Chris is probably sleep, is thinking about me pulling them. He wanted a foil. He wanted a gold. I know he said a gold foil. Uh, Robert, but those are out of jumbos. So let's see if we can get him a gold and a foil, Robert, in this box here. Josh says, gotta go. Have a great night. Enjoy the breaks. Hey, Josh, thanks for hanging out with us. I'm glad to hear that you did enjoy them. But did I switch? I did not. No, I have to switch number. We're going to number 19, which, if you're watching live, was formerly number 617 for Chris in the description. So we're almost done with having to match up with the YouTube description anyways. So we're good. Foil Alley. Yeah, I am. I, my, my, I'm foil. <laughs> but so we're going in the number 19 for Chris. Tops 2020 Series 2 base. Hey, Chris is here. Chris, you got to go back to sleep, though. The, the pulls are better when you're not here. But no, I'm glad that you're here for it. Chris, you did miss some crazy stuff, though, while you were gone. You missed a Silver Prism John Morant out of Spectra and an SSP Glaber from Update. Hawaii has a lot of outdoor things to do. Camping, surfing, hiking, pretty much anything. Chris had a nightmare. <laughs> Corwin says, gotta sleep now. Nice box pull for me tonight. I'll figure out some nice Michigan chocolate for the two great boxes you got me. Hey, thanks, Corwin. And uh, take care. Sleep well. Confirm sick. Did I miss my break? No, your break is coming up. You were break number 19 before. You're now break number 21. We had two line skips. So don't worry if you see 19. Don't panic. You're going to be in t coming up in two breaks. So we have this Series 2 box, and then we have a booster box of Magic and a playlist kit, and then we'll be getting into your box of Archives Retired Player Edition for you. So very close, very close. So you want maybe not uh, disappear for a little bit. You want to hang out. No joke, I woke up from a crazy nightmare-like dream. Uh-oh, Chris. Hopefully we can soothe your nightmares and uh, get into this box here with some nice cards. So let's quickly step ourselves into the corner. Crater Lake in Mount Hood or National Parks in Oregon. Ooh. What the heck is happening? 135 people are in 2020 Series 2. Hey, people just like watching the stream, even at 3 a.m. This is uh, not abnormal. <laughs> but um, here we go. Let's get on into it for Chris. Can we get a Robert Astate? Can we get another SSSP? What's a line skip? Mark, uh, that's when um, we have some... No, I, I said line, but my words are kind of running together, so you probably heard blind. But um, we have certain boxes that people buy, like the really, really expensive that people, if they order it for live break, instead of waiting to the end, that um, they get to jump to whatever the next open current break is. So we had the update boxes, because those were 465 bucks. Those were line skippable. The Spectra at 969, uh, $959 is also skip, and National Treasures at tonight's sale, sale 4200 is also skippable, because, you know, I know you guys order your breaks and you wait, but if uh, you order a $4,000 box, you should be able to see it as soon as you buy it. So that's why not not much is line skippable, just the super, super expensive stuff. Razor's Edge says, I like the way you converse with the chat. Thank you. I try. I try my best. I try to converse with the chat. Nicholas is calling a trout auto. That would be cool. But here we go. Let's check out this chrome silver pack here. Let's see some color, at least, if not an auto. These have been very poor on colors. And we have not seen any autos out of these at all so far on the channel. And we've opened a lot of series too, but there's nothing here, unfortunately. Here we go, pack number one. Chris says, I saw the Spectre box because I thought I missed mine. Nice job. Congrats to the guy who hit it. Yeah, Chris, a little bit. Oh, it was very close to yours. But, um, I could see you getting confused. You see the number and you're like, what? I missed my break. It's like, no, it was just the skips. You have a foil, Mark Melancon. And a gold, Howie Kendrick. Razor's Edge says, love you, Allie. Oh, thank you, Razor's Edge. Top of the base, we're just looking for Roberts. And it is very nice. The um, SPs are backwards. So we know we know what it is. Jonathan Shoop here, gold. Oh, I didn't sleeve these up. I gotta sleeve these up. The silver packs have got so watered down. I feel like the Series 1 silver packs were not as, like, this poor in terms of color. I don't know if I'm just misremembering it. I'm, like, thinking of, like, the good old days that weren't actually good. But I just feel like Series 1 had more more color in it. 
But um, actually, fun fact, I think next week we're acquiring, for next week for live breaks, we're acquiring a case of 2020 Series 1 baseball. So we'll have those available if you want to go Lux hunting or Alvarez hunting or Chet hunting. Raises it to such a positive attitude. I try. I mean, if I'm not positive about everything, and I mean, I know not every box is going to be great, but I want to hope that somebody at least gets something they enjoy. You know, I can't be like, oh, everything's great because you guys are going to know I'm lying. But I can, you know, if I like something, I think it's cool. I'm going to be excited about it. But you got to keep a good attitude. Even if you don't get something great, like this Dan Vogelbach relic probably isn't great for Chris. This is probably not what Chris wanted as a hit. But, um, you know, you'd be like, you know, it's, it's cool. Crispy Bacon says, here for excitement of opening packs. That's why we love her. Uh, we had a subscribe by SAJ for cards. I saw the, the uh, saw a little zombie pop up. Open a series one, let's see. Yeah, it'll be, I think it'll be next week they'll be available. Sorry, I missed it. The SPs are backwards in the pack. Yeah, for um, tops for series two, started flipping around the, uh, the SPs. So that's what all the backwards cards are. That's how I know it's an SP or an SSP. But, um, oh, Steven Adams with a super chat with a computer that says work on it. That's cool. It actually, in the, uh, the Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS dual chat, restream IO dual chat thingy that I have, I, I have the YouTube chat behind it just to keep an eye on YouTube and a little bit of the super chats because I got confused with the super sticker earlier. This is actually super sticker. It, in the, it doesn't show the sticker in the, um, the thing I look at it, it literally just says a laptop computer with work written on the screen. But, um, I see it. That is a cool little sticker down there. Thank you. And are you sober? Just wired on a Dietox Pepper coffee. Yeah, I am sober. I don't drink. Um, I actually haven't had any coffee today. Usually I get Starbucks on the way in, but I actually got a hot chocolate from Starbucks as well today. So two hot chocolates, two mini cans of Diet Dr. Pepper, and pure forcing myself to stay up super late on Fridays so I can sleep in a lot on Saturdays and stay up late Saturday night. That's the trick. You just force yourself to stay up, but you know what? I woke up every week that I stay up later on a Friday night. I'm like, I gotta stay up super late so I can sleep in on Saturday. Last week I stayed up till like 2 a.m. I woke up at like 7 and then, of course, I forced myself to go back to sleep. But it's like, why am I awake? This week, I went to sleep at, like, you know, I passed out around 1. And then I woke up at 5 a.m. Why? Don't know. But I'm like, it's, like, not working. But I, I end up being able to go back to sleep. And it's okay. But still, it's, you know, it's like, come on. My body knows what I'm trying to do. And it's like, you can't do that. Girl, you can't cheat. Mm -mm. I'm like, come on. I just want to sleep. We have Aaron Judge home run challenge. I mean, but if I don't have the energy to make it feel like it's not 3 a.m., everyone's going to get bored. That too. We have a decade's best, 1980s Dwight Gooden. We have a, a Steven Adams with a four ninety nine super chat says I'll start the tip the, the it, that's how you can tell I'm getting tired I'll start the tip jar thank you so much for that donation really do appreciate it Ren asks what's the time you at we are it just turned three a.m. <laughs> or sniffing M and M's now that only happened once I don't have any more M and M's here at the shop although I guess I should bring back the meme Atlanta Braves decades best but yeah tonight it's just been a protein pack the ham and cheese one. Two, uh, a hot chocolate earlier today, earlier yesterday, the hot chocolate Swiss Miss Keurig, and two Diet Dr. Pepper mini cans. But yeah, Boss Man lets me keep all the super chats for myself, so it is effectively like a tip jar, which is cool. We have George Foster, Blue Parallel, Decades Best. And then I was able also to set up a thing on Twitch for people who are watching on Twitch. I don't even know how many people are watching on Twitch, probably not many. But um, there's a link there for donations as well, if anyone cares. Hey, we have a Robert rookie here for Chris. Ryan Sandberg, 35th anniversary. Raises Edge Sedge, I'd love to take you on a date if you visit the 808. Hey, thanks for the offer, Raises Edge. Makes me feel good. Sleeve up the Roberts. What does a zombie mean? Um, I'm using, this is my first time using it. That's why I was stressed out about tonight's stream, because we're using a lot of new things. The restream 
for both Twitch and YouTube is new. The computer itself is new. But I'm also trying out a new software called Streamlabs OBS. And it has this functionality where it, I can put little alerts on the screen. I have it set up to go in this area right here. I need to make it bigger. But um, that's just the default emoji for whenever someone does something that triggers an alert. Whether that be super chat, subscription, following on Twitch. Um, any of the paid features on Twitch as well. Like uh, if we ever get affiliated. Which unfortunately if you get affiliated with Twitch you can't. Re stream anywhere else like I could re-upload the, the lives on YouTube but I would only be able to stream on Twitch so I don't know if I'd even be able to do that but like Twitch subscriptions or cheers or bits like those would also get notifications up there but right now it's just I had a, I kept it to the zombie because I thought the little zombie was cute uh, you're an awesome girl I'm in Texas gonna take a shot jump back in the pool and get to bed hey thanks for hanging out with us Steven really do appreciate it but um Windy City says hey Allie Hey, Windy City, welcome back. Saw you earlier in chat. Raise says, man, I meant not a date, but I would show you around the hotspots. That'd be cool. Anyways, let's continue here. Oh, yeah, that's what the little zombie is. Yeah, so I think the little zombie's cute. It is definitely way too small. I'm going to have to make it bigger for next week. And I would have done it on stream if it was easy, but I've noticed on uh, Streamlabs, instead of on, like, regular OBS, where if you change the way one thing looks, one of the little sources on one scene... It changes them on all scenes, but I have to change them individually. So it's a lot of me stretching and then making sure everything's in the same location. So I'll, I'll definitely get that fixed up for next week. No more Mazara, Silver Four. And a gold, Rowan Wick. Thirty-fifth anniversary, Trevor Story. Raises this is Allie's cute. Thank you. We have a twenty thirty insert, Christian Yelich. Decades best, Joe Morgan. Love your squirtle band -aid. Hey, thanks, Ren. Yeah, I had a Bulbasaur one yesterday. If I have a Charmander one, maybe I can wear the Charmander one tomorrow to make Mad Max feel better. I have a Mookie Betts 2030 insert. We have Lorenzo Kane, 35th anniversary. Yeah, I know, Sykes. That's the that's the point to complete the trilogy, the trifecta. We have Warriors of the Diamond, Justin Verlander. Still breaking, you need to quit ordering all these tops baseball boxes. It it it'd be like that sometimes, Michael. No, the only thing that I would say I don't like opening are jumbo boxes. Just because they take forever. But I don't mind, like, regular hobby boxes. You know, it would go much quicker if I would talk and open at the same time. But, you know, sometimes it's hard. If you come to Oahu Alley, you gotta check out the Makapu Tide Pools. Ooh, that sounds cool. Alright, nothing fancy here, just an insertless pack. Juke says, love the interaction. I know, that like that's part of the charm of the channel, but I feel like sometimes I, I get distracted a little bit too much. But I trust you guys to help me rein it in, if I'm ever being too much. This is a regular short print here of Steven Strasburg for the Washington Nationals. Now the jumbo packs are ridiculous. They are, they are. Especially because I have to go through them still to look for Roberts. I can't just like whoosh, right to the end. Today at Sam saw they're selling Pokeballs. That's interesting. It's probably like the, the Pokeball tins with cards in them, if I had to guess. We have an Anthony Desclafani gold. 
Jim Rice, 35th. Zombies have to be bigger, says Crispy. Yeah, I just can't see them. They're too small. Tops now, Juan Soto. And a backwards Warrior of the Diamond. Insert. Okay, interesting. When I see other breakers do case breaks of them, I just leave for an hour. Michael, it took me two hours to open up four jumbo boxes last week. Yeah, jumbo boxes take forever. I have a Nolan Arenado, 2030. I have a Cole Tucker, silver foil. Juan Soto, 2030. Two packs to go here for Chris. Hey, we have another Robert rookie. So both of Chris's boxes today have had two in them. We have a Cody Bellinger significant stat sensor. That makes up for Chris's box that had zero last time. Last pack. Can we get anything nice in here? We have a Don Mattingly insert. And that will do it for this box right here. So unfortunately, not really any numbered stuff out of the, other than the gold here for Chris. Unless I missed something. Of course, we do ship all base. So if there's like a lost advanced stat parallel, um, you will get it, Chris, of course. You all know this by now. Well, Chris knows it. I'm not sure all of you out there in the audience know it. So that's why I do mention it. Well, let's do a recap here for Chris on this box. We did get, like I said, the two Roberts. And then we also had, for our head of the box, we had Dan Vogelbach, Mariner's Jersey Relic here. And for our assorted parallels, foils, golds, etc. Foil Tucker, Gold, the Schlafani, Strasburg SP, Mazzara, Foil, Wick, Gold, Blue Parallel, Foster, Melancon, Foil, Kendrick Gold, and Shoop Gold here. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for letting me open it up for you. I hope I was able to add some new cards to your collection that you do like. And that'll do it for Series 2 for the night. That was our last box of Series 2 tonight. Next up, we do have more Magic Gathering. We have a box of Corset 2021 and a pre-release kit for, for Aaron O. And then afterwards, we're going to start on our Archives and Clearly Authentic openings. Jumbo Zombies You Need, Yes, Baby Yoda. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back with those Magic Gathering openings for Aaron. So let me unsnap myself, and I'll be right back with that. I'll take two trips. Yeah, unfortunately, Chris, that box really wasn't the best. But like I said, I hope I was able to get you some stuff that you at least enjoy having in your collection. But next up, we have, like I said, the booster box and pre-release kit for Aaron O. This is now break number 20. This is, if you're watching on YouTube, the end of the scheduled breaks in the description. It went up to number 18 down there, but this has been moved to number 20. So, now, for everyone who's watching on the replay, it will be 100% accurate. Here we go, 20... No, not 202, 20. Cool, 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 cool. Razor's Ed says, I love your late night breaks, Allie. Yeah, I know. It's um, We get a lot of people that watch actually from Hawaii and several from Australia and New Zealand as well, just because it is not as late for them. Yeah, Chris, you do have four Roberts though now, so that's pretty good. <laughs> we got some water actually before we get started. Black Hat says, Allie, tap the zombie for two additional mana. What is it, like a... 
Lanamar. Double Lanamar zombie. <laughs> well, here we go. Break number 20. I'm going to start off with the pre-release kit since it should be pretty quick. And let me put the Teferi up here so he can judge me from afar. And let's get on into it for Aaron by snapping. Uh, that was kind of a weak snap. Snapping ourselves into the corner and getting on into it. So pre-release kit just have... No, Dio's looking pretty stable, Crispy. But a pre-release kit's going to have your promo card and six packs in it. So let's take a look. We do have the white die here. With still M21 set logo. Nothing weird still. Archon says it's nine in the morning here. Archon, where are you from? And then for our stamp promo, we do have a Temple of Mystery. Bibs201 is now following. Thank you for the follow. Let me grab these packs and let's get started. We have Furious Rise, Uncommon Foil, Spark Hunter Master Corp. Seen a Ray Auto pull tonight out of the Rise of Skywalker. Ooh, cool. And Joe asked, Do you guys, you and boss ever go to national? Uh, no, I think my boss might have been before, but um, I have not. We have Spellgorger Weird, Common Foil, Terry's Ageless Insight. Oh, Archon's from the Netherlands. Cool. Bastard's Acolyte, Showcase. And it's 920 in Hawaii. Wow, Ali's still going strong. Yep. Always go until the break of dawn here at Titan Cards and Allie stays up forever on Saturdays. Went to Magic Worlds this year. It was amazing. I should have went. They had a Magic Fest in Tampa. But I didn't get to go. I should have I should have made time to go, but I was working. So I didn't go. We have another foil. Okay, we have Sabretooth Mauler and an Azusa. Very cool. Rook's Uprising, Foil Showcase, and Heroic Intervention. Yeah, for me it's showing 3.14 a.m. Perhaps Razor's Edge, your clock might be a little bit fast. Last pack of this pre-release kit. Yep, clock is five minutes fast. Alright, that makes sense. And Primal Might. So lots of foils in this kit. Some nice green cards as well. We did get a Heroic Intervention and an Azusa. Our promo was Temple of Mystery. For showcase cards, we did get one foil, one non-foil. We had an Uprising and an Acolyte. And that goes into these other three foils. So we had four foils in this pre-release kit. Furious Rise, Spell Gorger Weird, and Sabretooth Mauler. Hips and Ships says Dig the Late Night Openings. Thanks, Hips and Ships. Pull appear into the Abyss says Pain Guy 33. That would be cool. I was trying to watch a video at day nine, and since we were talking about day nine earlier, it was like three hours long, and I fell asleep like maybe twenty minutes into it. But our six rares are here. We did get an Azusa and a Heroic Invention intervention, so not bad there. And then, like I said, our promo was Temple of Mystery, and still no weird rivals at Ixalan dies in sight. So that'll do it for Aaron's kit here. Unfortunately, no stamped Ugin for you, Aaron. But we still have this booster box to go. So let's see. I know Aaron's craving an Ugin. If we can get one for him tonight. Let me switch spots. And we'll get started on this booster box. OMG, you're still giving her alley. You the boss. Hey, I mean, I do stay up late. Central Valley Baseball Card Collector says, Well, folks, it's midnight here in Cali. Time for bed. Good luck and good job, Alley. Thanks, uh, Central Valley. Take care, you guys. Ali, that Kim is a $150 card. Thank you again. Wow, congrats, Jacob. That's awesome. Here we go. Pack number one. Ugin, Ugin, Ugin. Day nine was a host at Worlds and I was in the front row. That is super cool. Wow. Unleash Fury, Uncommon Foil. And Temple of Triumph is our first rare. 
Wrong piles. What am I doing with my piles? My piles are wrong. Pack number one. I've already ruined everything. All right. We're good. I fixed it. Crisis averted. We have Garut's Harbinger, rare showcase. Chandra's Magma, showcase. Before you were breaking a Titan, would you stay up this late normally? No. No, I'm one of those people that, like, it's dark outside, time for me to go home. And I would usually be in bed. I, I'd usually be in bed around 11. And then I would probably just lay around and look at my phone. Hey, we have an Elder Gargaroth foil mythic. Not bad at all. Definitely a good mythic to get in foil. And a Conspicuous Snoop in the same pack. That would have been a value pack if someone just did one pack yellow at the card shop. Allie, you are mondo cool more than super cool. Ooh, I've gotten up to uh, super cool, more than super cool status. Thank you. Never like to be late. Allie, have you ever gone to the Nationals? No, I have not been. I've never been to like the Nationals as in like a card show or like a Nationals for a card thingy. We have a pack leader. Revitalized Foil, Speaker of the Heavens. Have you ever heard of the Cold Decept Saga? I have not, Camp Hustle. What's that about? Sure, Strike. And Mangara the Diplomat is our second mythic. ASMR air conditioning noises. I don't know if you guys heard it turn on or not. I have all these Rise of Skywalker base sets, maybe 10. Do people buy these at all? Um, we were selling a lot of Series 1 base sets. We haven't sold that many Series 2 base sets. We could just be needing to adjust the price. But um, I'm sure if you put them up... Uh, Joe, if you put them up in a Star Wars group, people will buy them and pay for shipping. So I was in Worlds for a game called Dreamblade. It was fun. Ooh. It's an Xbox 360 game, Imagine Magic Gathering and Monopoly. Oh, that sounds actually pretty interesting. Primal Might. Allie, is hockey your favorite sport? Yep, hockey is my favorite sport. Good night, everyone. Good night, Allie. Hey, good night, Ren. Thanks for hanging out with us for so long. It was nice getting to know you a bit better. Hopefully we'll see you next week. Here we got Peer into the Abyss. Oops. Me too. I've never gone to the National. One day I will check it out. It'd be cool if like somehow the channel gets big enough that like we get recognized by someone at the National and they invite us to come. Like that'd be crazy. Holy crap! We're still cracking packs. Lol. Yep. Uh, cloudy skies. Uh, cloudy skies now. Still going strong. Spark Hunter Master Court. I'm used to going anywhere between 8 and 10 hours at this point. Are you glad hockey is around the corner? I'm uh, pretty excited. I haven't been able to watch hockey games in a while, like even before everything going on, just because of time. But, um, you know, I, hopefully I'll have time to catch some games. Are you a card collector or do you own a store? Uh, I collect. My boss owns the store. So it's a pretty good gig for me. I get to open stuff. Sanctum of all. Holy crap, still cracking packs. Lol. Yeah, we're still going. We're still going. Got to see some really cool cards tonight. Have we gotten any first editions? Um, you mean first editions as in like Pokemon, perhaps? Cheesy 69? Or you mean first editions as in like first off the line Panini products? Funny, all these sports in Europe, it's all soccer. Yeah, we've started carrying soccer products as well. We have Terra of the Peaks. But yeah, I know, they're super in the... I mean, soccer is the sport of Europe. I know.
We have a showcase foil mountain. That's nice. And storm wing entity. Who's your most favorite hockey player? My favorite hockey player is Ben Bishop. Hope we had a showcase bass through solidarity. Yeah, that'd be totally cool if you could break at the national next nationals. Yeah, I mean, I don't know that I'd break, but just to, like, I don't know. I don't know what they would, but, like, I don't know. That'd be cool. It's like, you know, sometimes you ever just have, like, dreams of, like, what if this really crazy thing would happen that would never happen? What are you going to do with these cards? Camp Hustle, this is a personal break for Aaron. So what Aaron had me do is he ordered this collect uh, this regular booster box and this pre-release kit, and he's having me open them up for him, and then we send all the cards. And that's what we do here on live breaks. We uh, do all just personal breaks at the moment, but we might be doing group breaks in the future where that's like a bunch of people kind of get in on a case or a box or whatever and split up the cards in different ways. But when we do open cards for the shop, to sell for the shop, or like for me personally, uh, that's mainly on our YouTube channel, which I see here on Twitch. If you look in the little like social link box on Twitch, it does have uh, just the YouTube channel that we have, Titan Cards, and my personal Instagram. Hey, Bishop went to UMO. Yeah, I love it. Good choice. Yeah, Ben Bishop is awesome. We have Fierce Empath, Foil, and Temple of Malady. Pulled a 16 by 20 auto of Sergei Gonchar. Is he any good? Uh, the name doesn't Ring a bell to me, Joe, unfortunately. Forest Showcase and Scavenging News. What's your best pull or PC alley? I have some actually really cool cards in my personal collection. I haven't pulled anything too great for myself. But um, I do actually have a couple videos up on my Star Wars collection on the channel if you want to check those out. Because that's what I do collect. I have some really awesome sketches of Padme. Those are probably the best cards in my collection. We have a Liliana Steward Showcase. Kind of dig the Band-Aid. Yeah, we got some repping Squirtle today. Yesterday I had Bulbasaur. Today I got Squirtle. We have Massacre Worm is our next Mythic. So we're technically four Mythics in. Including that foil Elder Gargaroth. None of these are Ugin, which is what Aaron was searching for. So hopefully we can get one tonight. Bastard's Acolyte. Grasp of Darkness. Pursued Whale. Titanic Growth and Brash Taunter. Kind of wish Bishop was still in Tampa so he doesn't have to play my Hawks about five times a year. Be a hard watch sometimes when I know the Hawks are facing the stars when he's in net. You sent to Europe too, Archon. At the moment, we do not ship to Europe, but we just ship to US and Canada. I'm not sure if we will be able to in the future. It really just depends on getting everything figured out with like shipping. But uh, maybe. Maybe. But at the moment, we do not, unfortunately, Archon. Maze Mind Tome. Hey, Joe. Uh, Jeff says that Gonchar was a good defenseman for the Penguins during some Stanley Cup championships. So he's not like an unknown dude. Just not of my times. Nine Lives. It doesn't have to be free, but yeah, it's just, um, it'd be difficult to set up on Wix because you have to do, like, a flat rate shipping. But yeah, in the future, we could figure out perhaps something for European shipping. We have Waker of Waves foil, Chandra's Incinerator, Fairy's Protégé. Let me just grab a sip of water real quick, everybody.
my throat does get a bit tired after almost eight hours of use. Mountain Showcase, Feline Sovereign. When Bishop, when Bishop took us to the Frozen Four, he was a killer. I'll never forgive MSU for that game. Bishop is awesome. I'd like to see you open my double master. Well, since it is far out, uh, Archon, if you want to send um, a message, it's like since you're on YouTube, down in the description, uh, you can either send it through the website or on Facebook, and we can figure out how much that would cost the ship. Because um, we are taking pre-orders for Double Masters at the moment on the website, but that is, of course, just at the moment for U.S. and Canada. But definitely reach out to us, and my boss should be able to work something out for you. Jeff asked, did I miss any hockey breaks tonight? Just got on. Unfortunately, there were no orders for hockey tonight, but Stature is coming out next week, so hopefully we will get some breaks into that. We have a solemn full art here. Caesar asks, how are you guys going to carry elite football? Uh, we're going to try and get everything as it comes out for football, baseball, etc. So, unless Southern Hobby decides they don't want to give us any, we should be getting some in. I don't know when that comes out. But I know my boss has everything on order for football and baseball. Oops. Like NFL football, not... um. Because I, I heard in the chat earlier that XFL isn't really a thing anymore. But I remember when it was first happening, people kept asking us if we were going to carry XFL cards. And it was like, no. But like, NFL football? Then, yeah. Should be getting that in. Sergey Gonchar was a great defenseman in the NHL. He won the cup in 09 and played 20 years in the league. More info for you, Joe. Pack leader, foil rares, our first foil rare of the box, and a fabled passage. Hey, you're welcome, Caesar, no problem. I'm sorting through my Rise of Skywalker base now while watching you break. Feels like we were at the shop. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Astro's Acolyte. Swamp Showcase and Temple of Mystery. Guys, I might have to take another snack break. I just got really, really hungry. <laughs> it's like I should wait for the McDonald's to open so I can get my egg muffins, but... Um, Black Hat says, Allie, you can do sale on all breaks, buy one, get none free, or half off double the price. Like, whoa, 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 Black Hat, we're not Toys R Us. <laughs> but yeah, that is true. That is that is true. I think Boss is asleep, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Demonic Embrace. Gook's Uprising Showcase. Get that energy food slash snacks. Yeah, I'm thinking about it, Norn. I'm thinking about it. We have a Sabira. Rare. Should, in theory, get at least one more Mythic out of this box for Aaron. Uh, Joe, in Boxes of Magic, there are also 36 packs. You know, Thunderbug is thirsty even if I can't see him. Maybe he's hungry, too. McDonald's not 24 hours where you live. Uh, it used to be, and then after the closures, it like closed at weird times. Like I don't know if they're open to be honest. Um, I just know they're open at like six, like five. They at least I've, I've driven by they're open at like five. But actually, when I was doing um, the Ecoria openings on the channel, when I was doing that was my first all nighter for the shop. I was here from 6 p.m. till 9 a.m. I was doing the Ecoria openings. I left here because I got hungry around 1 a.m. to go to the McDonald's, and um. They were closed. So I'm just quite uh, skeptical as McDonald's over here. I don't know if that was just like a temporary thing and they're back to normal hours because they used to be a 24-hour McDonald's, but I don't want to like go too early and then they're closed. So Normally McDonald's here is 24 hours, but boss said he would stay up till 3. And then Sykes says boss is technically awake, but not for much longer. For 
Yeah, boss probably won't. I feel like boss is going to go on. Archon says, did I miss the Ugin? Unfortunately, no Ugin yet, but we're still looking for at least one more mythic in this box, and it's just Garouk. Uh, Garouk haunts everybody who tries to open M21 packs. Six p.m. nine a.m. Yeah, that's when all those Zakoria openings I did. Have I gone yet past that alley? Nope, not yet, Dan. Um, I don't see you on page one. Your break is number twenty-four. We're on number twenty, so in four more breaks, it'll be your time to shine. We have Kervek. When you say 24 hours, is it just the drive through the whole place? Uh, just the drive through is 24 hours. From what I've noticed, I, I mean, I've never tried to go in, but usually, uh, the things like that, they usually close the inside, and the drive through is just 24 hours. Let's hope there's no Garouk and Double Masters. Yeah, that'd be weird. You know, my boss has a weird prediction for Double Masters. He's predicting, like, this is why he has him up on TCG Player right now. Um, he's predicting an unban of Splinter Twin, and he's predicting a reprint in Double Masters, because that would be something where it's like, haha, Double Masters, Splinter Twin. So he's expecting an unban, kind of like the uh, the Jace at an M25. He's expecting an unban and a reprint of Splinter Twin. What's been the most beautiful auto you have pulled? That is a good question. I don't know. I'd have to think on that one. I know the most beautiful auto in my collection... Like, for me, that I have. I didn't pull it. I actually won it on auction from Probestein. Like, post-Christmas, too, so I got it for, like, five and a half dollars. Uh, five hundred and a half, so it wasn't, like, super expensive. But I have Chrome Perspectives 2 Printing Plate Magenta Auto of Carrie Fisher. is the most beautiful auto that I have. There's only 18 breaks of description. There's still more. Yeah, uh, Joe, uh, the description was only up to date until before the live stream started. I don't want to, like, try and edit the description while we're live, because I feel like I'd break something. But, um, yeah, we have 34 breaks tonight, Joe. Splinter Twin got bought out in Spike, Birthing Pod 2. Uh, we actually got a Birthing Pod in a collection and sold it the other day for, like, 12 bucks. Maybe all the Splinter Twins sold. He had, like, a bunch of them. But he's expecting an unban and, um, reprint. Unfortunately, Aaron, I did not succeed in your hunt for Ugin here tonight. But you did get a foil Elder Gargroth, which is pretty nice. But otherwise, let's take a look at what we got in this box here. We did get one Showcase Rare and one Showcase Foil in the Mountain and a Groot's Harbinger. And for our other assorted Showcase cards, some of these cards look like they're a little chewed up. Like this Protégé, unfortunately, looks like it has a little, came out a little not pack fresh. And then for our regular Foils, And for our rares and mythics, we just got one rare foil, but we also got a mythic. We had Pack Leader and Elder Gargaroth. And then for four rare, uh, mythics, we had Mongara, Terror of the Peaks, Massacre Worm, and Garouk. Not the best selection here, but the Terror of the Peaks and the Mongara is not bad. And for our rares, I'm just going to skim through those real quick. Make me snoop. But that'll do it here for Aaron. Also, the box stopper card, the borderless rare, was Solemn Simulacrum here for Aaron. So unfortunately, no Ugin, but hopefully Aaron has able to get you some cards that you still didn't enjoy. Hopefully you enjoyed the opening. I think you are probably asleep right now, but when you watch this, I hope you did enjoy it and had fun. But that'll be it for Aaron tonight. Splinter Twin, interesting. Vesuvian Doppelganger would be a shock pulling it off non-reprint list. Yeah, I don't think Wizards is going to mess with uh, the um, the reserve list, but, um, yeah. But anyways, that is it for Aaron tonight. Next up, we do have four uh, confirmed sick. If you're still here, it's time for you to come out. It's time for your break. But for Mac G, we have a box of archives, uh, signature series, retired player edition. So that is what's coming up next. So let me start carrying this stuff out of the way. I'll unsnap myself first. Archon says weak mythics except the foil one. I think Terror of the Peaks might still be around $10 for some reason. My boss doesn't think it's as good as uh, people are pricing it at. 
But uh, those are also based on prices from last week, so I don't know what the new prices are at. But anyways, like I said, next up we do have for Mac G, Archives Signature Series Retired Baseball Player Edition. So, confirm sick, it is your time to shine. Come back, come back, come back. So let me start moving this stuff out of the way, and I'll be back for that baseball, everybody. From six says, nice, pull me a 101. I'll try my best. Andrew says, can't wait to Dragon Storm again in modern. Cloudy Skies Now says, seeing the price today, I wish I had bought Carrie Fisher autos when 30th anniversary cards were affordable. Ooh, 30th anniversary sets are very, those cards are very expensive. Kyrie BB says, thanks, Allie. Hey, you're welcome, Kyrie. But, um, I forgot I have to take this one over. And instead of getting food, I decided just to get more Diet Dr. Pepper so I could save room for my egg McMuffins. No Dacker Flip Life says, is this channel live? Yep, and we've been live for almost eight hours now. Is out. Oh, it is eight hours. Oh yeah, because I forgot I started a little bit early to test to make sure everything worked. But yeah, we've been here for eight hours, breaking since about eight p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, it's still around eight ten dollars. All right. But uh, yeah, next up we do have that archives box for Max. So let me finish this off, get some ASMR can noises, and get into that archives box. What's your favorite type of hockey cards to break open? Uh, it used to be SBX, but I've seen a lot of really nice sets this year. I liked Ingrained a lot. I like SP Authentic. So, no, it depends. Because um, we were able, because uh, there's more demand. Like, my boss and I really like hockey, but unfortunately, for some reason, hockey doesn't sell that well in the area if it's not like Series 1 or Series 2. So, we usually just, uh, in the past, we've just gotten like Series 1, Series 2, SBX, and SP Authentic. So we're trying out a lot of new products this year, and I'm excited because we do have the opportunity to sell them, so that means I get to open them, and I get to pilfer the cards we do open, and do breaks of them. So, um, I don't know, so I, I'm gonna, I'm, throughout the year I'm experiencing a lot of new hockey cards to open that I haven't opened before, so Windy City, probably gonna have to wait till next year to ask me that question again. Really want a Fisher and Hamill. I have a Ford, but I want to finish the trilogy. Yeah, I unfortunately lost an auction for a matching the matching magenta printed plate of Mark Hamill from Chrome Perspectives 2 on auction. I didn't have enough at the time, but um, I really wish I did win that. So good pulls today on baseball and NBN cards. Yeah, definitely can. We had an SSP Glaber from 2018 update, and we had a Silver Prism John Morant from Spectra. Eight hours, 20 breaks, 10 breaks left, four hours. Tap it. Well, we have one box of archives. And then we have two box of archives and clearly authentic. And then we have archives again. And a pre two previous kits are the next um are the next five breaks. So those will probably be like twenty five minutes total. So we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna breeze through a lot of breaks up coming soon, Tappa. But let me open this one up. Yes. And here, let me append our cue list to number 21 for Mac G Archives Signature Series Retired Player Edition. So let's get on into it by stepping ourselves into the corner and let's see what we can get. I'm excited. I know Confirm Sick has been waiting for this for a long time. Hopefully we can get him the 101 of his dreams. Well, I'll stop with the MTG and leave you to the sports. Hey, thanks, Archon. We appreciate you hanging out with us for so long. Not sure if you mean you're going to stop talking about MTG or you're going to stop hanging out with us. But um, if you are stopping to hang out with us, thank you for hanging out with us for so long. Dr. Pepper needs to sponsor this live stream alley. That would be cool, Tappa. That would be cool. But here we go. For Mac, we have one card in this box. Let's see what it is. It is an Al Oliver. Unfortunately, not a one one It is number 19 of 80 for the Rangers. Look, he signed it on a card that also has a facsimile, so that is pretty interesting. Al Oliver for the Rangers, number 19 out of 80. 
This is from Tops 1980 Tops Chewing Gum. This is an old card here. They are buybacks and they are stamped with the 2020 uh, archive signature little stamp here. And then a signed on card by the player. That is it for your break here. Hopefully, I know not a one the one that you're looking for, but hopefully a player you still do like. Because I always want to get something people enjoy, but unfortunately, you can't get something out of the park every time. But Al Oliver for the Rangers. Let me get this. You always want to make sure with these encased cards, you get them uh, put in a team bag as soon as possible because they can scratch easily. Oh, confirm six says, nice, thank you. Hey, well, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for letting me open it up for you. And uh, these will get shipped out on Monday. Well, the, the label will get printed on Monday, most likely. Just based on how many packages I'm going to have, most likely they'll actually get shipped out Tuesday morning. I'm stopping to hang out for now. I'll keep an eye out for more streams. Hey, Archon. Well, well, we are here every single week. Oops, I just dropped the sleeves. The sleeves are in the carnage. But we do have every single Saturday night. So hopefully we can catch you next week, Archon. But let me unsnap myself here, and i got to find those sleeves. Does Top still do archives for Star Wars? They did archives a couple years ago. I don't know if they're going to do it again anytime soon. I actually have a one-on-one -on -one archives Hayden Christensen autograph. Uh, where are these sleeves? Okay, well the sleeves are kind of just gone, so I'm gonna grab. I'll be. I'm gonna grab some uh, more new sleeves. But um, yeah. All right. Uh, I'll be next Saturday. Thanks again. Hey, thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us this week. Confirm sake. And we'll like. Uh, can't wait to see you next week. Uh, Joe asks, "What movie is the picture from?" It's um. You sure they felt? Yeah, there was a there was a second bag here. Uh, what is it? I'm trying to think of what the picture is. I think it's Revenge of the Sith. But uh, I mean, actually, I'm going to jump on out down here and I'm going to look real quick to see if I can find these sleeves. If not, I'll just open a new pack. Yeah, needle in a haystack. Definitely. Hey, guy 33 has just followed us. Seven, oops, I missed the notification. It was seven minutes ago. But thank you for following us. This is a cool stream. Thank you so much. All right, yeah, these sleeves, this sleeve bag is gone. Uganate the sleeves, says Black Cat. But anyways, I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm actually going to take a quick break real quick. So when I come back, we'll be getting into the next break for Gary S. We have two boxes of Archives Retired and a box of Clearly Authentic. So hang on, everybody. I'll be right back with those boxes and some new sleeves.
Hey everybody, I have returned. Tappa says, I think the sleeves fell into my lap. <laughs> Sorry, Ali, they're mine now. That's okay, Tappa. But, um, Joe is hitting the sack, says goodnight, see you next week. Thanks, Joe, for hanging out with us. I, uh, you probably left already, but, uh, thank you for hanging out with us. We'll catch you next week. Appreciate it. Ali, have you ever broke leaf greatest? Uh, we don't open that much leaf stuff here. We just usually open Pop Century and Metal Draft. We did open a little bit of regular draft football for leaf this year, and we only were able to get in two boxes of, um, best of sports we opened both of those on the channel I think so not much leaf here so let me take a quick sip here I'll find the sleeves sometime when I'm picking stuff up it's fine but next up for Gary S we do have two archives retired and a clearly authentic so let me go ahead and grab those real quick so again another quick rip here in break number 22 so let me go ahead and change that break number in the queue. All right, like I said, Fort Gary S, two archive signature series, retired player edition, and one clearly authentic. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started on them. So where's my knife? I got my little knife. So let's go, box number one. Crispy Bacon says the sleeves have been beamed up to the Enterprise. I almost popped this one like a normal box, but I quickly caught myself. But here we go. Let's see. First hit from Archive Signature Series. We have a David Cohn, number 18 out of 48. For the Mets, David Cohn. You're still live, asked Charlie. Yep, we're still live. We're still going strong. This is from Opeachy, 1990, Tops Opeachy Baseball. On card auto there, David Cohn. All right, I'll sleeve them all. I'll get them all top or uh, team bagged at the end. Let's see, box number two. All right, let's see what we have here. We have Louis Taint or Tiant, Louis Tiant, perhaps. That is number 10 of 20 for the Indians. That is from Tops 2001. From the 50s, it is a reprint from Tops 2001 Baseball. 10 of 20. Hey Allie, picked up a midnight shift and wasn't interested in Netflix. You run a very classy stream and I might learn something about trading cards from your stream. Thanks for broadcasting. It's a long night. Hey E.T. Justin, thank you so much for watching. I'm glad I was able to provide you some entertainment on your midnight shift. Uh, Syx will find them when he cleans up at the end of the night, beginning of the morning. No, I clean up everything here. Syx is the one. I know that's the running joke that Syx cleans, but uh, trust me, I, I clean up too. No, I'll find them later. It's fine. Gilmore says, hello from Vancouver. Hey, YouTube just crashed on my end. Oh no, Windy City. Hey, Chris, I, I saw it wrong. I saw it wrong. I know, I thought that about actually there was a 70s card in one of the one ones that we opened. But, um... I was like thinking like wow these are actually like really good shape considering how old they are it's crazy but anyways we got our last one here clearly authentic for Gary let's see gotta love them one hit breaks yes I, I actually you know I feel weird about it because it's like all or nothing but I really love opening these they just they make they make the night go much faster but here for our clearly authentic we have Matt Dice on card rookie auto for the Angels Brandon asks, are you doing any more personals tonight? Unfortunately, Brandon, we've been going for like eight hours and I'm pretty tired. So I have closed off breaks for the night. But if you did order something, it'd put you first in line for next week. Or if you want a recorded break throughout the week, I could do that for you as well. But for tonight, uh, no more personal. I mean, we have more breaks scheduled, but no more requests are being taken for tonight's breaks. Give this guy a smash hit, Scott. Unfortunately, we just ended up with a Matt Dice here. But speaking of smashing, if you all are enjoying what you're seeing, make sure you smash that like button while I get these case cards into team bags for Gary. So thank you so much, Gary, for letting me open these up for you. Hopefully I was able to get you some nice players to add to your collection. Don't know what teams you collect, but hopefully I was able to get you some from your favorite teams. And then next up, we do have a box of archives retired for Ryan A. So one more archives box coming up next. I like the way the the big uh, team bags 
to make noise. Like the the smaller ones don't make as nice of a noise as the big ones. I vacuum too. I do. I do vacuum. I clean. I vacuum. Well, let me unsnap myself here. Thank you so much, Gary, for letting me open these up for you. Like I said, I hope I was able to get you some free collection. But next up, when I come back, I'll be back with a box of archives once again for Ryan A. So hang tight, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> Think Dice shows up everywhere just to get Angels fans excited slash disappointed. Yeah, unfortunately not Mike Trout. Tapa says boss vacuums. Boss vacuums on occasion, that is true. Black Hat Records says also subscribe. But yes, next up, let me change it up. Change up the queue. We're going to break number 23. See Tapa, we're cruising now. We're cruising. 23, woo. How does the show work? You purchase in advance what she breaks. Uh, E.T. Justin, yeah, in uh, essence, that's what happens. Um, I do take a certain amount of personal breaks through the live. I usually stop a little bit around after 30 different breaks for the night. Tonight we do have 34 scheduled. So people order their box and they let me open it, which is super awesome. We also let people do, uh, if they're comfortable with it, uh, recorded personal breaks throughout the week. You can select whether you want it live or recorded. I upload videos throughout the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on our YouTube channel, which uh, I see you're watching on Twitch, so if you look at the social link box on Twitch, that is linked there. The only two links are my YouTube channel and the, the uh, my um, personal Instagram. And um, we also do new product previews. When something new comes out, we open up a box. Sometimes we open up cases. Sometimes we do impromptu live case breaks. But yeah, we're starting to stream on YouTube, both in, uh, both YouTube and Twitch now for our Saturday Night Live streams, because we had some issues last week with YouTube, so we want to make sure everything goes smoothly and if something happens with YouTube we can just continue on with Twitch simultaneously. Chris says told you what it would feel. Yeah Chris I was I was feeling a little down yesterday. I was seeing that there weren't that many pre-ordered breaks last night. We only had I think 11 when I went home last night. So I was worried you know after everything that happened last week that people were upset with what happened even though I had no control over it. So I'm glad that all of you have came here and let me open up stuff tonight. I really do appreciate it. And a little less recycling with the one card one box break. Yeah you just fold up the box and throw it in the thing. Like me where people are opening orders, if anyone knows. Um, Ken, if you're on, uh, here, I'm going to actually put it up. It's not, orders aren't open. But um, this is the link right up here, titancardsfl.com slash shop. That's where you can see everything we have available for personal breaks and prices. Everything does have free shipping to the United States. We do charge for can Canadian shipping because it is more expensive. At the moment, there's the only two places we ship to, United States and Canada. But um, you can always, if you're outside of the, the North America, you can always send us a message. We can try and work something out. But um, yeah, it is up here, Titan Cards. I'm using my mouse to show it, which isn't helpful. But um, titancardsfl.com slash shop. And we have, uh, we don't have at the moment Star Wars, but we have non-sports. We Right now, like we have one more box of Star Trek left. We have Magic Gathering, Pokemon. We have Weiss Swords, basketball, baseball, football, soccer. Um, you know, lots of things. In the future, we'll have WWE, Garbage Pail Kids. You know, all kinds of cool stuff. Let me close that off. But anyways, we're about to get to break number 23. Yes, I changed it for Ryan A. Archive Signature Series Retired Edition. Just one box, one card. Let's get it by snapping ourselves into the corner and getting on into it. Here we go. What one card will we get here for Ryan? Let's see. By opening it up, we have Sean Casey, number 39 out of 55. On card auto for the Reds. And this card is from 2002 Tops Baseball. Tops Gallery Baseball, to be exact. Sean Casey, on card auto, numbered out of 55 for the Reds. So that'll do it for this one card rip here for Ryan. I hope that you enjoyed this opening. I hope I was able to get you someone from a team that you do enjoy. I know not a one on one, but I hope that you still liked it. And thank you so much for letting me open it up for you. Razor's Edge says YouTube is way better. Unfortunately, we just, uh, people, Razor's Edge, I'm not sure if you were here last week or you know what happened, but people were uh, reporting, uh, false reporting the stream for YouTube community guidelines slash terms of service violations, and just because they received a certain amount of uh, reports that the streams kept automatically getting pulled down, there were two attempts, and you can see they're fully uploaded on the channel, fully monetized to show there's absolutely nothing wrong, nothing I said, but they were done through manual review. YouTube looked at it and said there's nothing wrong with these videos. They are absolutely fine. But just because they were um, 
just uh, being reported so much, YouTube was pulling them, which makes sense because if you have something like, I don't know if they were reporting it for like abuse or like uh, explicit content. So of course, if you get a certain amount of reports on that, you're going to think it's true. Why are all these people reporting it? Let's just take it down. You know, the YouTube computer system would be like, uh oh, this must be bad. So like, I don't blame YouTube for it. It's just people that, you know, are kind of, we were having weird, we've been having weird troll problems. Thankfully today, it wasn't that bad. But we have a super chat here from Chris it says, back to my nightmares. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much, Chris, for hanging out with us. Uh, take care and have a good night. Crispy Bacon also is heading in. I'll have to catch the rest on playback. Gotta get up later this morning. Good night, Allie, for me and my nephew Donovan. See you next Saturday. Bye. Hey, thanks, Chris and Donovan, for hanging out with us. Take care. Hockey and Metal, thank you for doing the videos. Hey, thank you, Hockey and Metal. Glad to see you here tonight. Night, Chris. Sweet nightmare, says Tappa. But, um, yeah, that that's the shirt story. It, it was crazy. So we had, we're, we're doing, we're trying this out where it's on YouTube and Twitch. So that way, Twitch does, it, it's not a default setting, so it wasn't there last week, but I do have it enabled now. So the playback will be available on Twitch too, and that can be exported and uploaded to YouTube pretty quickly. So if anything went wrong with YouTube, we had it, you know, keep the live stream going all on, you know, one spot, one seamless video for me to upload on YouTube if I had to. But tonight things have been okay. So, but anyways, finishing up break number 23 here. Next up, we have break number 24 for Daniel W, I believe. Yep, two pre-release kits, of course, at 2021. So another quick break coming in at break number 24. So let me unsnap myself, move this out of the way, and I'll be back with Daniel's stuff. Daniel, not sure if you're still here, but if you are, make sure to peek your head out, leave us a comment, let me know you're still here. But I'll be right back, everybody. Windy City says, sometimes I wish more current athletes had autographs as clean as the athletes of the past. That is that is true. Some new athlete autographs are pretty uh, weird looking. Although some of them actually do look really cool too. I think it's uh, more so you remember the ones that are not good. Like, um, uh, I can't remember the name, but I think it was a couple years ago football, or maybe even this year's football, where it's like two letters. And it's like, come on, man. But, um, Jigs asks, how many breaks left? We have ten more. Ten more. And some of them we have uh, after these two here for Daniel, two pre-release kits, a box of score, Chronicles draft picks, archives, Star Trek, another pre-release kit, arc, uh, draft picks, football, uh, once again, pro debut, two clearly authentic, two more pre-release kits, a draft picks, Chronicles, once again, and finishing off the night with a collector booster, of course, at 2021. So... Some quick ones, and the uh, pro debut is probably going to be the long, and the score. The score will be the longest, and then pro debut will be the next longest, but the rest of them should go pretty quickly. But here for Daniel, two pre release kits. Let me, I got to change the queue number before we get started. I have not messed up once yet, yet, yet. All right, 24. Athletes only know how to swipe these days, says Tappa. Raise it, says it's all G now. Yeah, it's been pretty good tonight. Eloy has a trash auto. I don't know that I've seen an Eloy auto in recent times. I think I was able to open one out of tribute, but I don't remember what it looks like. Because they start signing when they're 16. That is true. Like, especially if you get someone out of, like, a Panini USA Baseball, they're, like, 12. And it's like, I mean, at that point, you can't blame them. But sometimes, the like, college graduate football players, it's like, dude, come on. I mean, to be fair, though, they don't teach cursive anymore, so people are just like, eh, that looks good, right? But, um... Anyway, for Daniel, we got these two previous kits. Maybe finally we can see a stamped Ugin. We'd like to get a stamped Mythic, but a nice stamped Rare would be good as well. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get started. Raise this. So don't jinx yourself. I know. I'm trying. I mean, it's 4 a.m. here. You'd think people who care enough to do something like that would be asleep by now. Like, hey, people have better stuff to do, but who knows? Windy City says, Patrick Kane is one of the cleanest autos in the NHL. I don't think I've actually seen a, what a Patrick Kane auto looks like. Maybe I'll look one up on eBay after the stream. But here we go, pre-release kit number one. We have a blue die. Still the M21 set logo. No rivals dies. In sight, out of any of our cases so far. And our stamp promo is a hooded blight thing. I'm gonna grab these six packs. And I'll do the recap at the end of box number two, since they are two of the same boxes. So let's get started here. There is Ageless Insight. It's 10.03pm in Hawaii now. 
Yep, it's 4.03 a.m. now here in Pinellas Park, Florida. Yep, Chandra's Incinerator, Showcase Rare. Who's your favorite player in sports? Asks Tigger. Uh, my favorite hockey player is Ben Bishop, and hockey is my favorite sport, so I'd say overall Ben Bishop. I just, I, I just really like him. We have Idol of Endurance. And it's awesome. Uh, sometimes I'll get packages on the channel sent to me by people who watch. And uh, I get sent a lot of different Ben Bishop cards and autographs and jersey pieces, so it's super awesome. I have the best fans here. We're a really cool family here at Titan Cards. What else do you do for fun, Allie, than break cards? Um, I really haven't had a lot of free time recently, so not much. But we have a Mountain Showcase and a Liliana Waker of the Dead. Uh, I've been researching lizards because I want to have a pet lizard. I feel like that'd be cool. Now, if you played monster movies too, you'd be the queen of late night. Yeah, I'm not really a horror person. But I'm actually really surprised by how like many people we have watching the stream at like, all times. Like right now, I think on YouTube, if that number that I can squint past this giant text box of all the combined chats is accurate, oh, it just went down. It was at 120, and now it's at 119. So there's 119 people watching us on YouTube right now at 4.04 a.m. Like, that's ridiculous when you think about it. Well, we have a Showcase Island and a Containment Priest, Borderless. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Last pack and kit number one. We have a Sanctum of All. Alright, so one Mythic, one Showcase Rare, one Extended Art Rare, but no foils in kit number one. Let's get into kit number two for Daniel. Jude says, I'm enjoying it. Hey, I appreciate you uh, being here, Jude. But I'm just saying it's crazy that people are watching. This many people are watching so late. We have M21 Red Dye here. And for our last... Ooh, we have a Stamp Mythic. We have Discontinuity for Daniel. Like Jackson Chameleon. I'm not really into chameleons. I feel like I would hurt a chameleon. They're very delicate, but um, I was I was ranting about it earlier, but the state of Florida is like, y'all can't own tegus anymore, which is very sad for me, because I wanted a tegu. So I might have to like go out and find a tegu like tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean in like six hours on Sunday. But I also, I, I'm a big fan. I want a giant day gecko, which is like the little Geico gecko. There's also like a, a, a neon day gecko, which is super cool looking. But um... I like the cute lizards. Oh, we have a Showcase Mountain and a Foil Garuk's Harbinger. Showcase Rare. Temple of Silence. So starting off kit number two with a Showcase Rare Foil. Not bad. Windy City, uh, Jeff's agreeing with you that Kane's Auto is one of the best. Very rarely has a sloppy one. It's only 3 a.m. In, in Minneapolis, says Christopher. A Vito. Snakes are legal in Hawaii. Interesting. Hips and Ships says, new fan of the channel and Night Owl. Hey, well, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Nice pre-release boxes. Yeah, these have actually been a couple of nice, not too bad kids. Thieves Guild, once again. It was weird how the first one didn't have any foils, but we did have a kit earlier that had four foils, so like, you know, it all balances out. Bastard's Acolyte Showcase. We have a Radiant Fountain Foil and Brash Taunter. We all vampires like you, Allie. Oh, thanks, Tapper. We have a Plains Showcase. Containment Priest. Liliana's Devotee Showcase. What's the rare card you've broken of any card genre, Allie? Um, I mean, recently I did hit the one-of-one -one triple auto of Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and Billy Dee Williams out of Skywalker uh, Series 2, Rise of Skywalker Series 2. That was a pretty hit gig hit I got recently. Um, also, I've hit um, 
I mean, that is a one of one so probably, I guess, technically the rarest. Also on Friday, I hit a Super Fractor Patch Auto out of Draft Picks. Uh, football, Chronicles Draft Picks. I've hit a couple Kyler Murray low-numbered cards on the channel, a couple of Tua autographs low-numbered. Uh, I've hit a Patrick Mahomes on the channel out of 10. Basically what I'm saying is I'm good with football, apparently. Like, I'm not a big football person, but I can pull big football cards. So. It's quite odd. But anyways, let's get into this recap here for Daniel. Let's start with Mythics. Just one Mythic here. Liliana, Waker of the Dead. And for our showcase cards, we had a foil rare and a regular non-foil rare. We had Groot's Harbinger and Chandra's Incinerator foil on the Harbinger. We also had one regular foil, Radiant Fountain. And for our other assorted showcase cards, hold them a bit lower. We did get a Containment Priest, full art. And for our regular rares, SSSP, don't forget that one, that's true. But I'm saying, like, actually, in terms of, like, rarity, like, low-numbered cards are technically rare. We don't know how many of the SSPs are out there. SSSPs are out there. But, yeah, I also did hit in a personal break the SSSP from Top Series 2 2020 of Louis Robert, Jordan Alvarez, and Boba Chet. Uh, also, tonight, I hit a um, SSP rookie, Galeber Torres, out of 2018 update. Hit a John Morant Silver Prism out of Spectra tonight. So, definitely some cool stuff tonight. Mike says, you've been here for a minute. I have been here for a whole eight hours worth of minutes, actually. But anyways, also recap here on Daniel's stamp promos. I also got a Hooded Blight Fang and a Discontinuity. And that'll do it here for Daniel's two kits. I think Daniel did fall asleep. But um, next up, we do have Panini Score Football for Jonathan B. But let's see if I can get a third Tua autograph in one case. Only one way to find out, and that's by getting into that score box. So let me move this out of the way. Again, thank you to Daniel for letting me open up more pre-release kits and more magic cards for him. Hopefully he is happy with his new his new card. So let me unsnap myself. If you see me being weird about it, it's because on uh, I switched from OBS to Streamlabs OBS, and you can't hotkey the shift key anymore. Shift key and control, so they're now new, new keys. They're Q and Z instead of shift and control. So that's why sometimes I'm slow about snapping myself and whatnot. But like I said, up next is that score box for Jonathan B. I'll be right back with that in just a minute, everybody. Hang tight. I see in the back that expensive NT box. Yep, we still have one left. We have one box of National Treasures Basketball. We did open up one last week. That was pretty good. But this one, it was on sale tonight, but no one did get it unless uh, someone bought one and I didn't notice. Since this is a new a new computer, I don't think uh, Google Chrome has enabled notifications, and that might be why. But no, no new orders tonight. But all right. Yeah, so National Treasures, this is the National Treasures basketball box that you see up here. Crazy. But all right, we're going to get into the score box right now for Jonathan B. First, I have to update our current break number to number 25. Like I said, haven't messed up yet, haven't started with the wrong number just quite yet. Oops, I just did something. No. Okay, all right. Restarting to number 25. All right, done. All right, cool. I have unbroken. I have unbroken the current break number counter. <laughs> All right, for Jonathan, box of score football. Let's snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it. Well, if you missed it, I did open up a box in a personal break on Friday for Richard from Pennsylvania, and I got a Tua. End zone auto numbered out of six, number two of six. 
and um, previously on the channel I'd gotten a two a red uh, auto numbered out of 20 that was a red zone auto out of 20 and then I got one out of six so who knows what we can get in here but let's start off with pack number one chunk of base cards here in the front of score packs we have a showcase Julio Jones the blue doesn't look seem to be uh, there it is up in the corner 65 out of 100 on this Julio Jones we have under the radar James Winston Jacob Eason draft insert breakthrough Joe Mixon and celebration Texans and for our rookies all right, no Tua or Joe Burrow, it seems. Ken says, maybe on the NT box. Like I said, it is on sale tonight. We were having him at 44. It is just at 42 tonight. The only breaks that I am taking right now or, uh, for tonight are more line skip breaks, which are the National Treasures and Spectre. So what that means, if someone orders it next, instead of going into Chris M's Chronicles Draft Picks box, we'd go straight into that box of Spectre or NT or whatever it is. But definitely, since I'm not getting notifications on the computer, if anyone does order uh, something like that, which would be crazy, make sure to leave a comment so that way I see it. Was there a Zion or a John any of the three NT open? TJ, unfortunately, uh, Southern Hobby didn't give us any products. We didn't get any from them. And our sub-distributor only had two boxes that l they let us get. So we only had two boxes here. We did not see a Zion or a John in the box we opened last week. There was a RPA of Darius Basley numbered out of 25. There was a Shaq plate. There was some other cool stuff in there. Um... I mean, I would have thought it was a little under, but apparently it was a break-even box because of that redemption and some of the other nice cards in there. But uh, no Zion or Jaw in those two bo in that one other box. Like I said, we only got two total. Unfortunately, we did not. We were unable to get a full case. Distributors be like that sometimes. I guess that means there's one in that box this guy. I would hope so. That would be crazy. I don't even know how we'd ship something like that. I feel like whoever got that card would want to come pick it up in person, which I wouldn't blame them at all. We have a scorecard a gray parallel here of AJ Green. Fantasy Stars insert. Under the radar. And draft. And we have our first auto of the box. It is Marlon Mack. He used to go to USF. That's cool. Oh, it's a red zone. Marlon Mack auto. Two of 20. That's cool. Very cool. Red Zone Marlon Mack. Huge margin offer says I'd have you all sell it for me. It'd be scary to sell something like that. Scott says, uh, Ken, if you buy the, uh, the NT, he'll buy a box of Spectre. <laughs> but Marlon Mack out of 20 Red Zone autograph. This is our first auto of the box. You do get four. Why is there a loose thick sleeve laying around? For our rookies? They're all upside down. No burrow or two of there. We have a scorecard gray, Philip Lindsay. We have all hands team. Cortland Sutton. Draft Jeff Okada. Under the radar. And Jake Fromm draft as well. There's an LSU Joe Burrow. I'll sleeve that one up. Next pack here. E.T. Justin says, nice Joe Burrow. It is a very clean looking card. Unfortunately, it's not a uh, pro uniform. It is college uniform, but it still looks really cool. 
Looks like we have another red zone card in here. Red zone, Jair Alexander for the Packers. That is number 120. Breakthrough insert. Celebration for the Packers. All hands team. Zach Eats. Derek Brown draft. No rookie to pull out there. I'm going to top load this one since it is such low numbered. We've had two red zone cards so far, one auto, still three remaining in this box. Oh, looks like we have a gold zone of Richard Sherman, 48 out of 50 for the San Francisco 49ers. That's cool. Breakthrough. Fantasy Stars, Under the Radar, and Chase Young Draft Insert. It's so bizarre how cards are straight upside down and backwards in packs. Yeah, um, I don't know how it ends up like that, but it is very not uncommon for that to happen. It is very frustrating too when you're trying to like sort stuff and it's like you have to keep turning things around. So far, he has a good box, in my opinion. I mean, two red zone cards, one being an auto. We have a gold zone parallel as well. We're still waiting on some rookie autos in here. Would you do two archives retired tonight for newbie? Josh, um, and give me some time, because it is getting kind of late. I mean, we are getting to the lower half of the um, the breaks for tonight. So perhaps, perhaps if I'm still feeling okay, uh, as we get closer, you can place an order. But uh, definitely just give me, give me some time, and I'll be able to get back to you on that. We have C.J. Henderson, scorecard, under the radar. We have Tua, insert. Let's leave that one up. It looks like we have our next auto here. It is Kachon Vaughn from Vanderbilt. So this is a rookie auto. Just a base here. Allie, are you more of a dog or a cat person? Um, I'm not really a dog person. But I've only had experience with one like really, really good cat. So I'm not sure if I'm a cat person because I like that one cat where I'm just like cats in general if you know what I'm saying. Does that make sense? Razor's Edge. Hey, you're welcome Josh. Like I said, just give me some time and I'll be able to get back to you on that more. Let's look at these rookies here. Alright, next pack. We have a, a scorecard Joe Burrow, but in the OSU uniform. Jonathan says, Allie, you're a trooper. Hey, Jonathan. I try my best. All hands team. Wait, fantasy stars goes here. All hands team. Okay, got it. Celebration for the Ravens. Breakthrough. And our next auto is Anthony McFarlane Jr. Base auto, base rookie auto. Allie's maybe a lizard person in more than one way. Sleeve is up. She likes them reptiles. That ain't true. I've never owned one. But I hope once I get one I don't regret my decision. <laughs> We're waiting on one more auto out of this box. <laughs> Scorecard, Jacob Hollister, Fantasy Stars, Under the Radar, Draft, All Hands Team, Joe Burrow once again in that OSU uniform. Hey, Allie, if you ask Boss Man for a working holiday, then maybe do a stream in Hawaii, all expenses paid for. That would be pretty expensive to happen. I don't think Boss Man would go for that. 
Caught a few when I was young. Fed them roaches. Usually escape, though. Aww. Poor lizards ran away. Oh, looks like we have another blue parallel coming up. We have a blue showcase, 20 out of 100, Salvan Ahmed, rookie. Fantasy Stars, under the radar, and Draft, AJ Dillon, all hands team, and a two base card. Yo, we're down to needing one more auto in the back left pack of this box. Does that mean we're having another two auto? <laughs> That'd be crazy. But uh, that has been the trend. We're still opening packs, we need to send over some more band-aids. Hey, Data Ghost, welcome back. And yeah, we're still going tonight. Still going. Grab a sip. My throat is getting a little... My throat is getting a little rough. Here we go. Last pack here for Jonathan. That's Jonathan B. Let's see what our last auto here is going to be out of score. We have a scorecard, JJ Arcega Whiteside, Celebration Steelers, Breakthrough Josh Allen, Fantasy Stars, and Antonio Gandhi Golden is our last auto here. Another rookie auto. It is blue, artist proof, number 25 out of 35. So another low number auto. Very cool. Antonio Gandhi Golden. So we've had an auto out of 35 and an auto out of 20. Sykes, tops doesn't work that fast. <laughs> Tax write-offs, it's a business chip. Yeah, I don't know if it works like that, Tapo, unfortunately. Man, it's still going awesome. Yeah, Patrick, we're still going. Reptiles are cool to have as a pet. Used to have two turtles. Ooh, turtles are cute, too. Antonio Gandy Golden, artist proof, blue auto out of 35. And then, let me sleeve up this for Sega white side. And then last but not least, we'll go through these rookies and then do a recap of all of our hits from this box for Jonathan. So let me get Tom Brady out of the way. Kuja Bite says, sup, Allie, just breaking. Max getting a little stiff, my throat's getting a little sore, but we still got some breaks to go. Is that one tiny auto from Gandy Golden? Yep, a little tiny AGG for Antonio Gandy Golden. But that was our last auto in that last pack, number 25 out of 35, rookie auto. And then our next lowest, number, then our other lower number auto, we had 2 out of 20, Marlon Mack Red Zone for the Colts. Obviously they're reporting you out of jealousy, glad you're still going strong. Yay, thanks Rich. But yeah, nothing strange like that has happened this week, so hopefully that's a good sign. We had two more rookie autos, Kashawn Vaughn and Anthony McFarlane Jr. Then we also had this low number, red zone, number 1 of 20, Jair Alexander, or Jair Alexander, not quite sure on the pronunciation. And then for our other numbered cards, we also got a gold zone out of 50 of Richard Sherman. And yeah, that was the next lowest number thing we got, so let's look through here. See what we got. Did get a Tua, Joe Burrow, one of each Burrow, I think, and a Gold Burrow, or a uh, Silver Burrow. Yeah, one of each Burrow. A couple of blue parallels, also that Gold Zone. So not bad. Lots of color in this box. Two uh, colored autos, one being out of 20, a rookie out of 35. So definitely pretty good. But uh, yes, thank you so much, Jonathan, for letting me open up this box for you. I hope I was able to add some nice cards to your collection and that you enjoyed the opening. But next up, we do have Chronicles Draft Picks Football for Chris M. Unless someone bought something crazy during that last break. I know some people were thinking about Spectre or NT, so let me double check. Yep, nothing crazy going over there on Wix. So up next we do just have that box of Chronicles Draft Picks for Chris M. And then we will have Star Trek Archives, a pre-release kit, Chronicles Draft Picks again, Pro Debut, two Clearly Authentics, two pre-release kits, a Chronicles Draft Picks, and a Corset Collector Booster. So actually I think, who was asking earlier? Josh was asking about the archives. I don't know. Like, I'm still thinking about it, Josh. We'll see how these next couple breaks go, and I'll let you know for sure if I'll be able to open those up for you. But I'm going to get this cleared off out of the way, and then I will catch you all in just a few for that draft picks box. So let me unsnap myself and start carrying over these cards. And when I come back, be doing some football. Where is my other shoe? There is my shoe. All right, I'll be right back, everybody. Uh, 
Alleni Bowman Sapphire in stock. Unfortunately, my boss missed out on Bowman Sapphire, so we didn't get any. Allie, were you ever an ESPN announcer? Your voice sounds familiar. Just trying to remember where I've heard you from. Uh, E.T. Justin, I've never been an ESPN uh, announcer. When I was in elementary school, I did like the TV show. Otherwise, I have no idea where you may have heard my voice. Any NBA here? We had a box of Spectra earlier, MGall87, and we actually did get a John Morant Silver Prism, so that is cool. I'll be putting a picture of it up on my Instagram later tonight. Which, um, you're watching on Twitch? Uh, no, YouTube. I saw the purple, I thought Twitch. But, um, if you look in the description on YouTube, the second link in the description should be to my personal Instagram if you want to go ahead and give that a uh, follow. And that picture will be up later tonight. Check that out, because that was definitely a cool hit. But one more trip, and then I'll be back with that Chronicles draft pick. All right, I am back, everybody. Let's update the queue. We're going into break number 26. Box of Chronicles Draft Picks Football for Chris M. Let me hit that save button right there. And we are ready to go. So here we are. This is, should be a quick opening. Six packs per box, eight cards per pack. You do get at least three autographs per box on average. Usually we've been seeing a um, also a bonus relic per box, which is cool. We also had a printing plate in the box we opened up on Friday, but I have not seen another since then. But yeah, no Bowman in stock. We don't have any Bowman here at all at Titan anymore. Uh, it took a little bit of time, but we did sell out all of our regular Bowman and Jumbos when they came out. But here we go. For Chris M, we have Chronicles Draft Picks Football. So let's quickly snap ourselves into the corner and get on into this box. Here we go. Pack number one. Chronicles, and then we have Rated Rookie, Clyde Edwards-Alaire, um, Donruss, Playoff, we have XR, Football, we have Limited Football, and we have Crown Royale Football, J.K. Dobbins, Rated Rookie, Donruss Optic, and Spectra, K.J. Hill. Jerry Judy, let's see that auto. It's good looking. We did get uh, Jerry Judy out of um, Legacy, out of 49 auto. That was a pretty good looking auto. It was bronze. We have Salvana Med Chronicles. And we have a Tua rated rookie paper. I'll sleeve that one up. Justin Jefferson playoff. Uh, Elite LaVisca Chanel Jr. Tua XR as well. We have, ooh, hey, we do have a Jerry Judy autograph. Scott called it. Six of ten gold phenoms Jerry Judy. And Scott actually first box of the night we did see a downtown. We actually saw a downtown DeAndre Swift insert in our first box of Chronicles of the Night. But we do have limited phenoms, six of ten gold Jerry Judy autograph. Windy City asks this college card box. It is a draft. They are all in their college uniforms. It is uh, Chronicles draft picks football. So yeah, it is college. But yeah, Jerry Judy out of ten. <laughs> yeah, you called it, Scott. You called it. Well, let me grab some more top loaders. Our first auto is Jerry Judy out of 10. Very cool. Yep, uh, Tapa, that's one of those, those two-letter autographs. But at least they look nice and fancy. But I gotta sleeve up. Hey, we have a select Jerry Judy, too. But let me sleeve up these two Tua's. Before I forget. Select Jerry Judy and Salvin Ahmed Phoenix football. That was first pack, lucky. I think that might have been the second pack, but the first fifth hit of the box. 
We have Tua, Prestige. More Tuas. We have Benny LeMay Chronicles. Absolute. LeMichael Perrine. To Michael Hasty Certified. We have Kendrick Rogers, Crown Royale Parallel. Number 53 out of 149. And we have a Jalen Hurts. Fabric of the game certified, 267 out of 299. So this would be a bonus hit for the box. Jalen Hurts, Relic. Hunter Bryant, Select. And Kashawn Vaughn, Phoenix Football. These boxes have really been delivering. Yeah, they have been definitely pretty good. They are definitely fun to open. All right, next pack. Looks like we have something chunky in here. Devin DuVernay Prestige. Chronicles, Kashawn Vaughn, Rated Rookie, Shea Patterson, Harrison Bryant, Phenoms. We have Jared Pinkney, Absolute. Then we have Courtney Davis, 2 out of 99 from Chronicles Draft Picks Prism. So we have a patch auto from Prism, Courtney Davis, Silver Prism Rookie, out of 99. That is cool looking. Nice patch. Two colors. It is 130.0. Lots of files, yep, for sure, Tapu. 14 different types of the regular cards, and then the hits, and then all the parallels. We have a Donruss Optic rated rookie of Joe Burrow. And then Justin Jefferson Spectra rookie. Where is Spectra? Here's Spectra. Two packs to go. We're still waiting on one more autograph. Looks like we're getting a Crown Royale auto here. J.K. Dobbins, rated rookie. Playoff, Darrington Evans. Chase Young, Prestige. Cheyenne Grady, Elite. Joe Burrow, XR. That's cool. Where's the Elite? Elite, 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 Elite. Elite. Joe Burrow, XR. And we have James Morgan Crown Royale autograph. Uh, non numbered. That is cool. Then we have a Tua Donruss Optic rated rookie. And Brian Edwards Spectra. Uh, have you ever opened a really old box of cards like something from when Michael Jordan was a rookie or something similar? No, I haven't opened anything that old. I don't really even know what the oldest thing I've opened is. But I started working here in 2017, so. I think that's probably what the oldest I've ever opened. E.T. Justin. Let's leave up this Joe Burrow as well. We've already had all three of our hits for this box and a bonus, but let's see what we can get here in this last pack. Playoff. Whoop. The rest of half the pack has escaped. We'll just leave that there until we're ready. We have Prestige, Donovan Peoples-Jones, Adam Troutman, uh, Certified, Salvin Ahmed, Elite. We have a Tua Red Prism from Phoenix here. That is cool. That is 82 of 99. Red Prism Tua. We have Hunter Bryant, Crown Royale, C.D. Lamb, Select, and Jonathan Taylor, Phoenix. So that is cool. Two parallel in the last pack. Now we'll do it for this box here for Chris. So let's take a quick gander at everything we did get here. Chicken Hayes asks what kind of cards I collect. I collect Star Wars and hockey personally. That's what I mainly go for. Let's start with our numbered cards and cool hits that we pulled out. Our cool inserts. Chicken Hayes says new here and hi. Welcome Chicken Hayes. Thanks for joining us. Oop, my foot slipped. We did get last pack. We did get this red Tua Prism out of ninety nine. Joe Burrow XR, Tua Donruss Optic, Burrow Donruss Optic, Tua Prestige, Kendrick Rogers out of 149, Crown Royale, Tua Rated Rookie Regular, and Tua out of XR as well. So lots of Tua's in this box. 
and K-pop. That is true. I do collect K-pop. And then for our hit hits, we did get this James Morgan autograph. Courtney Davis, Silver Prism Patch Auto out of 99. Bonus hit, Jalen Hurts Fabric of the Game out of 299 Jersey Relic. And Phenom's Jerry Judy Auto out of 10. So that'll do it for this box here for Chris. Chris, I think you have uh, long left us earlier in the live stream, but on the replay, I hope you're enjoying this opening and that I was able to get you some good cards for your collection. Some nice hits for you for sure, but I hope that you like the opening and your new cards. Now up next, we do have that Rittenhouse Star Trek box for Andrew T, and those do yield two autographs. So I'm excited to see what we get there, but let me get this cleaned off, and then for Andrew, we'll be getting right into that box of Star Trek for you. This is our last non-sport kind of product. We do have some magic, but that's a whole different kind of ball game. But last non-sport of the night. Huge Margin Offer asks, is it time? Is it time for what, Mr. Huge Margin Offer? Star Trek time. Yep, Star Trek time. Up next. So let me unsnap myself here, and when I come back, we will be for Star Trek. Carlos time, hopefully. But when I come back, we'll be getting into that Star Trek. So hang tight, everybody. Just give me a moment. Oh, huge margin offer is Andrew. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right, all right, all right. Anyways, let's get that Q counter updated. Current break number. We're going into number 27 for Andrew T from Hawaii. We got Star Trek 2020 original series archives and inscriptions trading cards. You do get two autographs per box. One, um... <laughs> Maybe get lucky and pull the Spock Thong variant card. That would be crazy, Rich. But um, you get two autos, one with an inscription on it. That's why it's called Archives and Inscriptions. So definitely can get some cool cards. Chicken Hayes is now following. Thanks, Chicken Hayes. It's Captain Kirk time. It could be Black Cat. Also, it's huge margin of error. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. I collect WWE cards, Pokemon, Baseball, Football, Star Wars, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Marvel slash DC superhero cards. Oh, that's a lot of stuff to collect, Chicken Hayes. <laughs> Andrew doesn't know if he'd want a Spock thong. <laughs> but anyways, let's get on into it. I'm excited to see what's here. We have uh, Lonic Pliskin is now following. Well, thank you for the follow. Oh, Chicken Hayes is hosting us with one viewer. That's so cool. Thanks, Chicken Hayes. All the little notifications are... Uh, I know they're tiny and I have to fix them for next week, but I can look here at the little mini feed and see them. So thank you so much, everybody, for who's been following. I know it's been hard for me to keep up with it, but... Yeah, let's see. No, Daniel, you missed it. Daniel, you missed it. We missed yours. I was hoping you were here. I was calling for you, but I guess you fell asleep. But uh, Undead Saints fan says they collect M Magic Academy since 1996. But yeah, up next is Andrew. Well, up right now is Andrew's box. So let's quickly step ourselves into the corner and get on into it. We need to cut the seal. Andrew, your box here was number 6,196 of 7,500. You're beautiful, and your voice is so amazing. You sound like you could be a radio host or your own podcast kind of beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. I've had people asking for me to do my own, like, because they, they like listening to me talk for my own, like, little rant segments, Allie's Soapbox. I was thinking maybe I could do, like, a little podcast kind of thing for that. But I don't know what kind of stuff I would even talk about. Yeah, unfortunately, Daniel, you missed it. No. Jukes has a ton of old-school basketball. That's cool. If the breaker with that JJ Auto wants to sell, message me. All right, so uh, Andrew, or not Andrew, uh, Chris on the replay, uh, Scott Brown on YouTube uh, is interested. If you do not want that uh, Jerry Judy Auto, so definitely let him know. Uh, Scott, also I recommend once the video is up for replay, if you want to just leave a comment saying the Jerry Judy Auto out of Chronicles Draft Picks um, to message to message you if uh, they want to sell it. Just so that way they can see that comment more easily. But I did mention it, but definitely leave, I guess, a comment so they know who the Scott Brown is. But, um, 
Yeah. Yeah, Chris Chris M. Scott Brown wants yo wants yo Jerry Judy. Did you draw me something cool? Unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't draw anything for you, Dan. But um, if you just if you want me to draw something, I can I can do it afterwards, and it can be a secret, and you won't know till it arrives. Does card value go 5% up 5% if you open an alley? I don't know about that. But, um... People do like it when I open stuff. Is that Marvel anime set coming out from Peach Pomoko? Uh, I think there is an anime artist that is illustrating a lot of the cards. I'm not sure who the name is. But, yeah, the, um... Marvel anime looks cool when it comes out. Looks like we might have our first autograph here. It is. We do have an auto here for Andrew. It is a security guard. It's a red shirt, so he probably died. But let's see who the actor is. It is Charles Perserni Sr. as security guard in Day of the Dove. That is your first on-card auto. She illustrate all the cards. That is cool. Red shirt. Yep, red shirt. Rip, rip, red shirt. This is your first auto here. This is a nice looking auto, though. We have the city on the edge of forever. Insert here of Spock and Kirk. First time I've seen the Star Trek book. Yeah, this is the first time actually tonight that I've seen it either. I don't love on-card autos. On-card autos are sweet. Oh boy, the red shirt guy says that. But the set is like 100 base with inserts. Perhaps I'm thinking that's might that might be what it is. Is every season of the original Star Trek most of all not the Richards died? Uh, yeah, pretty much. If you're not like a main cast member redshirt, your your job is basically to go out and not make it. Lieutenant Dave Bailey, Heroes, insert here. Number Card is a little, little ding there, unfortunately. It's card number 59. Hopefully, there's another one. Red shirt means dead shirt in Star Trek. That is true. Still waiting on our inscription in this box for Andrew. And it looks like we. No, nope, not here. This is an insert, another The City on the Edge of Forever, Spock here, number six. I'm not going to collect the set so you don't have to send the base. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Andrew. Let me make a note of that, actually, real quick. No base. Did you want the inserts or nah? Angela, let me know if you want your inserts as well. 
Because I, I, if you don't want them, I know Christina would be interested in them. Nah, on the answer, it's all right. No base plus ints. All right, thank you so much, Andrew. Just numbered and signatures. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any number cards out of this stuff, but uh, if we see them, we'll pull them. Started streaming nine hours ago. What? Yeah, Kiru, welcome to the normal. Welcome to normal. That is a normal average of stream. All right, well, I guess Syx is getting them then. Uh, I was gonna give them to Chris I was gonna help Christina make a set because uh, Christina's my mom. <laughs> you know, she's a big Star Trek person, but um, if you want to give them the Syx, that's fine. But uh, we should be getting an auto here in this last pack. Let's see who it is. What is purple? Ooh, what does purple mean? It is girl number one. It says we are one. Interesting. The Deborah Downey is girl number one in the way to Eden. Limited edition autograph card has been personally signed. It's a cool looking card though. We are one. Allie is an 11 hour break pro. <laughs> this is Razor's Edge. This is the normal hangout with Allie. It is the weekend weekend hangout. That is our second auto here of the box for Andrew. Imagine how quickly you'd heal with a Blissey Band-Aid. That is true. I feel like they probably made one. I, I, I purposely picked out the Squirtle because I used a uh, Bulbasaur yesterday. And last couple base cards here. And that is it for this box for Andrew. So let's do a recap where we did get two hits. We did get Security Guard and Girl Number One. Both on card autos. This one with the inscription. We have Charles Pisserni Sr. and Deborah Downey as our two autos. Yep, unfortunately, no sketch in this box, Andrew. But um, then for our inserts, to get the one Heroes insert. Two Edge of the City on the Edge of Forevers. And Villains of Eileen. Duke says, your mom buy a box? Yeah, my mom sometimes gets stuff under Christina S. Shh, don't tell people, it's a secret. But, um, interesting fact, Star Trek would have only been one episode if Lucille Ball didn't beg for William Shatner to continue the role. Ooh. Did not know that, Undead Saints fan. Thanks for that fact. Black Cat Records asks, any more magic breaks coming up? Yep, we do have, up next, we actually have a pre-release kit for Scott L. And then to wrap up the night, it's going to be a collector booster box for Chris T. So, Ali is buying a box of cards guaranteed a certain card. Is there a bonus for buying the box to the individual packs? Yeah, actually, it depends on the product, Justin, but usually a box will guarantee some sort of hit, whether that be an autograph or a relic or perhaps both, or perhaps multiple hits per box. Like, for example, take this Chronicles box here. It says three pa uh, six packs per box, eight cards per pack. Find three autographs per box on average. So let's say you could probably find a shop that just sells loose packs of this, but you don't know what it's going to be. But if you buy the whole box, you're guaranteed to get all the hits, same thing with, um, like, I guess you can consider it the, um, with Magic the Gathering, the way Corset 2021 did it. They don't have a box topper per se, but they do have the one, at least one of those borderless full art cards per box. So if you buy the whole box, you're guaranteed it, whereas you just get one pack, you might get lucky, but you might not. And same thing like with Aquaria, if you buy the whole box, you're going to get that Godzilla box topper that's sealed in the box. But if you buy just one pack, you're not going to get that card. So I feel like that might be the easiest way to think about it. Of course, it's a little more difficult to explain with sports in terms of hits but in terms of getting something with the box for sure like one auto per box or like you know that one box topper per box that i feel like kind of um that was that was cool chicken hayes says deborah downey card sign number one is worth 60 at the most to be honest good card yeah not bad cool 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 hey you're welcome uh black cat try to help MC Geek says, wow, you're a card opening machine, almost 5 a.m., you rock. Yeah, thank you. It is 4.52 a.m. So, yeah, for sure. I know I was tossing around the idea of maybe opening up for a couple quick breaks, like an archives or two, after this queue here. But I am just going to end off the breaks tonight at break number 34 for sure, because it is, I am I am starting to feel it a lot, especially in my throat. You know, nine hours of talking is, a, is quite, quite a lot. But, yeah, thank you so much, Andrew, for letting me open this up for you. Uh, congrats on the, uh, 
the two autos. Hope Ugin won't get banned. Lots of talk on the subject. That'd be so weird to just print a card and then ban it, but I mean, Wizards has been doing that a lot recently. Thanks for the break. They look cool. Hey, I'm glad that uh, you did enjoy it. Tapa votes for Ugin to be banned. And Razor's Ed says it's 10.52 in Hawaii. But anyways, let me move this out of the way, first by unsnapping myself. And when I come back, we'll be getting into that pre-release kit for Scott L. So, of course, that 2021 coming right on up. Vince says an alley auto filler is priceless, which is true. If anyone ever wants me to like sign anything or attempt to draw something, just let me know and um, I will. Can't guarantee it'll look good, but I will do it. <laughs> uh, Bill says you might end up with panini points. Uh, he waits me out all the time on an arena, says uh, Tapa for Ugin. Raises says, says Ali, you are a champ. Et Justin fifty three says I like this channel because if you have a somewhat rare card, you have. And you might have a potential buyer watching automatically. That is true, Justin. People do sometimes try to um, get a um, to uh, try and buy stuff off people. Sorry, I, I got distracted mentally for a second. How many more Star Trek do you have? Thinking maybe get some more next week. Andrew, we just have the one box left. We're only able to get in three. It was actually this box right up here on the shelf is our last one. Went back and watched. Thank you, Ali. Hey, I missed out on another one on one Ali sketch. But thank you. Hey, no problem, D uh, Dan. Just let me know what you want me to draw, and I could draw it. Um, before I pack up your stuff. How much are the previous kits? Just curious. We have met 2750 free shipping. Allie, are you any good at drawing Godzilla? Uh, I've never tried. So probably not very good. But, you know, practice makes perfect, right? Allie, are you going to do a recap of the best hits of the night? Uh, I don't in the video, but I, I will post on the community tab on the channel on Monday. I'll do like, I'll pick and I'll take a picture of the best hits. I am probably right after the stream though going to take a picture of that SSP photo variation of um, Glaber Torres and that Silver Prism John Morant like right on here on the playmat and post that on my Instagram as some of the best hits of the night. But uh, I will think through because we did have that Dare to Tear rip uh, Emmett Smith I think out of 50 earlier. We have had some low numbered autographs as well. You really want an Ugin sketch? Alright Dan, I'll try. Alright Ugin. Draw Ugin. I'm just saying, if it looks like a dragon whooper, then um, it's not my fault. <laughs> hey, no problem, Vince. Thanks for asking. I'm happy to help. Bill says, the thought of an egg McMuffin and double hash brown get Alex through the early morning. It does. That is exactly what I get, too. It is. I'm so happy. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. No problem, Dan. But next up, we do have pre-release kit for Scott. Let me grab that. Then I will update the break number. Break number 28. Alright, then we have draft picks, pro debut, two clearly authentic, two clearly skits, uh, chronicles, and a box of collector boosters. Alright, hold on guys, my back hurts a lot. There we go. All right, feeling a little bit better. Wooperugan says Tappa. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> and here we go. Break number 28 for Scott L. We do have Corset 2021 Pirelli's kit. But um, let's snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it by snapping ourselves into the corner, of course. E.T. Justin says, Ali, will someone take your place at 34 or is the stream done when you finish? It's just done when I finish. And then next week we come back starting again, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time on YouTube and Twitch. So that that's every week now. We've been going, this is our 11th total live stream, um, but I think ninth week of streaming, so just crazy when you think about it. Yeah, because it's live stream number 11, and I've had two impromptu live streams. So that would mean this is week number 9, which is crazy to think about. <laughs> Top of Wugan. That is true, but yep, when I'm done, it's done. But here we go, for Scott L, let's get on into it. 
back to sleep. My four-year-old will be waking up soon. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us, Dan. We'll see you next week, and uh, sleep well. Hopefully you can power nap before your son wakes up. Or daughter. Four-year-old. I thought I saw it four-year-old son, but it just says four-year-old. Good night. Much love. Hey, thanks, Dan. Take care. We have M21 die here. So still no weird rivals of Ixalan stuff going on. We have a conspicuous Snoop foil. Very cool. Let me grab these six packs. Kru says the snap is always so satisfying. I know it is fun. It is fun to do as well. And here we go. Pack number one. We have a Primal Might foil rare first pack. Spore Web Weaver. Shacklegeist. Every week, Saturday night. Free archives enough to do one more. Josh, I'm sorry, I'm really just not feeling up to it tonight. But um, if you do buy it, it would be on the sale price, and you'd be first up next time and uh, next week. But um, unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not up to doing more tonight. We have an Azusa here. We have a Primal Might non-foil rare. Rambunctious Mutt Foil, Temple of Malady, Rook's Uprising Showcase. Hey, thanks Josh. Take care. Sorry I couldn't get to your break tonight, but I do appreciate you trying to let me open it up for you. We have Showcase Mountain and Fierce Empath Foil, and Liliana Standard Bear is our last rare. So no Mythics here. We did have one foil rare and two other foils and a couple of showcase cards. Let's take a look at what we got. Showcase, we did have Uprising and a Mountain. And for our rares, we did have the full Primal Might, Rambunctious Mutt, and Fierce Empath. So one foil rare here, an uncommon and a common. For our regular rares, of course we had six. We had an Azusa in there, which is pretty nice. For our stat Stamped promo, we did have a Conspicuous Snoop, which is also a very nice stamped promo to get. So that'll do it for this box here for Scott. I hope, Scott, I was able to get you some nice cards for your collection. The stamped Snoop is definitely pretty good. Unfortunately, no Mythics here, but a full rare at pack number one was definitely nice to see. So thank you so much for letting me open it up for you, and I hope you enjoyed the opening. But up next, we do have Chronicles Draft Picks for Justin G., so let me move this on out of the way, let me unsnap myself, and I'll be getting into some football right up next. So hang tight everybody, I'll be right back. Let me update a break or break queue number to number twenty-nine. Seems like a decent pre-release kit to play. Actually, play two primal mites is just bonkers for limited. Where are all the mythical mythical in the pre-release kits? Yeah, it seems like we've been a little low on mythics in the pre-release kits tonight, but still seen some good kits. Hang in there, you're almost to the finish line. I know, I know. I just I, I've really felt it like I um. I haven't had the sore throat in a while, and uh, that's started to come back, so so hopefully I still have a voice tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, we are almost there. Now we have break number 29, Chronicles Draft Picks Football for a Justin G. So let's see what's in here. Our boxes have all been pretty good tonight. I don't know if there's been one that's been insane, but definitely some really, nice, really decent boxes. So let's quickly... Step ourselves into the corner and see what we can get here for Justin. And Justin actually has another box coming up. 
And Justin has that second to last box of the night, another Giraffe Picks football. So let's see if we get two nice boxes for him tonight. Here you go, pack number one. We have a two up playoff. We have Eno Benjamin, Prestige, Colby Parkinson Chronicles, Nate Stanley, Absolute, Darius Anderson Certified, and we have a first hit here, KJ Osborne has a Chronicles Auto from University of Miami. Ghost Outfit says, does your left eye hurt because you've been looking right all day? I'm thinking that is a compliment, but just in case I'm being super dense and it's not and I'm being ahead of myself, I actually have the monitor to my right that I'm looking at the chat. But uh, if it is a compliment on me, thank you very much. That made me feel good. Ghost Outfit. I like the little winking robot emoji. Scott Brown is predicting AJ Dillon auto this time. Why do I keep grabbing thick sleeves on accident? I need thin sleeves. Sleeve up the Tua and the Chronicles KJ Osborne auto. <laughs> Swampy act with the cool emoji. Here we go. And we had a LaMichael Perrine Spectra and Devin Duvernay Select. Ali, your commentary has been almost uh, has been nonstop. Almost, thank you. Can give your voice a well deserved rest. Hey, I can I can stop talking when the stream's over. <laughs> but thanks, thanks Tampa. We have Prestige, Chronicles, Limited, Absolute. We have some kind of Spectre Prism here. Some kind of pink prism. It is uh, ninety five out of ninety nine. Either pink or purple prism, it's hard to tell on this AJ Dillon. Undead Saints fan predicts a two Joa Burrow auto. We have Crown Royale, Cheyenne O'Grady, Phoenix, Henry Ruggs the third, and Rodney Smith, Don Russ Optic. Go Canes, KJ was pretty good for Miami. There you go, next pack. Oh, we got some kind of gold prism. Gold prism auto. What is your Twitch? Asks the Minister of Mixture. It is just Allie from Titan. A L L Y F R O M T I T A N is the same as my personal Instagram as well. They're both just Allie from Titan. Playoff. Jake Lutton. Where's playoff? Nowhere. Okay. Prestige. Bryson Hopkins. We have a Tua Elite Football. Kendrick Rogers XR. And Tyler Johnson. Nine of ten. Select draft pick. So this will be a select gold prism auto. Oh, and it's on card as well. Tyler Johnson for the University of Minnesota gold prism auto. That is cool. E.T. Justin is a Seminoles fan. Justin, you from Florida as well? Antonio Gandy Golden Phoenix and CD Lamb Rated Rookie. Ohio uh brother is. Oh, okay. There you next pack. Regular Don Russ. Playoff Zach Moss. Prestige Hunter Bryant. Chase Young certified. CD Lamb Elite. And we have Hunter Bryant, Crown Royale, Jake Lutton, Spectra, and Donovan Peoples-Jones from Select. So we're still waiting on one more auto here. We got a Tua Select card in the back. Cole Komet, Jordan Love, Jared Pinkney, Phenoms Limited. Absolute. And AJ Dillon, Scott called it again. 19 out of 49. Green Scope Prism Patch Auto from Boston College. AJ Dillon. The cool looking patch as well. I like the green scope, the way the green scope looks. Let me get a thick sleeve for that. All right, there's one right on here. And a 130 points top loader. AJ Dillon Patch Auto. 
Let's finish off the pack here. We have Jared Pickney and that Select Tua. That's a nice looking card. The Spectrum ones are very nice. Oop, almost picked out a thick sleeve again. And last pack of the box, can we get a bonus hit? Looks like we did get some sort of perhaps bonus hit here. Kendrick Rogers, Harrison Bryant, Deshaun Vaughn, Colin Johnson. Uh, this goes here. We have AJ Epinesa, 4 of 10. Another card numbered out of 10. Fabric of the Game, Relic, Tyler Johnson, numbered out of 299. Tua. Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Base, and Jacob Eason Donruss Optic. Definitely nice here. We had two cards out of ten, one being an auto, one non-autoed. I'll buy that. Who broke this? This was for Justin G. So Justin, Scott is interested in your AJ Dillon card. <laughs> Scott repacked these pads. That's how he knows. Feechin says the stream is going the distance. Yeah, tonight is uh, actually much longer than I had anticipated, if I'm honest. And we also had this one, it was also gold, so I'll be top loading that one as well. Let me get this box out of the way. And let's do a recap here of Jerry's first box of Draft Picks Football. So for our non-autoed parallels and good rookies, we have Phoenix Tua, Select Tua, Elite Tua, AJ Dillon, I uh, can't tell if that's pink or purple, Select, that's numbered out of 99, and then Playoff Tua, we got this Crown Royale, AJ Epineza, numbered out of 10, Tyler Johnson, Fabric of the Game, Bonus Relic out of 299, AJ Dillon, Gold Scope, Patch Auto, Number 1949, Tyler Johnson on card gold select auto out of 10, and a KJ Osborne non numbered Chronicles auto. So, congrats to Jared on this first box. Lots of low number cards, lots of Tua's, and you've got interest in one of your cards here. So, definitely a cool box here. Next up, we have a box of Pro Debut Baseball for Benjamin. So, let me get this stuff all moved out of the way, and when I come back, we will be going over to some baseball. So, let me unsnap myself here. And I will be back in just a moment, everyone. Dean says, Allie, are you going to make me up to stay up till midnight? Uh, Dean, midnight is... You're six hours, right? Dean, for you, it's what? 11.10 right now? If it's 11.10, then perhaps. 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 All right, let me move this out of the way. And Actually, I'm going to take a quick break. And when I come back, we'll be getting into that box of pro debut. So hang tight, everyone. It'll just be a couple minutes.
All right, hey everybody, I am back. Oh, yep, Dean, I'm probably gonna make you stay up till midnight. Et Justin says, I think the seven to ten Judy card was the best card tonight that I saw. Anyone else see any cool cards tonight? Well, we did have a silver prism of John Morant out of Spectra that's worth about a thousand dollars, and we had that SSP of Glaber Torres from 2018 update. That's around six fifty. Uh, I'm not sure how much on that Rip Mini earlier, but that was definitely cool. Tapa says I can hear birds chirping. It is. It is getting early. People, uh, wildlife is probably going to start waking up soon here in Florida. Sun will probably rise around around uh, six. So. Yep, five thirteen a.m. Noel. But we do have for a Benjamin A. We do have pro debut baseball. And then we have some quick breaks after that, so hopefully, hopefully it won't too long be too long tonight. But um, let me make sure the break queue is updated. I have to change it to number thirty. All right, so let's get started here for a Benjamin A. Topps Pro Debut Baseball by, quickly, what do we have to do, everyone? We snap ourselves into the corner and get on into it. So let's see if we can get some nice cards here. We get two autograph cards and two additional hits per box. Uh oh, I only opened up one Pro Debut on the channel, so I can't quite remember what the best cards to chase out of here are. But I know the relics that you can get are the Fragments of the Farm relics. I know you can get parallels. Norrin says... Good night. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to call it a night later. Thank you for hanging out with us, Norrin. Appreciate you chilling and hanging out. You can get Bobby Witt Jr. cards out of here. I know. I'm not sure who else. Like I said, can't quite remember. But the, uh, the, um, I like, really like the feel of these cards. They have, like, an interesting stock to them. And I really do like the extra effort that was put into these cards. We have an Adley Rushman tape measure power insert. It doesn't rise till six down there. Main it rises first, but it's like four fifteen. Don't didn't know it was that big. Of, it was that big a difference. Uh, I'm not sure when the sun rises, but I know sometimes when I, uh, you know, I, I get up occasionally to uh, oh, Bones Gastia is now following. Thank you for following us. I sometimes miss the notifications, so I do apologize if I didn't call out your name. But um, sometimes I'll just be moving stuff after breaks, and then I look, and then the sun's out. So <laughs> it gets crazy here. We have an auto here. We have just received a future Cornerstones autograph card of Sixto Sanchez from the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp number 1 of 25. That's cool. 1 of 25. If you ever thought about trying the 24-hour Le Mans, you would do really well. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, Tapa. Could you explain it to me? Future Cornerstones 1 of 25. Ready for flight, Logan Gilbert. Valorant says, I have a bit of underarm hairs, but I don't. I did shave today. Perhaps it's weird shadow that you're seeing. It's not me. I promise. It could be just my weird shirt. I think it might be shadow. Like, I know I'm a hairy Greek, but I, I definitely check before I put the shirt on. We have Daniel Johnson, Copa de la Diversion insert. Car race. Is the Le Mans a car race? Twenty-four hour supercar race involves three to four drivers. Huh. Uh Valorant, I'm not gonna show you my armpits. Uh we did have mods. I don't know what happened to them. You have great stamina. Thanks, Tapa. Ready for flight. Use Neil Diaz. Never seen this pack before. Would you can, can you explain what this is? This is uh, minor league teams. They're called Pro Debut, uh, and so you'll see the, the weird team names. Those are all different minor league teams. 
like the GCL Pirates earlier. This one is from the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. And so it's like super, super rookie cards almost. But, um, you know, they, they have a cool feel to them. Me personally, I mean, I wouldn't prospect on people though. So like things like Bowman and Pro Debut wouldn't be for me. But for some people, that is their thing. But they definitely do feel cool. And yeah, there's a lot of weird... Uh, hey, see, there's a Bobby Wood Jr. card here. That's cool. All right, that might be sleeved. Let me pull that out. But um, yeah, there's like really weird, uh, weird names like Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. It's like without actually looking into like minor leagues, like you don't realize how kind of crazy it can get. MLB has so many rookies; it's hard to know a good one or a bad one. That is true. But like I said, the cards actually do have premium feel to them. I'm not sure if you can see it, but they have like um texture, which is really nice. Zach Rakes, Copa Della Diversion. How do you know what's good in this box? Um, I think you can get Roberts in here. I know in the box I opened on the YouTube channel, it uh, we got a Robert patch. So I know he has at least that in here. Here for the miners we have the Zephyrs. Sounds like an interesting team. What are the big names to pull here? Nice pull on the Bobby Witt Jr. But um, a Volpe. Is the Volpe good as well, Eddie? I could pull it out. That's why I'm a bit lost on the minor leaguers. But um, Yeah, I'll pull him out too. Since Eddie mentioned it. guy gets drafted the MLB is that his rookie card if he doesn't sign the contract hoping to get drafted higher next year uh, that is an interesting question ET Justin uh, I'm not familiar with stuff like that well that's cool we have a legacy promo jersey night Kyle Stowers fragments of the farm relic some nice colors there that is cool that is a minor league baseball fragments of the farm relic card from 2020 pro debut this is definitely a 180 point JMZ76 says, we have the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers, 30 minutes from me, Brewers AAA. Anyone know, says Justin. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully someone else can help you in chat, but I have no idea on that. I think the official rookie would have the RC stamp on it. Tape measure power, Joey Bart. Ready for flight, Nolan Jones. Is that a two-card pack? Yep, because um, packs can be smaller when they have relics in them just because they're the same size, but like the, that uh, relic card takes up so much space. Like they usually say on here somewhere that cards with a relic may contain, cards with a hit may contain, yeah, packs with a special insert may contain only two to six cards. Yeah, Anthony Volpe was first round 30th pick for the Yankees. Oh, okay. We have a Nassim Nunez, pro debut number 31. This is an auto here for the GCL Marlins. So there's our second auto of the box. We're still waiting on one more hit. Foster Griffin, Copa Della Diversion. We have a blue parallel, Reese Hines. He's number 91 out of 150.
And Tapa, what do you mean? Oh, we have a green insert here, ready for flight. Christian Patchy is number 49 out of 99. Another green parallel, Glen Allen Hill Jr. for the Diamondbacks. 24 out of 99. Where'd our boy Ken go? I thought he was buying that National Treasures. Scott, I think that might have just been a pipe, uh, pipe dream. I always assume no, that the NT is not going to get bought until it is bought. But the last auto. Oh, I see what you're saying. It does kind of look like that. ACDC, a little bit. I see what you're talking about, Tapper. All right, all right, I get it. The thing about baseball, so many names and players. Yeah. That is, especially with minor league and things like Bowman, I'm super lost without my boss's help, and he, of course, isn't here. Hey, we got Tim Tebow. I'll sleeve him up. There's actually people want this card. It's like a dollar. Allie, you don't, you don't know who ACDC is? I know who ACDC is, but I didn't know what Tappa was referring to at that moment. Louis Robert, insert here. I'll sleeve that one up. Alright. I dropped the pack. Patrick says, just woke up. You're going still going strong. You're a die hard for sure. Oh, thank you. Oh, we have our fourth relic of the box. Adam Hall, Fragments of the Farm relic for the Delmarva Shorebirds. That's an interesting minor league team. What? Oh, <laughs> it's a piece of a season ticket. That is interesting. But I was like, what is that? I thought it was a card within a card, but nope, that is a piece of a season ticket. So that is our fourth relic of the box. We had two relics, two autos here for Benjamin. Tebow items actually desirable, go figure. Yeah, I just, people still like to collect Tebow. And the last pack here. All right, nothing crazy in this last pack for Benjamin, but let's take a look at what we did get in this box. Pro debut does yield four hits, which is cool. So let's take a peek. Did get two autos, two fragments of the farm. Let's start with two fragments of the farm. We did get the promo jersey piece of Kyle Stowers and Adam Hall. We got a season ticket. For our base auto, we did get a Nassim Nunez for the GCL Marlins. And then we did get a 1 of 25 future cornerstone Sixto Sanchez, Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp Auto. And for our colored parallels, we got two greens and a blue, blue Reese Hines out of 150. Ready for flight green insert out of 99. And Glenn Allen Hill Jr. numbered out of 99 green base parallel. And then for other things I sleeved up, I sleeved up this Robert Rookie. Thanks to Eddie, I sleeved up this Anthony Volpe as well. And we did have one Tim Tebow card and a Bobby Witt Jr. in this box. Your streams are great. Thanks, Togepi69. Appreciate it. Uh, how much was this box? Eddie, we had these boxes for $79.99. They've been kind of on a perma sale since um, after the first week. Pro Debut sold for us very well initially, and then, um, you know, people came obsessed with the, the newest and hottest things instead of Pro Debut. But uh, thank you so much, Benjamin, for letting me open it up for you. Now, Benjamin did stop by earlier, said he had to go to bed, but he still likes to support the stream every week. So, Benjamin, when you're watching this on the replay, hopefully you got some cool cards for your collection. Hopefully you liked it. That was nice to get. It's always nice to get a low number auto, especially number one of 25. So I hope you're happy with that. But thank you so much for supporting us here at Titan Cards. And I hope to catch you next week, perhaps with an earlier break for you that you can actually watch. But next up, we do have two boxes of Clearly Authentic Baseball for Charles P. So let me get this moved on out of the way. And when I come back, we'll be moving on to two boxes, a double quick rip of Clearly Authentic. So hang tight, everybody. I'll be back with break number 31.
All right, next we have a super quick rip. We have the two clearly authentics for Charles P. So let me update our queue number to show number 31. We're almost there. We got 34 tonight. We're on number 31. Let me grab some water real quick. And let's get on into it. Like I said, for Charles P. Break at number 31 of the night. Two boxes of clearly authentic. Let's step ourselves into the corner. Hey, Charles, you're still here. Welcome. It's glad to see that you're still here. And he says, still saying, staying for the clearly authentic. Just bought an Acuna Jr. out of 50, and I'm in love with those cards. Oscar says, more baseball thumbs up. And Charles is still here. My first break with you. Be nice. I'll try my best. We've had some really nice boxes of clearly authentic. We've had some really not that great ones. But uh, here we go. Let's get on into it. See, box number one. I have many hours to go on my shift, but thank you, Allie, for making almost four hours fun. Hey, E.T. Justin, I'm glad I was able to pr provide you with some entertainment. All right, let's see. Here we go. First one we have, numbered out of 25, Hunter Harvey for the Orioles. What is that? Number 8 of 25, Rookie Acetate Auto. And it is easier to see them when you do put, like, a little spacer behind it. We have Hunter Harvey, numbered out of 25, Blue Rookie Acetate Auto. That is our first one here. It's cool to see something numbered at 25. And let's get into the next one. All right, clearly authentic numero dos for Charles. Let's see. It is Tommy Edmond for the Cardinals 35th anniversary insert autograph. This one looks like it is just a base auto. I don't see any numbering, but let's take a look at it. Tommy Edmond for the Cardinals on card autograph. So that does look cool as well. So these were the two autos here for Charles. You can see my hands behind them, but Hunter Harvey out of 25 and Tommy Edmond. Harvey undefeated in the bigs. Ooh, cool. I actually get asked that quite frequently, Togepi, but I do not. Are these reprints for older cards. I'm confused on what they mean. Uh, 35th anniversary. It's just these cards are done. Tops, whenever they have a flagship product, top series one or series two, they have an insert set that is an anniversary set. It has been 35th anniversary. So these style, these cards are done in the style of the 1985 tops cards but they are with newer players and sometimes older players but most often newer players but so it's like a throw kind of a throwback style insert card for that nice thank you i'm a cardinals fan oh that's awesome to hear congrats charles i'm glad i was able to get you a card from your team that you like and also a low numbered auto as well so awesome i'm glad i was able to get some cool stuff for you a fierce panda says hello from switzerland i watch your magic opening videos oh that's so cool a fierce panda actually up next we do have two pre-release kits so you can catch some magic live with us so thanks for joining us yeah i hope that was able to help justin and i don't know if that was actually helpful but um let me get these all bagged up just so they don't scratch and like i said up next we have two pre-release kits those are going to be for jared m so let me unsnap myself here. Again, thank you so much, Charles, for letting me open these up for you. I'm glad you were able to have a good first experience with us. And then, like I said, two previous kits when I come back for break number 32. So hang tight, everybody. I'll be right back. I'm back, everybody. Break number 32 for Jared M. Let me get that Q updated. Make that, turn that 31 into a 32. All right, Patrick says, back to bed, good night. Hey, Patrick, thanks for stopping back in for a little bit. Sleep well. Sleep for me, because I'm not going to get that much sleep today. <laughs> Ugin, please step out of the night. Yeah, come on, let's see some stamped Ugins in here. That would be cool. But we do have two pre-release kits for Jared M. So let's get on into them. Why? What do we have to do, everybody? We snap ourselves into the corner and get started with kit number one. Oops. Now we'll do a recap at the end of kit number two. So we'll go through kit number one, 
And then open up kit number two. Then do a recap of both kits at the end of that. Woogan, Whooper Oogan. The cursed combination. We have... Where is it? We have another M21 die here. No weird rival stuff still. And for a promo, we do have a Solemn. Well, that's cool. Nice stamp promo to get. Archon is back. Hey, yeah, we're opening up some MTG. What time is it there? It's almost 1.30 here. It is 5.34 a.m. Fierce Panda. Yay, I'm tired. Here, let me grab these first six packs. And then let's get started. Let's hope no Teferi's M21 has nine variant. Yeah, there's like a bazillion Teferi's. I don't understand why, but... Interesting. Here we have Vito as our first rare. Same time here in North Carolina. We have a Showcase Forest and a Joriel, Mulan Vuli Recluse, or next rear. We have Staunch Shieldmate Foil and Temple of Triumph. Love Vito, great card for life game decks. Now, I've seen there's a combo with a, some, I think, dual, uh, dual guilds card. That's like an insta kill. Chandra's Magmut. Are the packs backwards? Um, yeah, actually, Fierce Panda, I've noticed that with all the corset ones. Like, typically just Japanese print are um, both rares and foil in the front, but I've noticed that all of them have been like that for Corset 2021. So I wonder if this is just the way Magic's going with it. Which I know can be a bit of a spoiler for some people, but for me, I actually prefer it because um, it makes them easier to sort. But Tappa, these are actually English printed cards, because you can tell by the feel, and they are also backwards. You know, backwards. Here we go, last pack, kit number one. We have a Foil Forest and Temple of Triumph. So no Mythics in this kit, unfortunately, but we did get two Foils. Let's see how we do with kit number two. We have a green die here. M21. Weird, in Switzerland, it's the normal order. That is uh, very interesting. I wonder why that is. Here, let's grab the promo. We have Stormwing Entity, which looks like it's a little curly, actually, in the pack. And let me grab these six packs and get on into it. What's up with the Shackle Geist Rare? He seems to be in every pre-release kit, got two in mind. I don't know. I've opened so many that I, I feel like we have seen, seen a lot of Shackgeist, but uh, yeah, I think we did see one tonight, actually. Showcase Mountain. Gadrak. We have a foil, Hobble Fiend, and Subira. Three tonight, ooh. I didn't realize we had so many of them. Idol of Endurance. And we have a Grim Tutor, very nice, for a Mythic. Oh, those are uncommons, whoops. <laughs> Bulkgeist, says Tappa. 
Thanks for the breaks tonight. Till next week, have a great day. Thanks, uh, Andrew. Take care. Uh, it was nice hanging out with you. Last pack here for Jared. We have a Shackle, guys. We've never seen this card before. That'll do it for these two kits here for Jared. Now we did get to see a Grim Tutor. Just one Mythic out of two kits, but definitely a nice one to get. Grim Tutor. And for our foils, we did end up with three Staunch Shieldmate, a Forest, and a Hobble Fiend. For showcases, we had three as well. Forest Mountain and a Magmut. And for our rares, let me go through these real quick. And for two promos, we had Solemn and Stormwing Entity. So thank you so much, Jared, for letting me open these up for you. Hopefully you are happy with your hits to get a nice Grim Tutor. And hopefully I was able to get you some cards that you're looking for for your own collection. But next up, we do have our last draft box of the night. We have Chronicles Draft Picks Football for Justin once again. Let's see if we can get him some more nice cards. Wait, let me get this moved out of the way. And when I come back, we'll be getting into kit number or break number 33. Uh, Grim Tutor, you search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, and then shuffle your library, you lose three life. All right, everyone, I'll be right back with that football box. Let me unsnap myself and I'll be right back. Here we go, break number 33 for Justin G. 33, done. All right. Scott's predicting a CD Lamb auto in this box here. So let's see if he's right. Let's see if Scott can go three for three in his predictions. Got the Jerry Judy, got the AJ Dillon. Will he get the CD Lamb? Let's see, here we go. Let's quickly step ourselves into the corner and get started. You guys think college football will happen this year? Asks Justin. Um, I don't know. Grim Tutor is a reprint from what set? Um, Starter 1999, perhaps, Dean? I'm not certain on that one. Here we go. Pack number one. Oh, have we hit 10 hours? Ooh. Playoff. Prestige. Cam Akers, Antonio Gandy Golden, and we have our first auto here, James Proche, base Crown Royale autograph. Anyone know if the rare Star Wars CCG limited back black bordered edition are going to make a big move up in value or did they overproduce them? Uh, I don't know anything about the Star Wars CCG, but perhaps Philip might, or uh, excuse me, Syx. We have Kishon Vaughn and a Tua Donruss Optic. Yep, this tutor is from 1999. Cool, I was right. Rated rookie. Playoff. Absolute. Certified. Cole Komet. We have a Phoenix. Prism here. Hyper Prism, 42 out of 99. That was cool. We have a Crown Royale, Phoenix, and Rated Rookie Donruss Optic. A lot of twos tonight, that is true. CD Lamb, Prestige, Chronicles, Donruss Regular, Elite, XR, 
Crown Royale, once again, it's just cut like a little crown. E.T. Justin was asking what the Crown Royale is. It's just like a little die-cut crown card. Nate Stanley Spectra. And J.K. Dobbins Donruss Optic. Justin Herbert Chronicles. Denzel Mims. Playoff. Jonathan Taylor, XR. Phenoms, T. Higgins. And we have a Quintez Cephas auto here. He's the base auto rated rookie, Quintez Cephas from the Badgers. There's our second auto of the box. The two non numbered autos so far. Hopefully, we can get a banger out of these last two packs. Brian Edwards, Spectra. And select Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert, Chronicles, rated rookie. Jerry Judy, Absolute. We have Jalen Rigor, certified. Ooh, one of 25. Tua Tagovailoa is back. Green Scope Prism. RPA out of Prism Football. Very, very nice here. Man, Tua just calls to me. He just, I, I, he chases me. Tua's everywhere. But look at that. One of 25 Tua Patch Auto. Very, very cool. Definitely get that one in here. Tua again. Got him. Man, I pulled two, Tua technically two days in a row if you consider the stream party yesterday. But yeah, very nice there. Very, very cool. Actually, is this a uh, magnetic worthy? It's number one of 25. Perhaps. Perhaps. I can always go back and change it later, but that is definitely cool. Definitely going to get featured in our top hits for Monday, but that is super awesome. Tua, Tua is everywhere. We have Cheyenne O'Grade. So definitely, we were rewarded with those two eh, autos. We did definitely get a nice one. 400 maybe, says Dario. I know the one out of score, out of six, only ran 400. But uh, with the patch, it probably is definitely worth more. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and change that now. 180, 180. This, um, actually, I don't have one, uh, I don't have 130 points with me. But, um, I like shipping and sleeves and top loaders anyways. This one, yeah. I'm, I'm going to switch it afterward, but I don't have any more on me. I used them all earlier on our other assorted hits. But, uh, that's why I love the hobby. 99 people at 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. But let's see the last pack here. What else can we get? Looks like we have a bonus hit in here as well. Chase Claypool, James Prosh, Prestige, Chronicles Chase, Denzel Mims, Phenoms. We have Kalija Lipscomb, and we have a Chase Young. Some sort of, I think this is a Silhouettes Rookie Jumbos. Yep, we have a nice patch here. 19 of 25 Chase Young Rookie Silhouettes from Crown Royale. So another nice hit here. Very cool. Tua chases you. Very funny, Allie. No, I'm saying, like, he chases me. Like, that's what it's kind of called when, um, when, you know, when you open up someone a lot. We got Chase Young, 19 to 25, Rookie Silhouettes Jumbo Patch. KJ Hill, Spectre, and Hunter Bryant from Select. That'll do it for this box here for Justin. So definitely good on Justin for deciding to go for another round here. Definitely get that nice to a Patch Auto Green Scope 1 of 25. Ooh, eBay 101. Yes. Let's go and do a recap here. We didn't get many Tua cards aside from that auto. We did get this Hyper Prism Cole Comet out of Phoenix, out of 49. Rated rookie Donruss Optic Tua. Did get this bonus hit here. Chase Young Jumbo Patch out of 25. Tua Tagovailoa Green Scope out of Prism RPA, 1 of 25. Then two non numbered autos, James Proch and Quintez Cephas. So some nice, nice, nice cards here for sure. And anyways, let me get this moved on out of the way, and we'll get into our last break of the night, break number 34, Collector Booster Box for Chris T.
And then that will be it. So congrats to Justin for letting me open that up, opening up another Tua. And uh, I'm going to unsnap myself here. And when I come back, everybody, we'll be getting into the last break of the night. And then we'll get to take, get to take a look at all the pack carnage. Well, actually... Yeah, we can uh, we can still look at pack carnage. Okay. All right. It's still doable with the new camera setup. All right. Crisis averted. We'll be back with the last break and and the pack carnage. E.T. Justin says, Allie, thank you for your broadcast. Hey, no problem. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad you were able to have a good time. And the nice Brock says, Jukes. Yes, definitely for sure. So like I said, when I come back, break number 34, collect the booster for Chris T. Emma Pussy is now following on Twitch with the little zombie. Thank you for the follow. But um, here we go. Let's get into break number 34. Let me up that, that cue. All right. Break number 34. The last one of the night. We have a Corset 2021 Collector Booster right here for Chris T. So let's get on into it. Let's see what we can get. Let's end off this night, hopefully with a high note, by quickly... Stepping ourselves into the corner and getting on into it. Say best for last. So let's see. Hopefully we can get some really, really nice cards here. So let's get on into it. Corset 2021 Collector Booster. Right, pack number one. Temple of Malady. We have Garuk Unleashed for a Showcase Mythic. Allie, can you smell McDonald's? Almost. I'm so close. So close. I collect Pokemon cards, but never collect the sports cards because there seems to be so many variants. If there's a specific manufacturer, most worth collecting. It depends on what sports you are interested in. If you're interested in baseball, then you would go with tops. If you're interested with football, you'd go with panini. Basketball, panini. Hockey, you would go with upper deck. So it really depends on what kind of sport that you're interested in. Yeah, we're still live, Stanford. We're still going. Pursuit Whale, although this is the last one. So you're catching us right here at the end. We have Temple of Malady and a Foil Shacklegeist. Bastry's Lieutenant, Showcase Rare. Rolling on a Standard Bear, Showcase Rare Foil. Glorious Anthem. Ooh, we have a foil Grim Tutor. That's nice. And an extended art foil Temple of Silence. We have a Containment Priest. Allie, do you think you could complete a Mr. Beast YouTube challenge? Um, I actually, I know he's super popular, but I don't really know much about Mr. Beast. I think he used to play Minecraft, and now he's like the biggest, uh, one of the biggest YouTubers, I think. He does those crazy, like, watch me buy out a whole entire save a lot, donate it, or something. But I've never actually watched his videos. Baron, uh, full, uh, Extended Art, Pursued Whale, and Harbinger, Foil Rares. Harbinger, Showcase Rare. And ooh, we got something nice coming up. We have the Borderless Planeswalker Foil, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Very, very nice card there. Very beautiful card. How are y'all still awake? I just woke up. Uh, Pendel, um, I'm suffering. <laughs> we have a mountain, double vision, volcanic salvo, and a foil, ghostly perfor a pilferer, extended art, bass riquette, 
two Teferi's protégés back to back. Black Cat says, Ugin, I'm pleading with you. Come out. Come on, Ugin. Come on, come on, come on. Put it Blight Fang. Standard Bearer. Ageless Insight Foil Rare. Onto the right side of the box. Rich says, is this a rerun or am I having a seizure? No, this is live. Rich, this is also magic. Stormwing Entity. Solemn. Full Art. Rich, this is actually, I lied to you, this is actually Digimon. Probably uh, sleeping, <laughs> Rich. Rich, why are you even awake? Did you actually just stay up the whole time or did you just somehow wake up right now? We have a Chromatic Orrery, Extended Art, and a Foil Pack Leader, and a Foil Niambi back to back. Chandra's Incinerator, Showcase Rare, and a Beast Token. Another Geist Y. I don't know, there's just, there's just enough. There's Geists everywhere. Disgusting. We have Sabira and a foil Liliana Waker of the Dead. So this seems to be the foil Liliana box. I mean, hey, not bad. Foil Grim Tutor, foil Lily, foil Borderless Lily, which we did sell one today for 38 bucks. So still good up there. Good price, still up there. Oh yeah, Rich doesn't sleep. And we have another Lily. So this is definitely the Lily box here. Showcase Mythic. Foil. Scoos. Alt art. Uh, yeah. Here we had uh, Swamp Yak. Here's our lilies, our fruits of our lilies so far. This is the showcase. The middle is the alternate art slash borderless, and then this is the regular one here. These are both foils, and this one is a non foil. Oh, backwards. Transmogrify and Veto Foil, Standard Art, Ageless Insight, two Gore Horns, two packs to go, we have a Temple of Epiphany, Extended Art, Elder Gargroth Mythic Foil. We have a Cultivate and a Scavenging Ooze. Harbinger Foil Rare. And the last pack here, can we get an Ugin? Can we get a Teferi? Can we get a Foil Showcase Mythic of Liliana? Temple of Silence. Nine Lives, Temple of Epiphany, Foil, Mastery's Lieutenant, Showcase Rare, and that is it for this box here for Chris T. So congrats, Chris. Definitely got a Liliana-themed box here. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we got in here. Unfortunately, no Ugin. Unfortunately, no Teferi. But the Lilies are definitely very, very nice. So let me, because I kind of have them all in one pile, let me just sort out these... Real quick. All right, so we took it, did get two showcase mythics. We had Liliana and Garuk. For our foil showcase rares, we had Harbinger, Ageless Insight, and Standard Bearer. MC Geek just says, "Finish work along now. Uh, finish just finish work now along drive home to West Central Florida. Thanks for the quality entertainment. Hey, uh, thanks for watching, MC Geek." Uh, appreciate you watching. I'm glad I was able to give you some entertainment. Rich, um, you know how the top loader packs, when you open them, you gotta, like, rip off the plastic? Yeah, somehow I ripped off the plastic and also ripped off a piece of my finger yesterday, so, you know, big brain. Then for our regular showcases, we got one of each, including a bonus Bastard's Lieutenant. On the Mythic Borderless, we had the Foil Lily and a regular Bastard's Ket. For the Rares, 
We had scavenging ooze and then one of each of the non-foils. If only sarcasm would be conveyed over taxi, yeah, I know. John's been asleep. He, that's what he does. And for mythics, we had three foil regular mythics. Elder Gargaroth, Lily, and Grim Tudor. So nice here. Yep, Kevin, we're actually finishing up our last one of the night. We are at, how long have we been here? Ten and a half hours. So very cool. Ten and a half hours. Not the record, but still pretty, pretty close. We did get one mythic extended art chromatic orrery. And for... Center foils, we did get seven in this box. Seems like seven seems to be the norm. Two temples, so not bad. Veto is cool as well. For the non foil extended arts, let's just take a quick peek. So, not as nice on the non foil temples, but overall, with all the Lilianas, the Grim Tutor foil, definitely a nice box here. So, congrats to Chris. I hope I was able to get you some cards you're looking for. I know, no to Fairy or Ugin. But the tutor and the this lily in particular are very, very nice. But yeah, thank you so much, Christy. You did round off our night with break number 34. One of the higher number of breaks, but not the um, number of uh, hours. But anyways, I'm going to get this moved off. And when we come back, I'm going to show you all the pack carnage, and then I'll be signing off. And I know that is one of the highlights, highlights of all these videos, is we get to see all the mess I've made opening up all these boxes for you guys tonight. Yeah, ten and a half hours, definitely. But let me unsnap myself. And like I said, I'm going to get this out of the way. And when I come back, take a peek at that pack of carnage. Oops. McMuffin up next. Yep, getting myself Nag McMuffin and two hash browns while I wait for this video to process and then I can make timestamps. Or perhaps I might just give up and come back lady later. E.T. Justin says, enjoy your McDonald's alley. Thank you. But let me switch the only face cam and let me actually shut off these, the queue, get rid of the queue and orders closed. Get rid of that. And when I come back, we can take a look at the pack carnage. So as I always say, if this is your first time here, be careful if you are a little bit motion sick. When I pick up to show everyone the pack carnage, I literally just pick up the wet, the face cam here and show you guys everything that's on the floor. So just be wary if um, the if that's not something you're uh, okay with seeing, because that is what's coming up next. JMZ76, thanks for another wonderful Saturday night. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate all you guys who stick with us, because I know it's super long. And all of you who go in and out too and come back for the replays, it's awesome. Thank you for all of your support. But let me move this out of the way. I'll be back with some pack carnage. Kevin says, I'm not sleepy. I don't know what day it is anymore. Yeah, it gets to the point, Kevin, after you're doing this, that you just stop being tired and you just start just feeling only pain. Oh, yes. Anyway. Oh. All right. All right. So get ready, everyone. We're going to look at Pack Carnage. And yeah, two hash browns fancy. Yep, I got to get two. Timestamps. How about sleep? Maybe. Maybe. If it's taken a while. You know, I might just might just go get food and then sleep and then come back maybe around noon maybe set an alarm you know maybe sometimes bounty hunter even does timestamps for us so maybe i can get time, uh, bounty hunter to do it but uh, yeah anyways let's look at this pack carnage so we can wrap it up because i know you guys got to go to bed too and uh yeah dean dean made it to midnight dean's part of the official crew again but anyways oscar says thank you for the great stream alley oh thank you tapa says 203 likes which reminds us i know there's not that many people here still watching but if you enjoyed what you saw Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, or if on Twitch, make sure to go ahead and hit that follow button. I don't know if there's anything you can how you can like videos on Twitch, but anyways, let me grab this right here. So careful, guys. Careful. All right, any soccer product? Ask Greg. Yep, we have two boxes of Chronicle Soccer in stock. Didn't open any of them up tonight, but uh, we do still have them. But anyways, here, let's take a look here. Oh, this is kind of all spread out from when um, I was searching for that loose pile of sleeves. There we go. Lots and lots of stuff here tonight. We did break a lot tonight. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. We did get lots of nice cards. 
I do have to before I go. I have to do post. I do have to post that picture of that those those expensive cars, including. Um, well, first I'm just going to take a picture of the John Morant Silver Prism, which looks like to be about a thousand dollars, and that uh, SSP rookie of Claver Torres from 2018 update seems to be about six fifty. So I'll post those on my Instagram, just to get people hyped about the stream replay, and then I will go probably get food. So that'll be it for me tonight. Kevin says, good thing is you can watch the replay when you're bored during the week. Hopefully you'll do hockey again too. Kevin, Stature does come out uh, this upcoming week, so hopefully we can bust some of that next week. E.T. Justin asks, was that just today? Yep, that was all just from the past 10 hours. Trash can's like, excuse me, I don't exist. Yeah, I just, you know, it just goes on the floor and then I deal with it after. <laughs> but anyways, let me get on out of here tonight, guys. I don't know how much longer I can talk, but thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's been a great time. Thank you to everyone who ordered a personal break, appreciate your support. And of course, all of you without all of you watching, we wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you for your support as well. Well, good night, everyone. Take care, and I hope to catch you next week for the live stream. And also, we do have videos uploaded on the YouTube channel throughout the week. If you're on Twitch, make sure to check those social links. There's the link to the YouTube channel there. And um, But yeah, throughout the week, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing on YouTube. But thank you so much, everyone. Take care, and I'll catch you.